welcome back. Yeah, I don't really care about which character, but like Bloody Wolf or Thief Let's is gonna have to be the choice. One has a weapon. So the world okay, Bloody Wolf. So the world might be Thief. Mended. Wolf definitely is in the lead. Sure Alright, we'll do Wolf. To happy holidays. Also, I wrote Bloody Wolf. So yeah, that helmet is definitely not from this game. As far as I've seen. We got some crazy burial gifts. Bolt pine bundle. Let's get, you actually get bolt paper. That's cool. Frozen pine resin. Alluring skull five. Fire, fire bombs without a B on it. Nice. Um, an uncouth gift for departed. Green blossom, rusty coins, divine herbs, moss fruit, cursed talismans, ferron coal, sage's coal, giant's coal, profane coal. So these are going to be for upgrades. The the problem is though, I don't really know how good uh, elemental gems are in this or any kind of infusion particularly. So I think that that would be a good decision if they were good. Um, but I have no idea how they're scaled in this. So I'm gonna actually. Hmm. I think I'm gonna have to pick the skulls and then just like. I, oh, frozen pine resin is pretty cool though too. I don't know. I feel like that'd be a waste. The skulls I could actually use. And then I feel like the the coals are actually the best because that's like a permanent item, right? Uh, heavy, sharp, and poison. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna pick fair and coal. I'm gonna pick fair and coal. We'll do that. We'll do that. Uh, all beer, thank you for the 36 months. Welcome back, by the way. I appreciate it. Also, for anyone that has contributed to the charity thing, I don't have alerts set up for it because I'm leaving it running pretty much the entire, like, next week. So um, I won't be able to see notifications every single time don someone donates, but we're going to take a break and we're going to check back in on it and I'll read everything. Um, but just to get, let you guys know, so. Um, and I really appreciate anybody that contributes towards it. Uh, no stick to prevent the giant from shooting you. Yeah, but, well, if there even is a giant, we'll see. I don't know. Don't see you use strength weapons? Yeah, I, I should probably try to focus on that. That'd be cool. So already everything looks dark. I'll be your thank you for the five gifted subs, man. What are you doing? <laughs> man, that's crazy. Thank you very much, Alpier. You are too kind, man. I appreciate that. Um, I guess that's technically going to charity anyways, though, because the I would imagine that it would be. Yeah, probably. And Well, I mean, technically in the future. Retroactively, it will... Part of whatever gets raised, or part of whatever the revenue is of the channel, um, up until a certain point, will be obviously going to the, the thing, so... You kind of technically still support charity up into a certain amount, no matter what, or depending on what the actual amount is that you guys raise through the donation. So, all right, uh, your life essence weakens unless you own personal greed. Your own personal greed grows. Uh, it lasts until the next cycle. Yes, greatly decrease Ash and one's defense and attack, but also raise soul gain. No, <laughs> I don't think so. You've chosen and the statue will no longer be active until the next game cycle. That's pretty crazy. So basically, it gives you a chance right away to uh, gain more souls. It's a little bit dark though. I'm gonna turn, turn up the brightness a little bit for you guys. Because on my screen, I mean, it's definitely uh, a little bit brighter than what you're seeing. So I'm gonna have to add a filter on OBS. But yeah, let me know if you guys can see or not. I know this is actually like a dark part of the game. Also, I guess there'd be Rally in this too. Lightning Gem. Secondhand Philanthropy. Well, not secondhand philanthropy. Like I'm still gonna technically, like I'm gonna donate to the <laughs> charity myself, like whatever you guys raise, but um, I'm just saying some of that would, would technically still be from the revenue from the stream. I don't know if all of it will be. Probably not, but heavily dependent on uh, what happens, I guess, right? I mean, technically it's the same thing either way. <laughs> like, secondhand would be more so if, like, 
we raised the money and then it wasn't matched. If it was just like directly through there, then it would be you guys. Oh my god. Wait, we can we can do this, I forgot. Oh man, that didn't really work too well. Divine herb, nice. Play with controller? I do play with controller, yeah. Does this mod control like Bloodborne or DS3? It's kind of like a combination of both, because it has mechanics from each game. Um, so like the animation for running and everything and regular rolling, it still, still seems like it's DS3, to me at least. Oh yeah, we have vials too, we, we have, um, how do I heal? Oh shit, there's two of these. Wait, are they hurting each other? They are. Nice. Seen them fight each other. Oh, that one got staggered. Wow, okay. This is pretty cool, actually. I like the friendly fire. I hope that's for every enemy. That'd be a really nice feature. I guess I'm really good for doing this. Oh, man. Gonna have to hit him with a jump attack. Uh oh. Oh, he finished him. Nice. Nice, nice. Whoa. Wait, he's, not, he's almost dead. He's almost dead. What's going on? Yo, you have no health left. Is that a glitch? There's no health bar. Invincible? Oh, there we go. Tight nice scale. Cool. We might need those. It is very possible. I like how they... Uh, how they did the lighting though, it looks way better like this. Controller over Lake Wava. I'm not using it today just because I'm not sure I'm supposed to be using it with, with this kind of content. I think it's normally when I do the overlay, it's with uh, like what we're usually doing. Fire paper, bolt paper. Also, I didn't want it in the way. I kind of wanted to just have like no timer, just, just nothing on the screen. Do I play DS Dark Souls games every day? I don't. I don't, man. I used to. Haven't done that for a while. Um, do you have an early early game tips for DS1 beginners uh, try to talk to every single NPC you can and ask them uh, you know questions and stuff like do the dialogue and if they start repeating themselves then leave if they don't then just keep trying to talk to them until they give you repetitive information and then also just read all the item descriptions that would be super helpful let strength be granted so the world might be mended so the world might be mended. Hey, Squeal Squeal, hi, how is it going? Uh, Julie, thank you so much for the 36 months. Welcome back. How's it going? What is this? Man, that fire looks really good, dude. The color on that. They they use uh, the, the person that made this, the way they did the coloring, 
is really, really good. It's like very, very close to the lighting of Bloodborne, in my opinion. Okay, already one up here. Yes. Just like real life, yeah. <laughs> don't don't try this at home. That's a true statement. Cool. I wish that this weapon, the uh, R2, could launch people. That'd be cool. Groundhog, what's up, man? How are you doing? Sueless, what's up? Is controller better than keyboard? I would say it is, yeah. Because the game was made on console originally, so... Also, I heard that on this, there's fewer bonfires, so it might actually be harder to play casually. Well, I guess we'll see how, how much that is, but... Yeah, I wonder if they actually like did the DLC and everything, too. This looks really cool. We even got Bloodborne menus, too. Wait, does that mean... There are other menus like that? Like, the level up is the same? Because these are all the same. Wait, do we have two items? I'm so confused. Why is there two slots? Anybody see that slot on the left? Like, what is that left slot right there? That's an, the up button. Oh, that must be for attunement, for spells. Uh, Wallace, what's up, dude? Are you still in a band? I haven't been in a band for a long time, man. Unless you mean um, when I was, like, doing recording with uh, friends. But in terms of, like, actually, like, playing uh, in a band, I haven't played in a band for a while. Favorite health bar UI in any Souls game? Uh, for me, Bloodborne is my favorite, actually. Bloodborne and the, the new Demon Souls. It's just very basic and very easy to read, so... It's what I usually prefer. Like, the more minimalistic it can be, but at least give you, you know, a color that references what the bar is for, and then just, like, an indicator of where it is. That's, that's all you need, really. Um, is that a Hollow Knight shirt? This one? No, this is, uh, there's a streamer that used to do, uh, Souls PvP with me. This is his, uh, merch when he used to stream. His name is, uh, Sloth. Ooh, that looks so cool, dude. I love the effect on it. Oh, wait, the one-handed moveset of this is different, too. I just realized. When you follow up, you get, like, the... It's kind of like the um, Ludwig sword moveset. And then the stab probably happens in the third attack. Oh no, we got mini dots. Can they be killed though? I want to hit him with like the big charge two hand attack because that, that usually is like a super strong attack. Oh, nice, nice. Dude, the atmosphere on this this entire uh, first area is crazy. Uh, are there any Bloodborne enemies or weapons? Uh, there is Bloodborne weapons, yeah. On the character creator screen, uh, there was a few actually. There was the, the Hunter's Blunder, the Blunderbuss. Uh, there was the Tonitrus, and then I think there was something else, too. Oh, there was the Threaded Cane as well, yeah. Where'd he come from? Yeah, well, the way they did the uh, Straight Sword moveset animations, way better. Way, way better. I never even thought of uh, how much that would make a difference, even though it's like kind of tiny. Not a big deal. But it kind of does make it better for the combat. Backhand heavy attack. That's pretty cool. It hits really fast, actually. Okay, these guys keep coming back. I'm gonna try to. Oh, they come back twice. My bad. Never mind. <laughs> Love all the health bars. The uh, like the, the way the HUD looks. Is that what you mean? What is going on here? Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. 
so the world might be mend. Hey, Squills and chat. Hope everyone is doing well. Squill. Elden Ring looking tree. Yeah, they put the Elden Ring tree in here, and then they they did a lot of other stuff too. Made that look easy. That wasn't that wasn't too hard. I'm pretty good at the the wolf usually. Oh, are you gonna no hit this mod? I'm not so sure about that, but I definitely want to play it though. <laughs> I'm kind of just trying to enjoy it, right? Um, maybe in the future. I don't know. It'd be cool. Ali, thank you for the 72 months, by the way. Welcome back. Like, this is already a lot more atmospheric. They did a really good job with that. So this, uh, in a way, is also kind of like a graphical mod. Um, obviously, if you just wanted to change that, then uh, there's going to be a lot of other different things, too. But it might actually end up being, like, a better playthrough if you've already played the game before. So that's kind of why I'm checking it out, just to see if, like, is this a better playthrough for people that have played this already? Especially quite a bit, because that's what it's made for is, uh... I guess that's veteran players, right? Um, yeah, I need I need the um, the badge, Ali. You're right for the, because I think we have up to four would be lightning, five would be the purple one. So yeah, the one that you have, I think, Let's is actually the five year still. So the world might be mended. So the world. Yeah, might who's be this mended. guy? Is that Alfred? Oh, I'm sorry, man. I didn't mean to do that. What is that? Oh, dude. Is that giving me FP back or something? Wait a second. Wait, dude. Yo, what was that? <laughs> what was that? Is, is that, um... Uh, what's it called again? Mortal Blade? Mortal Draw? Wait a second, let me get the blue bar back. I think that actually is what that's doing. Gives you FP back, that's cool. Okay, so there is no R2 combo with it, but you can do the R1 for the mortal draw. Dude, that's really cool. I wonder, now, now it makes me want to go back like and just try every other class once I've beaten this, just to see what the, the other weapon arts are. Cause that means they they probably added more than just uh, just that, right? Yeah, <laughs> you were confused till you saw the title. Yeah, this is <laughs> it's a little bit weird. Okay, we need to turn on the the dialogue for sure. I was thinking of maybe just not putting the playlist on for this run. What do you guys think? Do you think we should just leave it with like the game music because? I'm not sure how many soundtracks they added. Okay, I'm gonna give Andre the Farron Cole. We'll do that right away. And then I'm, I'm assuming we can't infuse anything, so. Um, Ash and Estes we still have, so we're gonna actually change that over. It's pretty cool. Game music is fine. Okay, let me turn on the, the voices on this. <laughs> oh man, she's got Molotovs. Dude, I gotta I gotta try one of those. <laughs> that's that's so cool. <laughs> oh man, fire dart? What is that? Dark dart? Wait, you you guys notice that some of these have zero requirements? So that means that you can use magic without leveling. That's that's really cool. Wow. See, that makes magic more fun. Then you can kind of not have to spend a long time setting everything up, right? Okay, I'm going to grab this then. So I got quite a bit of souls killing that boss. 49,000 plus. That's crazy. Uh, apparently there's Hunter's Marks. So that replaces the Homeward Bone. So I'm going to get... I'm just going to get one of those just to see what it looks like when we use it. Um... I probably shouldn't buy the key early. I think I'm going to wait for the key just to see what that does later. Wind Blast. I'm going to try that too. Um, what is this? Executioner's Skull. Shoot Wrathful Spirits. That's like probably the Martyr Logarius uh, 
type of magic where he shoots the skulls at you, I'd imagine. Yeah, and then the the, the the darts, the fire dart and the dark one, they re restore FP, apparently. Like, when you shoot them. They don't require anything because they're awful. I just want to see what they look like, just animation-wise. I think part of this playthrough is also just testing stuff, not even expecting anything crazy, just trying to see what they did. With, like, the music and the, you know, the textures, the if they change any of those, or the, the lighting, uh, the layout using different props and all that, so. This is, this looks really cool too, what is this? Legion etiquette. <sighs> Fire mystic orbs, life and death. Release mystic orbs which explode near them. Near them end. Yeah, some of the, some of the dialogue in this might be a little bit janky, but I think they'll, they'll probably fix that up after. I might write some feedback just to say, like, you know, you did a good job. And then, like, I noticed these things. <laughs> yeah, there's a little bit of typos. I'm assuming the person that made it, though, they probably don't speak English as their first language. And if that's the case, then, I mean, like, what do you, I mean, this is amazing. So it's definitely readable. It's, it's, it's written well enough to understand everything. It's just, like, there will be some typos, probably. Maybe they literally were just rushing, typing the stuff out, or they got Welcome someone else to, to type it. Who knows? Very authentic. Still prefer the vanilla game. I haven't even, dude. Honestly, we haven't even really done much yet, but it's already been, in my opinion, cooler than the vanilla game. But there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of things you can do with a mod that could also make it like a little bit less enjoyable because of how cohesive it is, or you know, if the ideas are really solid and you capitalize on them, it could be better in some cases. So we'll see. So the world might be mended. Now, I don't know how much the stats are going to affect everything, because in Bloodborne, without the gems and the weapons and the weapon scaling, it's like the damage you do isn't crazy, but last thing we, we killed was pretty easy, so... I think I'm actually going to try to increase... Um, I kind of want to do attunement. I want to have uh, at least one attunement slot, so we'll do that. And then we'll do a little bit of dexterity, a little bit of strength. Endurance usually isn't super, super important because they, this game already, DS3 basically is fine with base endurance if you're just trying to beat the game and Bloodborne even more so. So yeah, we'll just do one more dex. Alright. Well, wait, we gotta check out some other stuff too. Let's see. Before we even leave, let's check out everything around the shrine and then check out these things too. Okay, so this is basically like Ludlith, where you can transpose the souls for weapons. Uh, we got Ice Rapier from DS2. Dude, that's so cool. No way. Blue Blood Swords. So you got Demon Souls weapons. Uh, Ludwig's Holy Blade. Definitely got to use that. That's like my favorite weapon. Uh, Chris Blade from Demon Souls. Uh, that's the one I think I have. Unless I'm reading it. Like, maybe it just looks the same. I'm pretty sure that's the weapon I got. It's like a Claymore. It's like bloody sort of war. Quaylegs Fury Sword, dude. No way. I guess there's no expanded version of it. Ice Rapier, uh, Velka's Rapier, DS1, Phantom Kunai. Never seen that before. That's new. Apparition Katana. I'm pretty sure that's... um. Uh, what's it called in Sekiro? The, uh, the dude that has the... Headless. That's Headless's weapon. Or... Is it? I don't know. I'm pretty sure. Isn't that... The Shichimin? I thought it was the, the Headless Sword, because he has like a katana, doesn't he? Madman Sickle. Um, also, Bangan, thank you so much for the 10 months. If I didn't say that already, thanks, man. If I played Hollow Knight, I have. Yeah, there's a full playthrough on YouTube if you want to see it. Should be in the um, the variety game playlist. If you type in exclamation point playlist in chat. Got Elder Grew Tree. Large uprooted tree, so it's basically just like the tree they walk around with. We got the Sanctum Mace, that's a really good weapon too. It's one of my favorites. Uh, if you can poison with this, that'll be definitely worth grabbing, 100%. Because you just do a running attack and it's instant poison if the people don't have resistance. So the world might be mended. Uh, Necrobane Spear, never seen that before. Dragon Harpoon. Phalanx, uh, Spear and Shield, that's crazy. The Spear and the Shield, nice. Monk Lave. So that's, um, Corrupted Monk, Sekiro weapon. Church Scythe, never seen that. Uh, Isolith Fist. 
Looks pretty cool. Apparition Staff, Beckoner's Chime, Lock Shields, that's from Bloodborne, and then the Logarius Wheel. Ooh, that's dude, there's too, there's too many weapons in this. I'm gonna have to play this more than once. I already know that. <laughs> unless we do every, unless we like get a lot of weapons on this character, I feel like I'm gonna have to do more than one playthrough of this in the future. Oh man. Um, Venrir, what's up? How's it going, man? I think I'm right with the headless. Yeah, I thought that was the weapon that headless used. Or I guess it could just be the uh, like a katana with the uh, confetti on it, like someone was saying. Similar to that. Uh oh. Okay, wait, I'm gonna try the uh, special. Here we go. Whoa! <laughs> that was crazy. It takes so long though. You're, you're you're putting yourself in a position to get hurt unless you. I guess maybe they made it with like hyper frames or something. Or poise. Oh man. Uh, I got pre-ordered Elden Ring for Christmas. Already nice, man. Congrats. I'm I'm excited to uh, play it, man. I keep I keep forgetting it's a thing, and then when I remember I'm playing the network test, I get super excited. So. I'm kind of glad I didn't play it more than I did, because more of the game would have been uh, kind of known, so it wouldn't, it wouldn't be as much of a surprise. Um, do you have to download any other mod to play this? You just download the mod literally, and then you just put it in the folder of the game, and it works. It is the easiest mod to install that, there, that I've ever played in recent time. Um, for what it is, I guess, like for how much stuff comes with it. It's probably one of the easiest Let's ones to install. Let be granted so the world might be mended. Uh, just make sure you don't extract the stuff so from the, the file folders, like inside of the school, the main folder. Put the main me? folder in the game directory and you're good. Um, is it hard to make mods in general? Well, if you make mods, you're basically a game developer, like you're... You're using the um, the source code of the game, the engine, and then the exi pre-existing assets from other types of IPs or the one that you're trying to mod. And then you're manipulating those things, then recoding it into a finished product. So it's kind of like you, you, you pretty much are a game developer if you're doing mods that are huge. Um, that's why some people get full-time jobs out of doing that kind of stuff. I think there should be more of that. Like there should be job offers for people that use... Uh, uh, like a remake of a game or a mod of a game uh, in their portfolio. I think that's a huge strength because it shows your individual creativity and maybe something different than they expect from you. Okay, so here we can only go th these ways. We can't actually leave from here. What does that mean? Produce the coil the mark of ash will got to Lothric. Did I not grab the coiled sword? The I must have not grabbed it. But I sat at it, didn't I? Uh, Medusa, no worries, no worries. Your prime stuff's not working. Mine does that sometimes too. Pretty sure you did, that's odd. Hmm. Is the boss drop, interesting. Oh, maybe I didn't, um... Hmm. Matching drinks, what you sipping on, Pylon? I have a uh, black coffee. <laughs> nothing, nothing interesting. Did you get it right after beating Gundir? Yeah, I, I might have got it. Yeah, that's that's what I put into the third bonfire. Hmm. Might have been delayed dialogue. It could. Maybe I have to talk to her first to get the other areas. Let strength hmm. be granted, so the world might be mended. I wonder if that's a common issue or so if that's just something I'm doing wrong. Mend. More offerings here. Ash pred the mutton. Ashen one. Soft I was ashen one. Ashen was I act. Hmm, interesting. Well at me. Tomb graves. Yeah, there must be there must be other places to go. I don't think it's actually that you need the coiled sword to uh, travel to the high wall. Because if you think about it this way, how would you have the high wall's location without going there from somewhere else, right? It would make more sense that they have another 
way to get there. At least to me. I don't know. I don't think it's a glitch. I think it's actually supposed to be like that. Wait, did I did I miss your sub? Dank oh dude, wait, one second. I don't think it showed up. Oh it did, here we go. Thank you for the 25 months, thank Muskrat. Do I remember you? Of course I do. Oh man. Um But I don't remember where to go in here to continue this. But I never did know, so technically it's fine. What's over here? Uh oh yeah, warp to the high wall of Lothr Lothric Cathedral. Go to sacrifice Karthus. So Activate statue. Mended. What is this? So the world might be mended. So oh, this is how you. How you okay. Smile. So instead of giving you features in the in the menu in the bonfire, they give you actual like monuments to do each different thing. So you basically can go to the second playthrough through the statue rather than it being a random gimmick thing in like the menu. So they actually made like a like a site or like a. Like an actual like monument for doing that, for returning. That's pretty cool. Uh, so should we go to uh, Lothric, Road to Sacrifice, Cathedral, or Karthus? It really doesn't matter to me. We could try anything to, to, to see what happens. <laughs> uh, Ashen, thank you for the four months. Also, Thunder Scepter, what's up? Uh, Ashen, I'm doing pretty good. How are you doing? Go to Karthus right away. Uh-oh. <laughs> Maximum pain. Let's go to Karthus. That's like the worst. <sighs> God. Ring City. Oh, it's dark in here. We trapped, man. Abyss Watchers do be a dead end. I can hear them fighting, though. Man, we need a torch in this run. That'd be really nice. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world shortcut or no mended. shortcut? Should we try? Four years, my dude. Thanks for the countless hours of entertainment, Squilla. Hope you're doing great. I want to see how much stuff they place differently in here. I'm very curious. No shortcut? We don't have to do a shortcut for anything at all. Just I'm curious of of if the items are different because I do kind of remember this area a little bit. I keep thinking I can walk away from the skeleton, but it's got more reach than the one from DS1. Like, it actually hits a little further than the other one does. <laughs> from the other game. Yeah, we got Mortal Draw on this weapon. It's pretty cool. Cool to be under the Abyss Watchers fight while they fight. Yeah, it's definitely weird. There, there was one other thing I played that was like that, too, where you could appear on the other side of there before it was opened. And there's a different way to open everything. I think that, uh, isn't Convergence kind of like that? I'm trying to remember. We got Karthus Rouge. That's still the same, I'm pretty sure. But it has, uh, has a different looking icon to it, from what I remember. Okay, this guy might be kind of scary. Let's chill for a second. Oh my god, dude. Can I backstab? Do you have to wait? Are backstabs the same as Bloodborne? That's the real question. Is that the only way to get a backstab? Let's see. Probably not, but like, I don't know though. It'd be kind of cool, but just really hard though in this game. <laughs> Might have to use mortal draw. Let's see. Oh no! It still kind of works. Dude, that was pretty brutal. Like, I dropped Twinkling Titanite, though. <sighs> Do you have good armor or enemies take less health? Um, I literally just started this, and I haven't leveled much, so I would say that uh, 
that we are pretty weak right now. <laughs> There's a bonfire down here. Oh, shit. Who's firing from up there? Oh, man. It's one of these bonfires where you literally just, like, stand up and then you're shot in the head immediately. <laughs> Seems like it'd be insanely hard to do against enemies like these. Yeah, the backstab, if you could actually do it, it would take so long. Um, do you have to farm blood vials in this? Um, I'm pretty sure the icons just change, but you get you get them replenished. Yeah, they come they come back. So you still have Estus, but they're called vials instead. Uh, Sed, what's up, man? Whoa! Torpedo. Torpedo Thomas over here trying to be cool. No thanks. Yeah, he still attacks you while you're at the bonfire. That's what I'm saying. There's there's some mods I played where like you literally turn the corner or you like you literally just like leave the bonfire and you you can die or you can get hit by a projectile immediately. Kind of reminds me of um I'm trying to think of what mod it was. I think it was uh the mod that made everything really challenging um in high wall where there's all the snipers. It's like a million crossbows. Wait, is your pyromancy down this way? Oh shit, wait, is that a hole? No, it's not. Soul of the lost I think there's a pyromancy somewhere in here. Uh, Northern Lumberjack, thank you very much for the brand new sub, dude. I hope you enjoy your mounts, welcome. What is this? Ring of Favor plus one, okay. Oh yeah, we start with flesh bites. That's uh, bleed resistance. Oh wait, raises poison, bleed, curse, and frostbite. So it's all four. Why is the mod so dark? It's supposed to be kind of like Bloodborne. Uh, I can turn the brightness up for you guys a little bit though. Let me do that. Okay, I put a filter on it to raise it a tiny, tiny bit. Should be better. Um, if it looks bad at any point, let me know. That's on OBS though, so it should actually come through the way that I'm seeing it at least, because my screen is brighter than what you guys see. Okay, I'm gonna sneak on this dude. Or I will not. Because there's another one. <laughs> Hopefully Ring of Favor is better. I can't take it off though once I put it on, right? Oh no, you can still backstab. It has the other animation to it though, so that means that backstabs in this game don't give you a critical based on the weapon, I'm assuming. Because if you notice, my damage is really low there. not trying to parry. We're getting pretty good items from the enemies. What does this guy do? <laughs> the dodges, man. Oh my god. Uh, Medusa, thank you so much for the 28 months. Welcome back. I'm glad you uh, you got the reset to work. What was what was the issue with it, out of curiosity? Okay, we got a sharp jab. That could be very good. Uh, did I ever finish Ascension mod? I never finished Ascension. That's the name of the one that was really hard, though. I remember that. I didn't finish that, no. <laughs> I think I could have, but I was I was just getting to the point where it wasn't that fun anymore. So I think that like doing that in small doses would be fine. But it was just, it was ridiculous though, in all honesty. And I think that anyone that completes it has a lot of uh, determination to do it all at once without taking breaks between it.
Yeah, it's got like preset damage, it seems, for the backstab, unless they've just made it scale from the weapon, but made it less than normal. Because on a regular playthrough, I'd imagine this weapon would do more. Makes more sense. Oh my god, dude, the bleed is just ridiculous. And then he can escape. He can escape any attack here. What's going on? I don't think so. I have no vials left. I have to go back to the bonfire for a second. Uh, dude, that's crazy. Um, I'm gonna try Molotov on them, actually. Let's do that. Then what are these things? Divine Herb? Oh, restores HP for a while. Nice. Okay, I should use that too. That'll actually help me here. Should I be sneaky? Ah, oh, you're doing fine, Sed. You tried to do deadlifts today for the first time after a break and you had a panic attack because you lifted a weight twice your own wrong? Didn't hurt yourself, luckily. Oh, you gotta be careful, dude. Oh, definitely gotta be careful, man. The mind is uh, definitely more eager than the joints and ligaments are. <laughs> Dude, this guy's attack is just way too fast. And he's like still attacking after he's... Oh, okay, he's gone. Never mind. It's fine. That was okay. He, he just had to take a break. It's cool. <laughs> Nailed it. Yeah, did nothing nothing wrong there. That was handled very professionally. We're good. Very nice. Oh, his bone wheels up there. That's not good. I have to use that other thing that we had in the inventory. This is going to be like a grind just to get through the catacombs, I can tell. Uh, are we embered? We aren't embered. This is like, oh no, I can't use it. Okay. Yeah, I really like the way they did the menus, man. Like, it actually makes me realize how much more I like the menus in Bloodborne. Minus the whole tile system being better in this for these kinds of things, but in terms of just, like, the expanded uh, menu, it looks really good. Uh, no idea. You ended up paying for the sub. Prime isn't working still. I'm so sorry to hear that. Thank you for paying for the sub still. <laughs> Didn't have to do that. Oh, there's a ladder here. I didn't notice. Hmm. Is there no, no soul counter um, behind the cam? There actually is. Uh, it's 14999. Here, actually, wait. Let me see if I can move it a little bit. I can move it lower. Let me just like crop it a little bit so it's not looking stupid. That is not the right one. That is not the right one. Top. 200. Yeah. No. 190. There we go. All right. Here we go. We're good. Nice. Okay. Now you can see the counter. Um, yeah, I don't think there's any insight in this either. So what is up here though? Oh wait, I can I can kill the enemy out there with this thing. <laughs> it didn't work the second time. He he must have been moved. That's weird. Okay, wait. Let me try the firebomb or the the Molotov. Okay, it looks pretty much the same as a firebomb still. So I guess they either are not going to change that or they haven't gotten to it yet. Was this, was this a ladder here before? I can't remember if it was or not. Was that ladder always there? Okay. 
Dude, I'm just gonna like murk them with the uh, <laughs> the trap here. Good strategy. I have like nothing left, dude. My health is about to go down completely, so we have to we have to be careful. And I feel like the skeleton's gonna parry me, or one of them are. Large Titanite, nice. The Ninja Skelly. They seem buffed. They they buffed bleed. Yeah, they definitely have buffed bleed. And there's other status effects in this. I think there's frenzy in this too. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. Hey, Mister. Oh shit. We can't, 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 no. <laughs> I think the skeleton has no head left. Oh boy, Fleeb, what's up? Thank you for the 18 months. Welcome back. Welcome back, man. You're pretty sure that the ladder was always there? Well, I did not remember that. It's been a while. I probably said that before when I found it, too. Because <laughs> it's been quite a long time. Man, I do not feel safe in the catacombs with this much health. We desperately need to go back to the bonfire again. I guess we're gonna respawn anyways, though. It doesn't matter. Just run through if I need to. Leave for 15 minutes and you're already at the catacombs? Well, you can go there right away. So I just warp there from Firelink. Karthus kind of looks like a chalice dungeon. It does, yeah. I was thinking that earlier, too. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might Ooh, be Ooh, we got a random... Okay, so you can still get the random Estus Wait from enemies. Nice. Hope it's a no hit run. That feature in this particular game, like in the base game, is probably one of the best features too. Just the random Estus thing for a new player. Or when you're a decent player but you're getting your ass kicked on a mod. <laughs> I'm glad they kept that, that's cool. Uh, Oblivion Soul, thank you for the eight months. Welcome back. Close to our baby, the subchild, yeah. What's the name of the subchild? Um Matto, what's up? Oh wait. I just fell. Sorry, M Matoka? Matoka light consumer? My bad. How are you doing? Let's Describe myself as a decent player. So well, yeah. I would hope so. I've played the game a lot. <laughs> so the world might be mended. Glad to see you back to random mods again. Still can't wait for the Soulsborne Hitless run. Uh, JSTs, we're going to be going back to that again tomorrow. But um, today I wanted to do this mod of playthrough because we were supposed to do this on Christmas. We didn't. Um, Yeah, this is uh, this has been out I think for at least a handful of weeks now, maybe a month. And I haven't seen a lot of people do it, so I was wondering if maybe just um, most people didn't know about it or like 
Wasn't sure how big of a mod it, it actually is, but it, it does seem pretty cool so far. Should probably go for Rally, right? It's actually kind of hard to, though, because, like, the weapon's slow. Oh my god. No! No! <laughs> that is not good. So child's name should be Zebedee. Zebedee? We can, we can do that, yeah. I agree. Alright, now I gotta escape and go up this ladder that we found last time. Gonna see if the echoes inside enemies thing is here. I thought that was already a thing in DS2, uh, three though. Maybe I was maybe I was just bugging out and I thought it was because I remember I said that to somebody before and they're like maybe it actually is and I forgot too and then like we we both didn't know if it was true or not. But no, I guess it's on the ground. Here it is. Can I make that jump? No, it does not seem possible. Oh my god. It's like, you want some bleed with the bleed? Just in case your bleed didn't bleed already. Oh my god. Ah oh, man. This part's pretty hard right away, right off the bat. Because you have to kill a lot of skeletons just to even get to the part that we were just at. If Frida and Osaros wrote a song, what would it be called? Ice Ice Baby? <laughs> what mods am I using? Uh, exclamation point mod. It's just the, the one that's in the link right there. It's called uh, Hollow Overhaul. So basically, you could just say it's um, <laughs> Bloodborne uh, Overhaul on, the, on uh, DS3 because it makes the game play a little bit more like Bloodborne, makes it look a little bit more like that. And then um, apparently there's a lot of rebalancing for people that have already played the game several times to make it enjoyable. And they, they added a lot of stuff from different games too there. There's some content from Sekiro, Demon Souls, uh, DS2 even, that I've seen so far. This thing's just like a death trap hallway. Our soul's not even in here either. So you're gonna have to come back. I have to be super careful. I just wanna see what this lizard's about over here. Or is it even a lizard? There is a lizard, yeah, okay. Don't escape. Even the lizard's chunky. Oh my god, man, I can't even kill the lizard. Twinkling Titanite, we have a lot of that. Okay, these guys are invisible, interesting. Uh, I'm gonna go back up here. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world Where might could be the soul be that was in the room? I can't believe it's been 52 months. Dude, I don't know where it is. It's gone. Did one of the enemies actually consume it this time? It's legit gone. What's going on here? Oh, it's over there. I can see it. I can see it. I can see clearly now. I'm healing. Oh, God. What's going on? Whoa. Just got to get it before I die, at least. Keep it alive. Oh, man. That is so crazy. Oh, but we survived, though. But we survived. How did we do that? <laughs> Uh, Angry, thank you for the 52 months. Welcome back. Let's go, man. Also, TP, thank you for the 18 months, man. I don't think we're making that gap there. I'm gonna have to face everybody off on this part. Act natural. Ugh. Dude, the, the actual uh, damage is so bad. <laughs> Let's see if I can get a dunk, maybe.
300. Get on my level. Oh, man. Uh, well, Zio, I wasn't really trying to, but I guess I did kind of by accident because I just haven't cut my hair for a while. I probably should soon, though. This is not a good hallway to be in. Oh, man. Okay, we're gonna see if we can make it out of here. Who thinks we're gonna make it out of this hallway right here? With half the health. I believe we can. It, it'll be very difficult, but... Kicks damage, apparently? That's pretty cool. I didn't even notice that. Oh! Ooh. Ooh. Escape it. Escape it. Oh, no! <laughs> I wanted to get him so the ball would break, but it, <laughs> it didn't matter. I died, too. <laughs> Shit. Uh, SNG, thank you for the, the prime sub, man. I appreciate it. <laughs> That's pretty fun. I actually thought, I literally, like, my brain told me that there was no way I was going to die there and that we escaped and we were fine and then that happened. Unfortunate, man. Okay, I should go back to uh, the top part and just run through. Because now we're on the other side with the soul. Oh, man. SNG, thank you. Thank you so much, man, for the prime sub. I appreciate it. Welcome. Uh... That's very nice of you. You can no hit from every from game and you think you can't go through catacombs with half HP. Yeah, but this is catacombs like beefed up a little bit. This catacombs hits different, man. It's uh, it's a little bit scary. Also bleed, if you didn't notice, their bleed level, the level of uh, status for the bleed effect that they can inflict on you is way crazier. Keep an eye out, the demon will be hiding in the darkness close. What is that? That sounds like some uh, some scary stuff. I don't know. <laughs> okay, he got taken out. That's good. We have to wait till this rolls back, I guess. Then we should we should get a um, sublime bone dust. I'm pretty sure. Yep, oh, okay, and then Bone What the hell is this guy doing? Spaghetti time, oh no. Should have came prepared with the fire suit. He didn't have the fire suit. Uh oh. Oh, uh, no, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. I don't want to die. Yeah, we're going, we're going, we're going, we're going. I was joking. Skeleton thought that I was serious. I was joking. Okay, I wasn't joking. This enemy definitely does not learn from his mistakes in battle. <laughs> that was uh, that was quite a uh, non-sentient AI there. Oh, we got another spaghetti man. I don't have the fire, though. Do I have anything? I don't have any fire. Uh-oh. I have the bleed resin. Looks like you flipped him off. <laughs> Seeing the game blind is a whole different thing. Uh, it's nice. Uh, Cor let, me, let me see if I can say your name right. Cormorano. 
Imper, Imperat, Imperator. Cormorano Imperator. That's crazy. Your name is insane. That is probably the most uh, complicated name I've read in a long time. Corm, I will call you Corm for short if that's okay. Also, thank you. I appreciate it. I'm glad that you're enjoying this. This is uh, pretty spooky. I feel like I'm guaranteed going to die on this part, but I don't want to say anything yet. Might be fine. I not fine, no. That was not good. What is recollection? <laughs> what is recollection? I don't know what that is. Uh, could you imagine a Super Mario mod where all the monsters were from Super Mario, but rendered? That'd be amazing, dude. I would love to play that. That'd be really fun. Um, I'm almost thinking it might be smarter at this point. To literally, instead of going through all that again, wasting all the HP, Let's to just go grand, so sit down here, go back to Firelink, and then use the, uh, the so statue the to go back to Karthus from the beginning. What mods am I using? It's just the uh, Hollow Overhaul mod that we're doing. I was thinking, I'm like, I, I, I was, everyone wanted to see like a randomizer. I'm like, we could do a randomizer, but since I've already done like every randomizer combined other than the gun game thing, for DS1, uh, which I couldn't get to work at the time. I was like, might as well play something that's actually new. It's like a specific mod of some sort. But yeah, I'm very, I'm very curious to see what they did to the DLC on this, because there's not a lot of uh, mods that have full support for the DLC as well, or a lot done to it, so. Um, might be a two-day thing, we'll have to see. Might, might stretch into tomorrow as well. But yeah, I think this one's worth playing more than once. So I probably will save uh, some of the content. Like, I'm not going to go and try to find every single thing there is in general. Because I do want to use other weapons on this, but we're not going to be able to meet requirements for everything. So I think it'd be worth at least a couple playthroughs. Maybe maybe three. I don't know. <laughs> is there a tree jump? I haven't tried tree jump yet. I should have done that right away. I didn't try that, though. I wonder if there's a torch, because I, if I could have a torch, it would be so much easier to actually see in this part, which is kind of funny, because there's never a point in this game where you actually need a torch to see, but now it seems like there is. And I just died again. Damn it. Oh, maybe it'll bring me back to Firelink instead. Uh, do I only play DS? No, I play a lot of different stuff, but the channel's focused around DS as a main component for the content, for sure. Actually, um, so this is something that um, I'm just gonna lightly announce. I won't. I won't do a confirmed date for this one, but uh, I will be being trained on how to play DBD on a professional level from zero to a hundred in the least amount of hours possible by someone that is basically the best player in the game or one of the best players. Um, they want to dedicate around 50 hours of practice to uh, making me really good at it. So I've always wanted to uh, play that game better, and I was always hoping that they would be able to uh, give me some tips. So. Might have some uh, some multi streams with Alstarva, who is a longtime friend, but uh, he, he plays DVD pretty seriously, so he wants to show me how to do that. So we'll, we'll be doing quite a bit of DVD um, just to see how that experiment goes. Because um, I'm also curious too. I want to see how good I could get at a game that I have no skill in at all. You know, um, if I can beat like most of the player base after 50 hours, that'd be pretty crazy. But he, he wants to do it as an experiment to prove the argument that you can actually use killers in the game and um, as a new player and win and it's not one-sided. That was the idea. Let strength be grand and I used to stream so the game the a little bit, but I wasn't really great at it, so it'd be cool to be so better. The world might be mended. So that'll be quite a bit of variety right there. Had a lovely Christmas. Mate, seven, French, seven, onion, bro. Okay, I can see the soul at the end of the hallway here. Light at the end of the tunnel. Dude, run, 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 run. Oh, no. No. I got down. Look at, look at how, look at the poison, look at the bleed, dude. No wonder the ring that we started this with has all those resistances on it. <laughs> uh, Chef Coach Carlo, thank you for the, the four months, man. Welcome back. It was, it was pretty good, dude. It was a pretty good one. How about you? How to survive this uh probably come to this part of the game later when you're stronger or play really good one of the two that's my guess 
Also, Seb, what's up, dude? Let strength be grand. Why, man, Catacombs? You guys voted for Catacombs. I just let everybody choose that was watching. So the world might be men. That wanted to share their opinion on it. Well, it's 1624. How did your Christmas went? Do you need plans? Let strength be grand. So the world might be men. All the blood losses getting me. So yes. I got the souls back still. 46,000. Happy to be here. Hope you're having fun. Oh, man. Y'all think Elden Ring is worth it? You're thinking about buying it? Dude, honestly, I'm super excited for it. I played the game and I was I was I was shocked, man. It was really cool. It was way cooler than I thought it was gonna be. But there's a lot of people that also are saying that FromSoft is lazy and they've reused a lot of uh, stuff from their other games. Um, so it depends on what argument you want to kind of lead with. You could be very like negative about it and be like, yeah, they reused a lot of assets, they reused animations, they made the game basically this game but open world. But essentially, that's what they said they were doing. So it's kind of like, it's it's, it's kind of hard to like I don't know argue in my opinion. Um, I think some people want like a different game completely. But then there's a lot of people that won't be happy if that happens. So it's kind of a um, you know discussion between that. Um, but for what it is, like for what they actually announced it as, it looks really good, and it, it played very good too. Okay, we'll see if I can just get to a bonfire up here if there even is one still. I'm hoping there is. Please be a bonfire over here. Is there? Dude, I don't think there actually is. There isn't. Okay. Nice. <laughs> so we trek even deeper into the catacombs without knowing if we're going to be able to get the soul back. If we lose it. Uh, Papa Hoochie, thank you very much for the prime sub. I hope you enjoy your motes, man. With a game that size, I understand why they reuse stuff. Well, I mean, if they didn't reuse stuff, people would complain. If they do reuse stuff, people will complain. The idea is that people will complain either way, so there's never going to be the entirety of the player base satisfied, or even 99%, so... Uh, no matter what they do, there's going to be something wrong regardless. But uh, if you're okay with... Uh, playing a spiritual successor to this game, specifically DS3, I think that it is a really good spiritual successor to this game um, but at the same time though it definitely feels very different so I don't really like say I, I wouldn't say it's like turning this on and then you're just in a different map it's like literally different than that in so many ways but uh, there's a lot of similar things that they've used in terms of the tiny details to make it seem like a game they've made right Okay, as long as I can find another bonfire close to here, I'm going to go back into the catacombs again. Because there's one more area I want to explore. But this is just wild, though. I can't see. Oh, I'm, I'm so dead. I am dead. <laughs> How will it run on a five-year-old Xbox One? Um, it probably would be 30 FPS on Xbox One and PS4. So the way that uh, DS3 runs on console right now, if you don't have a pro, that's what I'd imagine. The souls are gone now. We'll see. I believe, man. I think we can get them. It's going to be hard, though. I have the milk ring, too, actually. The blood loss thing is unbelievable, dude. Like, I actually don't even know how to fathom. I'm dead. Yep. Those souls are gone. <laughs> Those souls are gone, man. Jeez. Oh, That's crazy. Looks like you playing there for a second. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually It would actually be harder to kill everything there and get to the souls than just running. So at this point... I'm just trying anything. But yeah, that's 50k. That's what we get for doing this area early. If it isn't broke, don't fix it. The combat system's extremely similar. So is the equipment and natural animations will be similar. Why waste the resources on these things when they can use them to expand the game's content? Exactly, yeah. But, but even with what you're saying, too, though, it's like... I don't even think that's a big issue because people want that. There's a lot of people that requested it to be a sequel to this game directly, right? Like, they just want, a, like, a fourth entry in this series more than they even want another game. So I don't... 
I don't know how that can't be like even better than that because it's still a different thing, but they use enough familiar things to make it a sequel feel to it. Like a light sequel kind of, or a light reference to this. Uh, Salt Dog, thank you for the prime sub. I appreciate it. Hope you enjoy your motes, man. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Okay. <laughs> I need to see exactly what we're actually getting ourselves into here, because I feel like Walnir is not in this. Or at least not in this part. And I want to know for sure. And I also want to know if there's a bonfire that's in somewhere in here. It's not back in this area, we know that. We know that for sure. But I also really have to not get hit by the bleed too. That, that's a huge thing. And somehow, this time, it's been perfect. I don't know how that's even possible. But that was literally perfect, okay. Not the bleed. Not the bleed, man. Not the bleed. Uh, wait. Why? Yes. No. No. Dude, bleed is un unreal on this. You get hit by that guy one time and you die. That's actually crazy. Look how many times. Look, look it. They refilled the bleed like two or three times after I was already dead. <laughs> I don't know, like, so you have to get through there without being touched at, uh, in general, like, at, at that point. That's a, that's a so crazy uh, request there. So the world might be mended. Damn, high wall might be easy after this. Hope you had some awesome holidays, Squills, and we'll have an amazing New Year's Eve, Squill. Uh, Salty, I appreciate it, man. Thank you very much. Thank you for the 51 months. Um, yeah, I should be streaming. Well, New Year's is tomorrow, right? So, I mean, I should be streaming... New Year's, but uh, definitely not midnight or anything, but yeah, we'll, we'll do a stream tomorrow as well. Might be a continuation of this if this keeps going struggle mode for us, but yeah, there we go. Dude, that's so scary. Get a torch. Yeah, you know what? That's a really good idea. Before we even go to the next part, I'm going to home. I'm going to use that hunter's mark that I got, and I'm going to see if there's a torch in Firelink. Okay, so that still looks like a homeward bone. They didn't change the animation for that yet, but I'm sure that would be pretty easy to do. <sighs> okay. Ah. Um, oh, there's a torch right here, yeah. Purchase items. Easy. And then that lasts forever. This is like a weapon. I'm not sure if it would mean anything, though. I don't know if it actually illuminates. Oh, it kind of does. It'll it'll immediately take out the spaghetti dude, so that's good. As long as I can do that. What is the spell that I got? Oh, I have the fire one too. Yeah, you're right. I actually do have a spell that is fire. Let's take a look at these quick before we continue. I might need a thing to cast it though. Because it has zero requirements, but it probably needs like a catalyst or a, a chime of some sort. Maybe the pyromancy hand. Which we don't actually have. Ashen one. So I'll probably have to rescue Cornix or find the Pyromancy Hand first before I can use that. Leveling the weapon. Yeah, we might be able to do a little bit of that because I did pick up the the Titanite. Oh, it's Twinkling Titanite for this one, for the Sword of War. Ooh, Karthus Curved Greatsword, though. That's a really good weapon, too. Oh, man. I wonder... I just chose to reinforce that. Let me see if I meet requirements for that one. That's a slower weapon. That's the only issue. Um, I do meet requirements for it, though. 167. 185. This one does more damage, still. Okay. Uh, do weapons have two forms? No, they don't transform in this, at least in terms of the ones that we've used so far. Uh, but there is a weapon art on this one that is from Sekiro, though. 
So you can do uh, Mortal Draw, if you've ever seen that before, this thing. And that is really cool. That's one of my favorite things. I think that is my favorite uh, thing in Sekiro. <laughs> that and Makiri Counter are the best. Now, if you could Makiri Counter in this game, then I would I would definitely only play this game this way. <laughs> or, I, or like most runs I would do, I would probably want to play on this mod if, if it was uh, possible. Because Makiri Counter is really cool. Um... Oh yeah, we also have a bone shard too. Let's use that before we go back. Uh, Beck Tasby, thank you. I appreciate that. That's very nice of you. You know you are pretty cool too. Maybe even cooler. It is possible. Just like it's possible that there's a tree growing out of cement in the middle of this room. Catacombs. Okay. Just to even it out, you're really uncool. Pfft, whatever, man. <laughs> I think I'd rather be uncool because it's kind of cold out right now, so might as well be warm, you know? <laughs> uh, Illyriel, what's up? Is this mod done or is there still some things that need to be done i don't know if it's actually completely finished it's finished enough to play as a complete idea but there's still updates that i think need to be done to it uh so far only small things though like maybe some animations from bloodborne still like the like when you kind of travel home it's an example um could they could probably change some of like the dialogue in terms of the texts um for the, some of the spelling mistakes but other than that though it's it seems very finished to me, so far. Seems more finished than some things I've played. This bleed, though, is going to be so bad. Thank god I have the torch. The torch actually will keep me from getting hurt even if we do get hit by that dude. I forgot about that. So I was thinking I'd need to hit him, but apparently we just have to have it in our hand. And same thing for this, too. Oh, maybe if I just actually don't do that, though, yeah. <laughs> they killed the Crystal Lizard. Friendly fire still enabled. Nice. Oh, and there's another one here. Dude, you're kidding me. If the bridge breaks... That was wild, man. <laughs> hit back. Hit back and get health mechanic. The rally? Yeah, the rally mechanic is in the game, I'm pretty sure. Parallel universe. The undead is black Dark Souls using player character. Not only that, also streaming. And G Let's Gwini is subscribed so at his channel. Might be mended. So the world might be mended. Hmm, I have no idea what you're asking. What you're saying, Gladios? Are you saying Gwyn, Gwyn subscribes to me? And that he's a person that watches the stream? Am I going to do Smoldering Lake? I will right after this, yeah. Which might not be a good idea. So, <laughs> if, if, if we don't make it, I, I did it for you guys, you know. Uh, Joe John, thank you for the two months. Welcome back, man. I appreciate that, man. Happy New Year's, dude. Wait, is Carson here too? Or is that just a random shout out to Carson? Oh, Guava, wait, you're on a call with Carson, Vixit, and another person while he was making an emote? Hey, he's been making some really cool emotes for people lately. I've seen that. Someone donated 300 to the charity. Did they actually? Wait a second. Well, I'm about to die. One second. That's insane, dude. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna check at different intervals and we'll read out a lot of the the notifications on the page. I just don't have them hooked up to my actual alerts. Wait, while well, you're still as health. Oh. 
I thought it was going to be another part of the fight. That kind of made me excited for nothing. Okay. <laughs> I was like, oh, is there another part? Like, is he going to crawl back and be like mini Walnir? Not quite. The bracelets only do 25% damage, though. Okay, so that definitely needs to be updated. That last part where he still has health. Mini Walnir. Well, there's Mini Walnir in, in uh, Convergence mod, and Walnir was one of the hardest bosses there was in the entire game. It was like a really, really good Walnir fight. He's like a little bit smaller, and he was like running around with a hammer or something like that, or a scepter of some sort. Or no, no, I think he had his. Did he have his sword? I think he might have had his sword. He's using magic too. Uh, Pursue, thank you for the prime sub. I really appreciate that. That's very nice of you. Okay, I'm going to check the the charity goal thing that we're doing. Oh my god, wow. We already have some contribution. Let me let me see if it actually shows up, though. Here we go. Okay, we got Bananarama with 25 bucks. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. No message, though. There's only a couple of these with messages. Soul Doubt Boy gave $300. Dude, Soul, thank you so much for the $300 to charity, man. That is insane. Um... Chris with $10. Good luck on your next no-hit attempt. I believe in you. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Polyline with $10. Anonymous with $20. And El Nombre with $10. And good luck. That is awesome. Um, donations pause. Wait. Live. Okay, I clicked the live button. Maybe they will show up now. I'm not sure, actually. Um, but yeah, that's crazy. That's, uh, that's already... Wait. I think there's even more. Did it just update? Yeah, it's even more. Okay, and then we got Salty with $25 and a heart. So that's $400 so far even. I made the goal 500 just because I wasn't really sure what to put. I didn't really want to make a goal, but it makes you make a goal, I think. So, Or at least I thought it did. So, <laughs> um, That's crazy, man. Thank you so much, guys. So that's basically $800 so far because I'm going to be doubling it. So that is crazy. Um, what? Where were we over here? I don't even know if it's safe to go to Smoldering. Like, I can't even see anything in here. Also, for anyone that uh, has contributed to the charity or, like, just was thinking about it, so I'm going to have the link um, available for almost a week or so. Like, just sometime until next week, we're going to have it available. Um, so if you were thinking about, like, trying to contribute, but you couldn't today or, like, maybe you wanted to, like, next week or, like, later... Um, or you still just want to do some more research on the charity if you don't know much about uh, St. Jude, then you can can do that. Um, you, you have a handful of days regardless. Um, instead of just doing like one kind of stream for it, so just to let you guys know that. Praise the moon. Dude, this looks amazing. Oh my god. That looks so good. That changes it back to normal again. Praise the sun. Yeah, praise the sun. Would, would you guys pick moon or sun for this one? I think if the game came like this normally, the moon would look really cool. But like this is just... This kind of reminds me of Anne Orlando a little bit. And we still have no bonfires. So I think... Uh, I'm thinking I might go back really far if I die. <laughs> Oh no. You may not cross barrier because you do not hold the requirements. All right, Pontiff Beast kill freestyle here. What if I can mortal draw him? Let's see. Oh no, he picked me up. I, I stopped too early. Let me up. Oh my god, the finisher, dude! No, I had the da. Ah. That's really rough, dude. I don't know. We're going to be put back so far, I think. I'm trying to think of where, where I'm going to actually appear. We killed Walnir, though. That's cool. That's like a little bit earlier. Yeah, we're all the way back here. Mm, I have to go back and get the soul, though. 
Got to go get it. And then uh, if I can... Hmm. If I can get it, I might want to save the Pontiff Beast for after. Because I can kill it right now, but if I die again, we're just going to be running back from all the way over here. So I think it might be smarter to save it. Or at least try to go the other way and see what's over there first. See if there's a bonfire. Uh, Nigel, what's up, man? But streamer, you can just get good. Oh, I could hit the trap every time and kill that enemy too. I forgot. That's smart. I also wanted to go back over there and see if Blood Ring's still there. I'm assuming it is. I wouldn't really use it, but I want to see if like they replaced it or there's other, any other items. Yeah, there's no bonfire at Walnir. There's no bonfire before Walnir. Uh, there is no bonfire in Irithyll. Once you arrive, there is no mercy for anyone, and there is nothing but uh, bleed and torches. That's that's what I've learned so far. <laughs> and then this one's trying to whip us. Nice. Imagine they made the Pontiff Beast faster for the mod would have been a good scare. I think the Pontiff Beast is actually a really good, like, well-balanced enemy already. That'd be that'd be hard, man. Like, Pontiff Beast, in my opinion, is perfect. There's nothing that I would change about it other than um, you could make the uh, the attack where it kind of, like, chases you and then snaps its uh, mouth at you. You could make the recovery on that shorter or make him running quicker, but then it make it do less damage. Otherwise, though, every other attack and then the speeds and damage are pretty good. Um, what is this? You know, to bring a doll, be granted a passage, yep. Yeah, 10k from running around, but I killed I killed that one enemy with the uh, the trap too though. Oh wait, he landed. That's not good. I didn't know that. Not good. <laughs> But will he reappear if I go over here again? Would it be it would be possible, you see. He still picked me up, dude, no way. That's actually crazy. That is so... Oh, man. And then the finisher there, if he actually if he gets you. These delays. Insane, man. I wanted to get the stagger, but I couldn't. Yeah, so we might... Hmm. Might wait on that one. <laughs> I wonder if there's a difference if you praise the moon, then run across the bridge. Pull the code for that straight from Bloodborne. Um, the heal animation? I guess so, yeah. What I, what, they probably just took the animation for it, right? Uh, Nigel, I'm doing pretty good. How are you, man? Doing alright. We're trying to survive here. This is harder than I thought it would be. This is This is actually a really good challenge so far. So hopefully, if I go to the high wall, it'll be the same thing. Because the high wall, I'm assuming, was what they would expect you go to first. At least in order of how everything usually goes and the way they align everything up. But we went to Catacombs. Oh my... Dude, no. Bleed, get the hell out of here, dude. No. He's invisible. I can't see him. Ah, oh, this is so sketchy. Dude, I don't like this. Should we go back? Should we just go back and then try to run it smoldering after leveling? We should. I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm gonna play it safe. I'm gonna go back. Cause like, I could literally go down the ladder and smolder and like, then we're even further into this area and we still don't have any, we haven't spent any of the souls. So yeah, like that's, that's crazy. Doing great, Nigel. That's good to hear, man. I'm glad. Um, or the Olympic torch runner for today. I mean, <laughs> and uh, I think we missed the Olympics by a few thousand years, man. Might be early though. Looks like it. Ashen one. Yeah, now we can get a lot of levels. Let me see if I can reinforce this more. 
No. Okay. Well. Pretty be careful. Oh, even the loading icon's different too. I just realized that. The the auto save. Okay. What should we level? I th I'm thinking health. Just health seems like it's a good idea right now. Cause my damage isn't terrible. I also don't want to be too too strong if we can be right now. Be granted, so the world um, might be mended. I'm gonna do a little so bit of endurance. Do 15. And then we'll keep the strength and dex even just so we can use multiple oh, weapons if we need to. Uh, Slinky, is this convergence? No, this is a hollow overhaul. So basically someone um, combined a lot of mechanics and animations and different uh, elements of Bloodborne into DS3. And then there's some other stuff too. There's other content from other games. There's Sekiro content in this, Demon Souls content, uh, DS2 content, DS1 content. Um, and then they basically made it more playable for people that have beaten the game a lot of times, like make it made it more of a challenge to play casually. So it's probably the best casual playthrough you can do right now. That's not completely like changing the game to the point where you're basically, oh, I want to go back. I don't want to be here. Oh, they made this kind of look like Central Yarnum, actually. That's really cool. Nice. Um, yeah, I don't want to go here, though. <laughs> I guess I'll have to lose the 6,000. Yeah, they kind of made it um, a really good casual playthrough. So it's, it's probably the best casual run if you don't want to change the actual narrative or the backstory of the game to the point where it's like Convergence or Cinder's mod. It's still a pretty different playthrough, but it, I think this is still like more um, close to like the original base game Let's in the theme the and stuff like that. So the world might be mended. I guess we'll see so though. The world might be mended. You want uh, Catacombs, yeah. Wait. Uh, Abu, thank you so much for the two months. Welcome back. This is getting out of hand now. There's two of them. <laughs> oh man, is there guns in this? There is guns in this. Yeah, so you can you can start off with um, character classes that have the blunder. I'm not exactly sure how it shoots. It might use a crossbow animation. That's what I would imagine, um, or bolts. But I guess we'd have to see. Now I'm going to go back over this way. What do we got over here? No bone wheels. Oh, we just got big rats instead. Titanite shard. Oh, there's the bone wheels. Okay. I see them. More bone wheels? Less? Whoa! Who's that? Oh, man, we got one of these dudes. Is that is that a Corvian? Oh, there's, there's some cool stuff in the corner. Okay, it was a good idea. That is a Corvian. That's from, like, the DLC. How do we survive? Yo, look what's happening. Guys, is the Matrix 5 already out? They just made the 4th and we're playing the 5th in this game. That's insane, dude. That actually was pretty crazy. I did not think we were going to live there. <laughs> Every other thing we've done so far, I believed in the possibility. I did not believe in that one right there. <laughs> Uh, Demio, thank you for the the one year. Welcome back. Oh, little spaghetti dude, get out of the way. No, he's stuck in the way. Damn it. No. Just trying to get around here. Thank you. That's it. I want to know what this is too, but I'm very, very uh, frightened to even pick it up. Uh, rolling, it should be, yeah. It should be on there um, tomorrow. So I'm going to I'm gonna actually try to upload it for the time I was uploading the majority of the videos at, because it seemed that 9.30 a.m. was the best time EST for all the time zones, so I'll, it'll be... They're either tomorrow, 9.30 a.m., or the next day, depending on how long it takes to finish. And then we'll, we'll do more than one playthrough of this one, because uh, I definitely want to try some of the other weapons and stuff like that. And then I guess see how quickly we can beat it the second time through. 
uh, for Evers. What's up? How's it going? So many enemies. Yeah, I haven't even done High Wall yet. I went there for a second just to take a look. And it looks it looks very similar to Central Yarnum. It's like very dark. I have a feeling though I'm gonna have to kill this enemy to even get through here. Man, I wish they dropped the um, that moss that was healing me. That would be really good. Very, very good. See ya. Oh man, pretty low health here. Soul of the lost withdrawn from its vessel. It, okay, I'll, I'll be 100% with you guys. I do not like catacombs in this game, and this mod makes catacombs more fun because it's like it's it's like stressful because of the dark, and the enemies they put in there are more catacombs like than I would say, just having the skeletons like the mixture of the the spellcasters and like the spaghetti dudes like that's really cool so, much much better, especially because of how big the like the bleed is the theme of the bleed, that puts a lot more pressure on trying to actually like get through the area but the area is so small so you, you feel the. The tension a bit more. It's a good addition to it. This demon's jumping. What's going on? No, skeleton, don't hit me. Okay, that's that's fine. I think that's a pyromancy time. I'm gonna try to see if I can hit this bonfire because we actually finally found one. Jeez. Let me sit down. I think it has to actually die outside of the bonfire, right? Uh, Guitaro, thank you so much for the prime set. I appreciate it, man. Welcome. Uh, Fortar, thank you for the five months. This mod looks nice. It's it's pretty cool, dude. I'm, I'm very surprised, actually. Because I, I thought it was going to be cool, but I didn't think it was going to be this cool, though. Because it's not just about the actual uh, mechanics of Bloodborne. It's actually just like a... It's kind of just like a remake of the game a bit, right? It's like a light remake. So I'd say that stuff's actually even cooler than the UI and then all the mechanics they they transferred over. But even, like, let's say they just did the weapons, like, even that alone, I think, would get the interest of a lot of people. So having everything together, like, it's definitely crazy. Um... It also shows too, like think of the atmosphere, the way they did the uh, the redesign with the overhaul in this, like it makes it a better looking game too, right? It looks way better. Now the worms over there too. So the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. Let's see if I can get the worm with just the arrows over here. It's like it's going all over the place. It just spawned uh, in a different location. That's cool. Okay, so it can move in in between more than one spot. That's really interesting. And then will it pop up over there? Oh, okay. Yeah. See, like that's like a very simple idea, but that makes everything in this place way more risky because you can't just move based on the ballista. You have to also move based on the worm, which isn't as big of a deal usually. Okay, I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna pull the quit out on this one, because that's a Twinkling Titanite. I need the Twinkling Titanite. Then we can listen to the, the menu music again. If it even plays. Very quietly. <laughs> try, I'm a tryhard, yeah. I'm a tryhard. You can comment that if you want to. Um... Mod run pog. Oh yeah, man. This is uh this is one this is one that's worth trying. If you have a PC. Oh, 
Also, I'd imagine this one wouldn't be as hard to run as some of them, but some of them are kind of hard to run. Like, it's running way better than uh, other mods did for me. Don't think you've ever killed the worm without getting the giant crossbow to shoot it. I've never, no, I've literally have never killed it with like a, a set of arrows or magic or anything like that. Three twinkles, oh yeah, we need those. And then the two chunks. Bloodborne UI, yeah, they have a lot of weapons. Um, I mean, even the items consumable wise, like I have Molotovs, they're empty though. Um, so in the inventory we get fire paper, bolt paper, stuff like that. And it actually, they, they changed the animation of that too, so it looks pretty similar to the, uh, the Bloodborne items. I was even saying too, I remember when Bloodborne came out, I'm like, I was hoping that they would take a lot of those animations and use them in this, because it's the same engine, right? So they didn't end up doing that. Oh no, the lightning goes all the way over here. What? Oh my god, that scared the hell out of me. That was actually frightening. Oh my god. <laughs> that was frightening, dude. Holy shit. Okay, wait, can I just walk up and hit him? Oh, you can. You literally could. Okay, so they, like, you can attack him on, whoa, okay, wait a second. Oh, no. Am I trapped? Are we gonna have to kill the worm? Yeah, you, you know what? I didn't need the 27,000 anyways. It's fine. Phantom, thanks for the five months. Welcome back. Did you say there was elements of Sekiro on this? Yeah, so my weapon even, if you look at the weapon art. Probably looks familiar, right? Um, there is also the weapon that Headless uses from Sekiro. And... There's probably a few other things, but yeah, that's like one element right there. A lot of weapons from the other games. Of course the arrows aren't lining up. Only one of them hit. Okay, I'm gonna actually try to just get these items quick. Oh, dude. Even better. Use the ballista to kill the demon. That'd be pretty cool. I can't, can't run. There's two of them. Oh, what? <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> Yeah, dude, okay, so that was two demons, and then there's two worms, and the worm can kill the demons as well. So there's friendly fire for everything so far. Other than maybe, like, the same kind of enemy, but, like, there's a lot of friendly fire so far. That's really cool. But they look how far away they aggro from, though. I went over here. Okay, uh, just in case this drops a bone chart, I'm actually going to try to, uh... Maybe chill here for a second. I just, I just want to... Maybe if he's behind me? Here, let's see. It doesn't do that much damage to him. My, my damage is very close to the Ballista's damage on the demon. And then this, this uh, worm's gonna probably trap me here. This thing aggro's from really far away, oh my god. Oh, 
Oh, is he gonna just go and get killed? Let's see randomly. Is he fighting the worm? Yo, that's crazy. He's fighting the worm. He's gonna kill the worm for him. Or get killed by the worm. Oh, he just got destroyed. 2,000 damage, man. That's wild. Okay, I, uh... Okay. Oh, I'm just gonna try to get through here safely. That was a little scary. Oh, of course. Of course, of course, of course, of course, of course, of course. You can't make it. You're not allowed to. I get the bonfire first before you make it. I was gonna say, if they, if they didn't do me a favor and they had no bonfire on this part, that'd be scary. That's terrifying. Oh, man. Where's the nope cat? Yeah, we need the nope cat. Oof, that was, dude, that's insane. That's a really hard smoldering lake to get through. <laughs> I like I like the way they did the friendly fire for everything though. Cause like I would have I would have fun literally just playing through, not even killing a single thing, just watching everything kill each other. That'd be really cool. Just actual pacifism. Alright, what's in this? What's in this fog gate? You could follow it up with the other attack from the mortal draw. That'd be another thing that they could add to like a second part to that uh, weaponer, unless they found it was too strong. Maybe there's another reason. Souls mod is the mod for pacifism. Yeah, I still gotta play that one. Can I go over this? Let's see. Ooh, timing, man. I feel like the milk ring makes that a bit easier to to like visually see as you disappear. Wait, I'm burning. I'm on fire. You can get you can set on fire. That's not even a status effect. There's there's like a there's like a on fire thing. Anybody notice that? Two old demon kings. That'd be hilarious. I could probably do it, but it'd be, it'd be really tricky at this part of the game. This early on. I think technically I've done three before, because we did three times the enemies, all content, right? As long as it's not three uh, demon princes, that's, that's good with me. Oh my god, dude, that does so much damage. No, 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 the burning killed me. Oh, that's a really cool detail, though. I think that's important because this fight's not crazy hard. So if they just make the fire actually continue to do damage, adds so much more value to the fight. Does Rolling put it out? I don't know actually. It, like that seemed like it lasted longer, didn't it? You you would think that Rolling would actually completely put it out because that's what you have to do in real life. So <laughs> it's probably because we're not stopping and dropping first, right? Okay. 
So when someone was actually asking about the transforming weapons, by the way, there actually is Bloodborne weapons in this, so I would imagine they do transform. Uh, the first thing I'm going to try to do is buy one once we can get the uh, correct stuff for it. And then we'll, we'll try the we'll try the Ludwig's sword, we'll try the Logarius' wheel, stuff like that. And I bet you if you two-hand it, it probably does the transformation. Otherwise, I have no idea how they would make it a thing. I don't think they can reskin for that. They'd have to actually use the same kind of procedure for the, the attacks. So that's the goal right now, just try to get the, uh, like a transposed weapon of some sort that does transform. Bishop, thank you so much for the Prime sub. I appreciate it, man. Uh, Dizzy, thank you for the 13 months as well. Welcome back. How are you doing? Well... Yeah, he's got a lot of health, too, on this. Well, not even, actually. Just my damage is kind of low. Yeah, see, the, the, the damage from the fire is quite a bit. Oh, man. So you really just don't want to be sloppy on this. I said the stamina wasn't too bad. It actually is a little worse than I thought it was, so I'm gonna have to upgrade the stamina too. It's okay for regular mechanics, like regular actions, but not so much. Yeah, dude, rolling. Oh, it might actually put it out a bit sooner. It might. It's pretty hard so far, though. Glungers, thank you for the 45 months. Welcome back, man. Oh, it came from outside. Damn it, that sucks. Bloodborne music does fit this boss. You like it? Yeah, me too. Ever tried Sekiro Bloodborne mod? I haven't, no. Uh, the UI is sexy. Bloodborne gets another W. That's cool. I didn't know they did that as well. What is the mod called for Sekiro Bloodborne combination? Back to one and not two. Oh yeah, I wonder if that has something to do with um, when they replenish, or if there's only so many of them that are actually upgraded. That's interesting. Oh no. That, that attack was made faster. 100% faster. Much quicker. Oh, man. I wanted, I wanted that, actually. <sighs> Dude.
I thought he was going to do that twice in a row. Oh, man. Dude, he's regaining health. Oh, dude, the, the, the meteor shower heals him. Oh, my God, that's crazy. That's next level. I don't know about that. <laughs> this is literally a cross between the games. Someone modded the uh, base game of DS3 with um, elements of Bloodborne and then some of the other games too. But mainly just Bloodborne, that's the idea. But yeah, there's more information. If you type an exclamation point mod, there's a link to it. Explains uh, roughly what it does in the description as well. I definitely recommend it so far, it's cool. So it literally sound like you played Souls game for the first time. That's usually what it's like when you when you play a, like a remake or a like a reimagining of the game. So I think if they did a good job on it, it should kind of be like a first playthrough, like a little bit. Obviously, it's not gonna be perfect, but so far though, it's it's been pretty crazy. Like it's a decent balance too. It's not too hard, but it's also not like giving me like handicaps or for freebies right now. It's you definitely have to play pretty good still. This is definitely harder too. He heals and it has like the residual fire too. And then they made the one attack quite a bit faster. That's actually kind of what I would do, I think, if I had to redesign this stuff. I wouldn't change too many big things. I'd just make like small changes. Because the majority of it's already really good. It's, this is kind of cool, too, because the strategy with this attack, the way it tracks you, dictates if he gets healed. So if you hang around and do more damage, he, got, he gets more health back. So there really is no point of even hitting him when he does it, because you're just making him heal anyways. So you're actually better off running away immediately and then not trying to get damaged. So it's the exact opposite. Wait, maybe he's just healing because he's healing. It's, it has nothing to do with... Yeah, his health is just going back up randomly. Never mind. It's not even the meteor shower. So how does that work? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, and then I get Vile 1 back, so... All my Vials are gone. Dude, his health... Like, I can't kill him. Yeah, the DPS, I was gonna say, like, we don't have enough DPS to kill him. I might need to use, like, Frostbite or something like that, who knows. Yeah, no, the regeneration, like, I can't, I don't have enough damage to beat that level of regen, actually, so we can't do this right now. Unless just something else I'm missing. I think I have to actually uh, have more damage. Maybe fire heals him? I don't know. Because it just looks like it's going up, like, randomly, so if I hit him right now, like, it might seem like this attack did something, but let's say I hit him a lot. See, it didn't, it didn't heal him every single time a fireball hit him. It just goes back to the same amount of health again. So I think that's intentional, but it might not be working the way it's supposed to. I don't know. Like, obviously we could kill him if we could out DPS him, but I don't think we can. 
Yeah, but you might need a uh, different type of damage. That's true. Can I leave the fog gate? Let me see. No, you can't. They might have to die here. There we go. Okay. See, I'll have to go back to that. Is there an ability to have frost damage? Yeah, there's uh, items that have frost on them. One of the meteors hitting him. So the thing is, like, I thought the meteors were healing him, but they're not, though. His health still goes up even if nothing's happening, if you just hit it below that point. So he might just automatically regenerate at that point. Um, hmm, let me see. What is this? Multiple dark orbs to seek the target. So yeah, this stuff I can't use yet. I think I need a pyromancy flame. Or some sort of uh, catalyst of some sort. Alright, let's try high wall then. Oh boy. Going backwards. Wall near down. That's that's about it. <laughs> hmm. This is what video games were meant to be. So incredible. Boss looks fabulous. The, the way they did the lighting on it. Oh yeah. Looks way better than the, the base one. Like even this just looks way better. Obviously it's not supposed to be the theme. But I think it's a better theme. <laughs> looks way nicer. and jump attack at the same time. Too cool. Can't be stopped. The anime. Okay, high wall can't handle us. We, we have too much practice already. Ain <laughs> run, I'm doing pretty good, man. How are you? What is up, man? Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. Hmm. I go this way first, right? Can I do that? Oh no, this is unused. Okay. The quality, dude. Look at the resolution of that. It's pretty bad. <laughs> uh, polyline, I don't know. I don't think I got one when I went to Firelink, so I might be in trouble in the game. This is for every single dog that's ruined every run in the regular game. Oh, I couldn't even do a plunge attack. Wow, dogs are still impossible to kill even when in a corner. That's crazy. Never mind. <laughs> High wall looks kind of dope. It looks really good, doesn't it? Okay, something's already doing damage to the enemy over there. This kind of reminds me of the, uh, the Bloodborne... Uh, alpha test. That's the Elden Ring sword. I think it might be actually. Uh, the helmet is apparently from the game. I don't. I don't recognize it personally, but I mean, I didn't play a lot of it, so might have not noticed. Kind of looks like the helmet from one of the characters in the trailer, but, but I don't know. Yeah, spoilers. Oh man, ruin somebody's life by showing them a helmet and a sword. It's over. Yeah, like, the thing with this weapon and the way they did the moveset is, like, you can use a heavy attack, but it's still almost as quick as a regular attack, so you actually have, like, way more use of the heavy attacks. Even two-handed as well. It's pretty much the same speed. Has a better animation, though. It has the vertical, so... Can hit a little bit higher. Wait, wait a second, what's going on here? Wait, this is not the first area we went to, so how... Oh, it's like rearranged, okay. The rooftops are switched. Oh, I missed. 
Hmm. That was gonna be cool. Until it wasn't. Standard ammo. Yeah, so you- wait, we must already have bullets then. Wait. Do you have anything else? You have a bow. What does the description say? Oh wait, oops. Uh, how do we change this? Using crossbows and guns, okay. Interesting. Uh, isn't it a Londor helmet? I don't recognize the helmet from the base game, but that's also just because I haven't really played er like all with all the content in the base game for a while. Like maybe on randomizers. The hair physics and are dog shit in DS3 compared to Elden Ring, so I guess that's why it looks unrecognizable. The hair physics? I can't even see. Oh, you mean like the the fabric on the back of the helmet, right? My bad. I was like, I can't see the character's hair. That'd be like the last thing I'd probably notice if I couldn't see the hair. Oh, man. Great axe, nice. Wait, wait, there's one thing we actually have to do. I didn't want to, but I had to. Oh, you got a raw jump from that guy. Is that normal? I don't think you normally get a raw jump there. That would be way too easy. Oh, dude, I didn't have any FP left. I need that statue that gives me the FP. That was very close. <laughs> Bloodborne user interface. Yeah, it has some of the UI from Bloodborne on this. Wonder how good the armor will be in Elder Ring since strength will include equip burden. Hmm, yeah, it's actually a really interesting way of balancing it. It must mean that, that um, like, strength as a stat is pretty decent, too. Because you have to sacrifice to get the, uh, the other benefit of it. Like, if you're going to do a dex build, it would ima I'd imagine you'd still need some strength. But if they balanced it to be, like, whatever the required base amount of strength you need to just use the weapon in general in one hand is, like, if that's good enough for the armor, then it'd probably be the same as normal. Uh, but if you need like more than the regular required amount of strength for the weapon when you're using a dex build, then that's that's going to change a lot of balancing in the stat investments. retainer raised his sword for the Lord of Cinder. So I'm, I'm imagining you actually try to find all of these things and they give you something, maybe? Maybe other than dialogue? Um, Axolotl, yeah, dude, the person that made this is uh, very talented with what they do. funny if that door is locked for whatever reason too. Got round two on this. Ember Club. I'm assuming the claim is still down there. still here. Mimic's still here, nice. Uh. 
Ooh, empty phantasm shell. That's pretty cool. Nice, man. That's reusable, I think. Unless, unless on this game it's not. I don't, I don't want to, like, waste it. Empty shell that applies arcane power to a weapon. Oh, you can hold five, though, so I'm assuming that's not actually... That's consumable, isn't it? Uh, I want to see if it is. I want to try it and see if it actually is. I want to waste it, though. But then again, I guess if I waste it, I can get another one. So it's not like the end of the world. That's not how rare they are. It says it is. Empty shell that applies arcane power to weapon. Well, yeah, it says consumable by like the um, thing. But when you use a uh, uh, when you use the phantasm shell in Bloodborne, it's also in the consumable slot, right? So I don't. It doesn't really say explicitly if it, you can reuse it or not. But it does say number held five, so that could either be because they modded the game and they didn't fix that, or it's actually the truth that it's a consumable. So I feel like that would be a little strong to put right there if you can reuse it, unless they made it uh, weaker. Yeah, okay, there we go. I just tried it. So strong. Okay, there we go. Nice. Harry Potter's dead. We're good. By the power of Phantasm. Oh, Beast Talisman. Cool. That's Demon Souls. And then Lost Soul. That looks like a special one. Yeah, so I could transpose that. Okay. Cool. And then I wonder if this would work to cast some of the magic we got. I don't meet the requirements, though. Same as Pale Resin? I guess so, yeah, that makes sense. There's no bonfire up here, that sucks. Where's the royalty-free music? Exclamation point RF is the command for the royalty-free playlist. Okay, three Molotovs. Nice. Uh, so I'm still looking for a bonfire, so I'm going to actually play it safe and leave this part. Because sometimes a lot of people tend to put them right here on the modded runs, but... This one just has like less in general than the base game. here. Oh, wait, is it? Oh, I thought it was. I got excited for no reason. Damn, I thought I actually was in the room. Oh, I have to be very careful trying to find this then. Because either we're going to have to try to, like, get it and then backtrack a little bit, or just go through and then not, not die at all. Oh, we got this guy too, damn it. Might be safer uh, going the other way. Uh, Hater, thank you so much for the five gifted subs, man. That's crazy. Uh, anyone that just got gifted a sub by uh, Hater. Oh, you changed your name. You changed it to Metamorph now. Cool. Hater Metamorph. Okay. I appreciate that, man. That's very nice of you. Miss Legendary Bonfire. Don't laugh at me for that. It wasn't that legendary. If it was, I would have found it. Imagine it was in this part. That'd be a good way to hide it. I just don't want to walk into a thing that gets me killed right now. Would not be good. This dude, you can't really backstab him safely. He has a really good back punish, so... 
Unless it's this attack. Nope, see, he still gets you. <laughs> Uh, can we even safely make it down here? Dude, the fall damage should have been nerfed a little bit. It, the, the knight actually followed. That's crazy. Okay, okay let, let me let me get the shirt out here. If there even is one. Actually, you know what? You you know what? No, let's not even. Let's not even. Not so sure about that. Okay, there's no bonfire here, of course. What is the answer? Sup? It's right there. Are you trolling? Fool me the bonfire. Did I miss it? Alright, I'm going to let Emma live on this one. Just until I, I find a bonfire. <laughs> Ember to heal. Uh, well, I, oh, true. That's a good idea. I'm thinking I might. That's a good idea, man. Thank you. Okay. Um, I think refined gems usually over here, right? What is that? Oh, it's just a reflection of his shield. I thought there was like a thing on fire. I was like, what's going on? Lucerne? Yep, yeah, still Lucerne. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna make an attempt to try to get the shortcut here. This is our best attempt right here. Full health. Literally, um, DS3 and Bloodborne Engine. Well, DS3 is already in the Bloodborne Engine. Um, this is just like a mod that puts in more of the animations in the user interface. Uh, they created a different like lighting system for it, or uh, changed the the properties of that to make it, the atmosphere a bit different. And there's some other uh, reworkings. It's quite a lot of stuff. There's like music. There's um, you know different placements of things, some environmental changes that are very light. Some that are bigger, like in this area, definitely was a bit different. Uh, could, could be a cryptid. Thank you so much for the brand new sub, man. I won't, if, 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 if anyone asks, I'll tell them you're not a cryptid, but unless you want to be. <laughs> but thank you very much for the sub, man. Wait, what is this? Well, that one doesn't give you a prompt. Hmm. Oh, shit. Oh, there's another one. Didn't want to do that. Definitely should have hit the bonfire on that. Here, let me send this back up. And then not get stuck on it. Uh Dutch Lion, that's a that's a scary number, man. I don't know. Wait, can you go through here? That's cool. Didn't know that. I'm gonna actually do that again over here. The shortcuts. Whoa. Okay, there's no bonfire on those sides. So there actually just is no bonfire in this lower area. Which I guess it's kind of similar to Bloodborne, because Bloodborne has the um, the lamps. So. Can you fight Lawrence with Wolf Knight Greatsword and be the coolest person alive with flips? Um, I've never tried that before. That'd be interesting. Can you can you technically do that in this? I don't know about that. Because I don't, I haven't seen Lawrence before, but yeah, dude, if you could use the D, I guess 
uh, with Bloodborne being moddable, you probably could put DS3 weapons in that game too. It'd just be harder to mod because you have to have a jailbroken console, so. What helmet is this? I can check for you, I'm not sure actually. I just picked the uh, starting class and it gave me it. It is called Tarnished Helm. So yeah, it is from Elden Ring then, that's cool. We got the Sword of War. Okay, Frostbite's definitely a lot uh, quicker, even with armor on. Oh, he's fast too. Nice. The frostbite lasts for so long. Man. Oh my! That's a really cool idea. I like that. That was good. That was really cool. Uh, it does look like instead of giving bosses entirely new moveset or whatever, the modder has refined them. Yeah, it's not like a completely remade example of everything, but yeah, there's some little details. I want to use some of the magic, though. That's pretty cool, though. Um, okay, I'm going to... Should I level up again? Just in case. Yeah, I probably should. Uh, Jova started over? No. no. I'm still playing the Let's same playthrough now. We've been going for uh, almost three hours. I probably should take a break soon. Now that I saw that. Oh, oh boy. A story of a one time happening. I How good is this mod compared to Cinders and Convergence? Planes. Surprisingly, I would put it in the same category, man. I wouldn't say it's as ambitious as uh, Cinders and uh, Convergence. Just from what I've seen yet, but it's not supposed, like the actual concept of it doesn't really need to be. Like ah. it's not like a super, super heavy mod. It's like just um, maybe like a medium amount of incorporations and new things, but, and all the changes. So I can't say like I could actually directly compare it to one of the mods that are supposed Action. to be like a completely different game itself. Like even the story is different, but this is uh, in the same category for sure. It's pretty cool. Oh, I need one more Twinkling Titanite. Great. That sucks. Wait, do I have the shards? I actually, I have, I have no idea if you have to bring Andre Estes shards still, because there's vials, right? So they might be different items. I don't think I have anything that's like that. Seems like it's pretty hefty. It is, but like, convergence is ridiculous, though. Like, it's every single thing. Like, they've touched so many things in the game that now the game... Like, like, even the systems are a bit different in some cases, right? Same with uh, Cinders, too. There's some things that change, like, what what is possible. Or I think this just expands on that a little bit. But that's also kind of the point, too, so... Um, hmm. I'm assuming, okay, the magic we have might not be that great, but I want to see what the requirements of the talisman are. Six and six. I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to put that in and see. Uh, something. It's right there in the command. It's called a uh, hollow overhaul. 
Okay, now I can use this. Ooh, nice. <laughs> you can like shoot them up in the air, that's cool. Goes pretty far too. I have a feeling Beast Talisman's pretty damn good though, because that's like, that was in a particular place in the corner. Fairly hidden, so. Maybe we can use that for the rest of the game. Oh. Ooh, that's super cool, man. Look at that. Holy shit, man. We got like a turret. Magic turret, man. That might that might be worth it. If that does okay damage, just to, as a distraction, might be worth using wind blasts. It's kind of just like knocking people back, I guess. Does it work on uh, Firekeeper? <laughs> okay, it does. Executioner skull. So I'm assuming this is similar to Bloodborne too. Yep, pretty much the same thing. Maybe even more similar to the uh, the um, the beasts that have the tree branches or the tree trunks. It's like part of their magic, I think. Okay, I'm gonna use the. The recollection, that's good. And then we will continue. Uh, could your 1650 handle convergence? If you have all the settings turned down to low, yes, probably. It probably could. Because uh, convergence right now, in, in terms of how they've optimized it, they do recommend that you play on lower settings. There's a lot of stuff they've added very quickly. This guy's just holding the flag waiting. He's like, it seems the building in the distance is just a cardboard cutout. The demons are like, you have met your final match. Just let me climb. I am so tired. The water is also fake. <laughs> you fools, I have seen through your illusion. This is not DS3. <laughs> Actually, that 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 does... Yeah, like, it still kind of looks weird. That's, that's very interesting. Kind of looks like they just had, like, an image kind of... As a placeholder there. Okay, now it's, now it's different. That's pretty cool. Is flying considered cardio? I think it would be. And definitely be anaerobic of some sort. Um, if you're really good at it, it might not be, though. It depends on how hard it is to fly. Like, Asylum Demon 100% gets cardio from flying. Because it can barely fly, so... Wait, is there a bonfire over here? Oh, yeah, there's one right there. Sorry. I was distracted. This is very foggy over here. Cutscene is broken in every mod. They just can't make it look right. It, I think it's it's difficult to do stuff like that. Um, because what you have to do in the cinematics would be, like, queuing the game to show the event that already exists. But then to change what's in the cutscene, it may have elements to it that aren't really, like, bound to the, the changes you made in the assets when you're actually playing in-game uh, stuff. So even though it's, like, in-game engine, it's still not queuing those uh, changes. So you can see, like, obviously it looked different, but whatever it showed there was, uh, like, the lighting and all the other stuff that wasn't uh, affected or anything. It was without the lighting, so. It was definitely different. <laughs> Some primo gothic vibes, yeah, man. Have I had any ideas for a mod? Uh, personally, I mean, any idea that I had for stuff before has been done at this point, so I feel like uh, there's nothing crazy that I've ever thought of that would be a good mod. Maybe in the future, though. Like, I was thinking just mechanic mods for PvP. I mean, they did that for, I think, this game, and they did that for DS2. Or, no, sorry, they didn't do it for DS2, they just did it for this game. But the, the level they went to, in terms of detail, is pretty crazy. 
So you, you can play PvP on, on a mod on this that is really good, but it's pretty hard though. And you would be like extremely disadvantaged learning curve wise against the people that play. Oh my god. Must point down every time. It'd be cool if you could um, like um, code the point down gesture to be with the animation of like a bunch of birds coming and eating the person that you just killed. That'd be pretty cool. You just like point down, all the crows just fly over. And maybe they get some vultures or something like that. They start eating the body. <laughs> Can turn it into a shooter like Returnal. There, well, there is actual like bloodborne guns in this, so I don't know. How that works yet, I have to find one. Point down laser finger with actual laser. <laughs> Uh, is there anything that expands on the black flame effect from Frida's fight? Um, in this mod, I, I, not that I've seen so far. Do you mean like a like magic that you can use or something something else? A mod with Doom Guy. Doom Guy would be way too good for this game. This game would be easy. Doom Guy's too advanced. Any mod in general? Okay. Um, well, I know that they remade Frida for Convergence, um, and that was pretty cool, but in terms of like you using uh, the exact same type of magic, I don't know if it's in the game or not for anything. It, it, I mean, Convergence would be probably the best bet, because they, they have made um, the most magic for any of the mods that have been added to the game, so it's based purely around magic. That's the idea. But I have also not tried all the magic. I've only done two playthroughs of it. Whoa. What, is he still alive? Wait a second. Oh, it's another one. Oh, there's three of them. What? Man, Settlement has never been cooler. I will say that. Because, like, Settlement, I'm not a big fan of the um, the atmosphere of it normally. Which I feel like they're, they're trying to kind of do that. Like, where it's not that nice of a place visually. But even though this atmosphere is not, like, super happy, it's pretty... It's, it's like, much better for the Settlement overall, like, lighting-wise. So they could have even done the same kind of style for High Wall. And then by the time you get here, just done this and it would have looked better on the base game. And that's the thing too, like it's this, we're not talking about someone just changing like gamma, like in contra contrast and stuff, screwing around with sliders, like they actually know how to create a lighting um, uh, situation that is believable. It's not just randomly like things turned up to make it brighter, darker, whatever, different colors. It's like actually well done, so there's a huge difference with that and then some other things I've seen with this before. They do zero damage. <laughs> Find yourself more relaxed or the same when doing runs like this compared to damage less? Oh, this is definitely a little bit less uh, less risk, man. <laughs> well, actually, probably quite a little, quite a lot less risk, but it definitely is more chill because you can't really like the goal is to complete it, whereas damage less uh, needs to be done a certain way, so. 99% uh, of every single iteration is not correct for the actual goal. But it helps. It's just like you're not really completing that run when you're trying to do that run. You're just piecing it together and trying to get a good run of it. So I would call this casual. I'd call damage just like a little bit more hardcore overall. Ooh. 
yes dude that that follow-up attack actually is good enough to hit lizards <laughs> that alone it, it deserves an award and there's no bonfire here of course uh imbaffs what's up what is this this is a uh, hollow slayer or no, i, I, I want to say hollow slayer hollow overhaul or hollow about to shove a sword in my anus right here who is this guy that's actually like a legit npc Hmm. Okay, let's, let's try to win here. I challenge you to a duel. Oh, no. <laughs> He's like, I challenge you to uh, delete your file, your save file, man. Uh, you're here for the Dark Souls videos, but where can you see a video of me benching a house? <laughs> benching a house man i don't know about that man my bench is pretty weak but uh you know if you want to see someone actually like i'm not even joking with you if you want to see someone like that is superhuman in terms of strength uh follow ben rice man ben rice is one of the strongest people in in uh, north america that i well, he's probably what he probably is the strongest person on this website that i know of that streams but he is but undoubtedly in the top percent of strongest people in general so uh he probably could like lift up a vehicle or something like that i bet you uh, he's pretty scary, <laughs> but he's also very nice too. So I don't know if I'll ever do that. I definitely don't think so. If I do, then something's going on. <laughs> All about to shove a sword in my anus. Oh, for sure he was like that. It, it literally happened, but I've done that too though. So it's like, it's kind of like payback, right? If you do that to a lot of enemies, you got to Expect uh, you're gonna get an ambush. So. For all I know, there could be like a hidden system where the more, the more visceral attacks from behind that you do to people, the the higher the chance a guy pops up with a sword that's as big as your character, and just does the same thing. Because <laughs> like, where did that character come from? Where was he? I almost want to see if I can get a plunge attack. Hmm. Maybe he replaces Hodrick and he's in front of us. That's Hodrick. It, it must be, yeah. It must be replacing Hodrick. Or it's just, it's just Hodrick, but he's not purple. He, he, doesn't Hodrick have a pointy hat on? Hey, for anyone that missed uh, the latest basketball game, want some dunks? Here you go. I got you covered. See ya. Round two. Encouragement. Okay, maybe not. I believe. Come on. See ya. Oh my god, no! <laughs> that was not a good idea. I, and it, it actually kind of looked like I died before I even fell, too. Did he did he kill me with just pure damage before we even fell? That was pretty funny. A double dunk? Yeah, I got double dunked, man. He, he was playing, actually, to win, so... I thought they were throwing or something like that. I thought they were rigging sporting bets. Apparently not. There's no Estus Shard there, too. Okay. Unless I picked it up? I probably picked it up, yeah. The triple double. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. High squeal. One thing I will say too, this character class by default is more fun to play than any of the character classes you start with in the normal game. Probably 
like mostly just from the weapon art, but the way they did the move set for the heavier weapons uh, is so much better, man. Like I've always enjoyed the the one-handed move set like this. We get the variety of the like the vertical attacks, but not just the vertical attacks as well. And then like the one-handed heavy attack, like it's just such it's such a better move set. Can actually hit things better. It's a little bit quicker too. Uh, Davul, thank you so much for the three months. Welcome back, man. Should probably get the souls back, right? Okay, can we dunk again? We might be able to. I believe. There's one. Dunk and then everybody's dead. Oh man, they nailed the Yarnum lighting. Yeah, it looks it looks very uh, very Bloodborne esque. I would say. <laughs> Let's hope they don't make a mod where it's uh, DS2 lighting. <laughs> That'd be bad. <laughs> That'd be the only thing that can ruin this. Okay, I'm definitely not safe from the arrows now. Uh, dude, Buffalo, thank you so much for gifting five subs, man. Uh, anybody that just got gifted a sub by Buffalo, please say thank you if you can. Praise the archer from the sky, it comes and stabs those who ignore these teachings. Okay, does that mean we're protected now? That actually might have just given us the white branch effect without actually needing the item. That's pretty cool for runs, because that means if you don't like, obviously, you... oh, never mind, okay. <laughs> Scratch everything I just said, you can still die, okay. Um, I was gonna say, it'd be pretty cool if you just run up to the thing, and if you can make it there before you get uh, killed by the arrows. Better chance of getting through everything. But that got rid of pretty good. Okay, it has crazy uh, splash damage on it. Here we go. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. Ah, uh, you're not a big fan of Bloodborne style UI, but then again, you spent many hours with DS3, so having different UI feels weird. To me, it, it's just more simplistic. Like in ways that I believe don't ruin anything. But even if they didn't change the UI, I think that most of the, the stuff that you're going to want to play this for is in the, the actual gameplay and the content. Just the, especially the atmosphere. The atmosphere they nailed. Like, it's, like even if, they, if the whole game was the same and it just looked like this, it'd be better. That's my personal opinion. But I know not everyone's going to agree with that. Uh, McIntyre, thank you so much for the Tier 2 resub for 11 months. Welcome back. What's up? Oh, wait, wait. Everybody be very quiet. Shh. Oh, that didn't work. Okay, wait, I gotta make up for that, though. That's not good enough. Just need to sneak over here. Give me a second. No? There we go. Plan to go on another mod binge with uh, DS3 Convergence. Oh, with, with DS3 once Convergence is finished? Yeah, it's pretty big, man. You can play that for hundreds of hours. I feel like there's still tons of, like, there's probably a good 80% of the stuff I haven't even seen yet still, and I played it twice. Probably put, like, 25 hours into it, 20 hours, I don't even know. Maybe, maybe a bit less the second time. Second time was, like, hmm. Actually, no, it still might have been over 20 hours, because I think there was two parts put together, wasn't there? Because you took a long time on Pontiff. Goodbye. Oh, I thought I was gonna knock him off. Wait, let me see. Can I? I don't think I can. I wanna launch on this one. Let's see. Nope. 
There should be knockback on that. The only thing better than the weapon art being mortal draw is like just yeeting people off of cliffs. Oops. Yeah, I don't think anything can do that right now. Uh, last time you think you went through 10 mods before you burnt out and Convergence was a baby back then. I don't know if I could play 10 modded runs back to back, but that's pretty crazy, man. It's a lot of stuff for your brain to absorb. <laughs> Even if it is the same base game, that's, that's quite a lot of stuff. Have you learned something new about monoliths? Uh, no, what do you mean by that? What do you mean by monoliths? Like old things? Is this like a like a history class? Also, Polly, that that was your fault, dude. Why'd you do that? Oh, I didn't even use the magic yet either. Wait, let's try that. Let strength be granted, so the world might be mended. Oh, that's so, so good. Might be mended. That's so good, like dude. And you can keep prefer. using it. Distraction. <laughs> it's like the escape right here. They're like, why is it raining all of a sudden? Like, the, like, the dogs are just, like, freaking out. Everyone's like, why didn't we bring umbrellas, man? Like, you said it was going to be uh, dry with a hint of moon moonlight or something like that. It's like, it's rain in darkness. Oh, shit, we got one of those things, too. Okay. Okay, let's get the door open first. V-Sweat, what's up? You gotta try this, by the way, man. If you like, you like DS3, so... If you are a DS3 fan, I think every DS3 fan needs to play this, unless you hate Bloodborne. If you hate Bloodborne, then don't play it. Is it new? Uh, it's fairly new, yeah. I think it's been out for, like, maybe a month or so. I'm actually gonna try to kill all these guys. And then not Sigward in the process. Oh, apparently this this one's gonna try it too, though. Seems like you weren't lying. He deadlifted 800 pounds, uh, beltless. Genuinely mind blown right now. Yeah, no, he literally is one of the. I'm not, when I say that, I'm not exaggerating. Like he just like mathematically is one of the, the strongest people on the planet. This, and um, especially for like how long he's been doing it, his age and everything, like by the time he's in his, like when he's at his peak, I think he'll be, he'll be like very, very competitive on one of the highest possible levels that you could be competitive on. Maybe not like world class, but like very close, I think. So he's definitely doing some crazy stuff. And he's really knowledgeable on uh, like the rehab aspect of everything. So he's very safe in terms of how he does it. Very low injuries and all, and all that. I think that's the only way you're actually going to be able to achieve that goal. You have to have very, very low amounts of injuries in your lifetime. Because the delays are huge with that. Apparently I got roasted. Damn. Betrayed Yennefer. Who's that? Is that the person that killed me? <laughs> Sigurd's laughing at your death. He's just like... He's just like, oh no, you should have waited. <laughs> He's like, I will fight behind you and not do anything at the elevator. Well, okay, next time I'm going to use the, the Beast Talisman there. I should have done that. See if we can cast this here. That thing is so savage, dude. I love that. That that is the coolest spell I have ever used. Even even in convergence, it would it would be probably even cooler than that stuff. That's just me. It's very close to like you know something that you'd see from convergence. I'd say that this is the coolest thing though, so far. Make it rain, dude. 
And it, the knockback is wild, too. Like, it doesn't even matter how much damage it does. Even if it did no damage, that'd be pretty cool still. Oh, Sigrid, I'm sorry, dude. I didn't mean to. Don't kill me. Divine Herb. Okay, so they drop the things that regenerate the health slowly. That's cool. That's really cool. Any tips for someone for getting their skateboard, skateboarding brain when it comes to snowboarding? Um, well, the way that I would learn anything that's kind of similar, or like that you're trying to relate to something else that you don't want to, is just forget about it. Kind of like... It probably depends on your teacher, though. That's, that's one thing that's going to help. So, are you trying to learn yourself, or are you being taught by somebody? I think that's the difference. If you're teaching yourself, then you gotta, um, like, go through the concepts in ways that don't relate to what you're trying to relate it to. Like, you have to kind of structure the practice um, around, like, the fundamental things that make snowboarding different. Because that's what's gonna make you decent at it. At least in terms of just, like, crew, like, aside from, like, any kind of, like, train park related stuff. Or, like, scary runs, but just, like, cruising and stuff. Oh my god, dude, what's going on here? I'm gonna cheese this out Rider Knight for what he did. I was just trying to, to get the bonfire. Fat roll from Frostbite? Oh yeah, you must fat roll from Frostbite too, that's what it seemed like. There's, there's a lot of crazy stuff. Also, V-Sweat, if you get hit by fire on Old Demon King, I'm not sure if it's for everything, but you actually set on fire for like a short, short amount of time. And he regenerates health now, so I can't kill him. I'm not strong enough to kill him yet. Because I can't lower his health quick enough. So that's pretty cool. Because, like, usually even, like, right away at the very beginning, you'd be able to still kill him. Got the Irithyll straight sword. Nice. So that might be a really good weapon for ODK. Um, it could be a good idea. I'm not sure if it affects the boss. Like in terms of like frostbite doing extra damage, it might help though. So could be worth going back and checking out. Let's uh, let's try it and see. I'm curious. <clears throat> Put spikes in your skateboard for more traction. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Just use a skateboard on the snow. It's about moving your upper body correctly as opposed to adjusting your feet on a skateboard. Uh, you feel like you progress much faster when you focused on the turning and positioning of your torso forearms control. Well, yeah, for snowboarding, you're, you, the most important aspect is you're just like a blade on on like a surface you're cutting into and you're always just on an edge, right? So just think of yourself as a blade. And then if your movement is uh, sloppy in regards to, you know, how much energy you're actually using, you'll feel that your stabilizing muscles will be like really exhausted. That means you're not actually like riding efficiently. So you're probably using too much manipulation of your actual limbs and you're partially breaking and you're not actually like riding on the edge. So that's one thing you want to actually, you're, you're going to want to know what it feels like to actually ride with the lowest amount of energy exertion versus the most, and then try to dial it into what's appropriate for the situation based on if you're slowing down or you're just trying to actually pick up speed. Um, and in the case of trying to break, yeah, then you'd want to resist a lot more. You're going to want to like kind of dig in a bit. Um, or if you're making a really, really sharp turn and then trying to like slow down a little bit, something like that. But for um, just generally riding, you always want to think of it as more of like a blade. That is the easiest. And then your body's very solid in that. You're not actually moving your limbs independently too much. And you'll notice there, there's, there's people that'll snowboard for like 10 years plus, whatever, and they'll actually do it incorrectly. So you can actually go to a hill and then even from like way far away, you can like point out little ant people of like if they're doing it right or wrong. And the people that independently move their lower body like a lot, they're actually uh, putting themselves at a huge risk of injury if they fall and they're not um, as solid. So when they ride, uh, they, there's certain things they can't do because they're so independent on both sides of their body. Um, and that's the thing you want to avoid right away. If you can make zero habits of doing that, you will actually progress probably twice as fast as anybody in terms of just riding. Um, but I see a lot of people that learn incorrectly and then they're putting themselves in like a really sa unsafe position. And I'll, I'll ask them like, how long have you like snowboarded? They'll be like 10 years or something like that. So it just depends. Most people won't be like that after that much time, but there is quite a few people that they'll learn that and they won't realize that that's actually dangerous. So uh, as long as you're very solid, and you're not independently moving your lower body, especially twisting it. You don't want to do that too much unless you have to make a very quick adjustment 
or you're doing something that's maybe like um like a like the glades or something like that or you're having a lot of obstacles very quickly coming at you like you really wouldn't want to do that independent movement so you just want to be very solid and you're kind of like partially seated too and depending on your height and your limb lengths and stuff you're trying to get into like a slightly seated upright straight back position and center of gravity nice and nice and uh balanced you know okay um do a bit more strength i guess i think that would help on this part and then let's see if we can actually upgrade the earthal straight server Or buy a sleigh, yeah, just buy a sleigh and wear, wear a helmet. Wear a helmet either way, that's the trick. Okay, so this is weird though, because if I upgrade this, I can't get more um, damage on the Sword of War, so I'm gonna wait. And we'll use this unupgraded and see if it's better. I'm not 100% sure. And then like, for, I guess like, if uh, that doesn't work, I can buff the other weapon with Frostbite, I think. Unless that's not a thing. Okay, I can't buy those. Fashion. Be a great teacher. Well, I have taught people how to. I taught my one friend how to snowboard. He he was able to do black diamonds in uh, like a week, basically, which is pretty good. Like I, I think he could do um, pretty much any black at any hill that exists within like the entire country. Maybe not every single run, but like most of every single black diamond of any single kind in the entire country, including BC, right now, just like within a week of him doing it. But now he's like probably. It's got like one season on him and he's better than I was after three seasons. So I think I could teach people pretty, pretty easily, but it's heavily based on like you, your learning ability. And then also um, just how important the, like the fundamental things are right away. Cause the fundamental things make everything else super fast. If you just do those really well, that's pretty much all you need to do. But yeah, you can get good pretty quickly. I think it helps if you um, have decent balance, but... Okay. Have I ever taken IQ test weights? I've taken many before just for the the giggles. <laughs> Used to be a snowboard instructor, but then I took an air to the knee. No, I didn't. Well, the thing is, the only reason I can teach well is because I had a good teacher too, right? So... But uh, I think that one way to actually improve at anything is to teach other people how to do it. Because then you learn where your problems are individually. So if you want to get better at something you've done like for a while, just teach someone else how to do it and then realize the uh, complications in your own teaching or the way you conceptualize certain things yourself. And that's it's like another perspective right there. Another level of uh, understanding. Okay, it didn't really do as much damage as I thought it was going to. Kind of sucks. Let's see if maybe we just do more overall at this point. I have a feeling the frostbite won't be enough, but it's worth a try. I feel like once the music changeup happens, that's when he heals, but... I don't know. Yeah, see, like, as soon as I hit him, the health went back immediately there. That could literally just be a glitch, but I'm not sure, though. It seems like... They, like it, may, it makes sense. It's a cool feature, but it, it, the way it looks, though, when it happens is kind of strange. Probably dead there. Yeah, okay, we'll come back to that later. How's this possible? It, it, it might actually be a bug. I don't know. I have no idea. We'd have to actually come back with more damage and see. 
crazy how you can break down and analyze things like that very wrinkly brain it's not really like a brain related thing it's just called meta learning so basically you you can get better at learning as a system for any single subject that exists um for, for the most part at least any kind of like regular sort of subject separate to actually the concept of what you're doing so i think if you have good meta learning then you just kind of do get to the point right away and then start actually making progress immediately but the way to do that is you have to understand um for certain things that there are lessons in doing it incorrectly and i think when you have too much emotion in like something going in a way that's frustrating for you you, you start to like not focus as much so you can focus on what was the right thing to do once you screw up and then actually apply those things like yourself uh under your own authority all the time then it's really hard to not actually get better because then you don't even need the teacher anymore you just basically take the teacher's system and then you make it yourself um or make it work for you know your own way of how you think and learn within that concept of whatever you're being taught so it's not really like that complicated it's actually way more simple i think the complicated part is ignoring certain things that are obvious indicators to improve something or like things you can implement when you're actually in the process right like that's actually making it harder but that's usually what happens because you want the end result quicker or you may, might not want to hang in there as long or the the way you're looking at it, it's like more defeatist right okay um i'm gonna take a quick break before we go back to the part we were at before which was road of sacrifices i'm gonna go back there and then i'm gonna take a really quick break Uh, I've been doing that with skating for years. Never knew there was a term for it. Yeah, it's just basically your ability to um, like work through the learning process of any concept, um, like structurally and systematically, um, based on how you actually perceive the information as well, and uh, how you can better understand it or format it to make your understanding easier as you go through the different steps, right? Um, so it's maybe like the very small example could be like maybe I'm trying to kill this enemy here for whatever reason that, that was here before and the way to do it like that there's one best way to do it but you could explain it in three different ways right depending on how the person takes in the information and the way you explain it to the first person could be way more detailed than the other one and the way the wording is and the way that like you set up the scenario in your head like the imagination behind it all that stuff can be different but whatever makes the most sense for the person to actually digest it the best the quickest that's kind of like the the meta learning aspect but i think it can be different for different people some people are visual some people need like the auditory learning they need the the bit like to read something maybe or see an event in action there's a lot of different stuff all right i'm gonna be right back though also just a reminder if uh you guys do um actually wait here i'll read off the i was gonna say we're doing a charity stream technically so I'm going to read off all the other donations that I missed from before because I don't have any alerts. But if you guys are interested, we are raising money for sick kids, particularly St. Jude um, Children's Research Hospital. So they have um, a lot of uh, dedication to trying to, you know, solve chronic illnesses and, you know, save children's lives or at least try to prolong their lives as much as possible. Um, and it's quite an expensive endeavor. I think that there's been several millions raised even just this last season. Um, for gaming related causes we've raised 455 dollars so far just today uh which actually equals close to a thousand because i'm going to be doubling that with my own money so uh yeah almost a thousand dollars so far that's awesome 455 times two so that is insane um sith center five dollars for the kids that are down with the sickness thanks man it's <laughs> a good reference um i, I appreciate that dude uh, Yintu, thank you for the $10. And then um, Noah, thank you for the $40, dude. I've uh, been watching all your YouTube videos for years, bro. First time catching a stream. Keep doing what you're doing. Thanks, man. I'm, I'm glad you, uh, you've you been enjoying the stream. Enough to do that. That's, that's super, super amazing. Um, also, again, it's really expensive for them to run those hospitals. Um, and like anything we can contribute can, can make a pretty big impact. So I think that like, there's no actual ultimate goal or anything. I'm not going to try to push a number on you guys, but whatever, like, you, you, we've contributed so far, that's that's amazing. And I'm going to be leaving the link for the next uh, week or so. Um, but, yeah. So no no rush if you want to wait and then, like, think about it or if you're doing research or even if you're just here watching, that supports what we're doing as well. Puts more awareness to it. You can always share the link if you want. Um, but, yeah, I'll be right back, guys. I'll put on some music in the meantime. I'll see you guys in a moment.
Also, Ghost, thank you for the raid before I uh, take a break. Um, have a good dinner, Ghost. I'll be right back as well for anyone that came from Ghost stream. All right, guys, we're back. Thank you for being patient. Um, and anyone coming from Ghost Stream as well, welcome. We're trying to do the Hollow Overhaul mod for DS3, which is basically like a Bloodborne remaking. It's a lot of like UI from uh, Bloodborne, a lot of animations as well, as you will see in a second. Uh, does it change the location order? It kind of does change the flow of the gameplay. So, I mean, the way you go through each area can kind of be done the same, but the way you start the game is different. So you can choose to go to High Wall immediately, or you could go to Catacombs, uh, or you could go to um, Cathedral. So you kind of have the choice. Okay, I'm gonna turn off the music. Just keep it base game, base game audio. That's scary. <laughs> I haven't done that for a while. Anyone uh, else have the phrase heart of gold come to mind when they think of me? Well, it's not. I mean, it's the least I could do, man. I think that's just one of the more important charities, but I don't think necessarily doing it. Thing, you could be a terrible person and do stuff for charity, technically. That's that's food for that. Actually, I think that there's. it's not uncommon. Like, you could have people that do, like, really bad things, and then they, like, donate to uh, lots of crazy causes. But people might even leverage that to look better, though, too. Like, there's a movie I was watching, and there was, like, this senator lady that was, uh, in it, paying, um, a medicine, like, a company that makes, uh, cures for, like, a bunch of diseases, basically to stop selling the most affordable option for it, so she could campaign against her them, even though she, like, hired a hitman to kill the people trying to, like, stop them from doing it, and then make it look like to the public that she was actually trying to, like, push for it, even though she was the one, like, funding, like, um, them to basically not help people, so... So there was, she basically created an issue so she could have a reason to win politics. I mean, there's so many people that do crazy stuff that might look good, but they're, they're not. Not to say I'm doing that, but it's just like that alone, I don't think necessarily makes or breaks the situation completely. It's just one little detail, right? So, But I think that what uh, we do contribute is going to make a big difference um, that wouldn't have been made if we didn't. So especially cumulatively through all the stuff think that it's uh it's pretty good 
think that last year, everything we raised specifically just for Extra Life helped 60 families, so that was pretty good. Even though it's a little bit more expensive, like, 60 families isn't too bad. Um, Frostum do thank you very much for the Prime sub. Hope you enjoy your moats, man. Bill Gates. Bill, Bill Gates does a lot of really good stuff, I'll be honest. I don't think Bill Gates needs... I don't think Bill Gates has a reason to try to, like, use the good things as leverage for anything else. It's not really... doesn't really matter at that point. <laughs> Like to think that you aren't that kind of person. No, I wouldn't do that kind of stuff. That's too much work, in my opinion. Because you end up like creating a situation for yourself where it's really hard to get out of that. So I mean, even doing that, if it made sense at the time, wouldn't make sense in the future. I don't think. Um, and I don't like politics. So I'm, I'm definitely not going to have a political reason to do that. It's already, it's already ruined, just from it existing. So. All right. No bonfire. Oh, we got the um, the big shield. I'm gonna use that actually. Twin Dragon Ray Shield. I I don't think I've ever played this game like blocking a full playthrough, let alone with a huge shield. <laughs> it doesn't even do anything. It just bounces off. That's amazing. Takes a little bit of stamina, and that's it. Okay, we already grabbed Farron Cole, so I'm very curious if I go to where the Farron Cole is, what's gonna be there. Uh, awesome, Zach. Thank you for gifting Rapid a sub. I appreciate it, man. Rapid, I hope you enjoy your mouse. Welcome. Oh, no. One family's more than enough. Well, I mean, like, yeah, whatever we can manage to do. That's why I said I'm, I don't really put pressure on people telling them, like, oh, we have to make it a number thing, because then it becomes less fun. And I've noticed a lot of people actually uh, kind of be disappointed in, like, not raising a certain amount of money for charity when they've already raised a crazy amount. And it's like, why Why does the actual, like, num why do you have to one-up yourself? Like, isn't it just about, like, actually doing it versus how much money? Because that, 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 that can never end, right? There's no end to that, so it wouldn't make any sense. You'll, you'll never actually be satisfied, though, because it'll always have to be better than before. And there's some things that are worth that for, but not, not I don't think for charity, though. It'd be a little bit too stressful. But yeah, I used to be a bit stressed about the number. <laughs> not anymore. Don't got time to kill a thing. Not in that place. No, definitely not. I need a bonfire first. Like the thing is, you you go pretty far without finding them in this, and the closest one was way back at the beginning of the Road of Sacrifice. So could easily die right here. I want to see if I can find Sage Ring though, so I can get the ring from Magic, then I can use that spell pretty much like on repeat. I'd imagine, unless it does something different or it's not in this. Let me see. Is there an enemy in here? There is. Beckoner's dagger. Sage ring, nice, nice, nice. Get out of here, get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. You can do it, I believe. All oh, the water though, it's a slow roll. Okay, now I just have to make a very smooth recovery that made it seem like nothing actually went wrong in the first place. Until that guy somehow, what is he doing? What is that? What is that thing? It's insane, dude. No run today, nothing? No. Not today, we're doing a, a modded run. Healthy mindset to a lot of things, eh. <laughs> probably not, not, probably not everything, but some things, yeah. Uh, fl flat, Flatro Tech, what's up? How's it going, man? Thank you. Was that a pursuer? That was though he did like a wind attack with the weapon. It was kind of like the storm ruler. What 
wonder what happens if we go to Sage. I kind of want to try that too. Okay, we're going to go the long way. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. For the past two days, I've been watching your YouTube and playing DS3. That thing is so cool. Oh, I cannot move. Do we go too far? Oh, uh, maybe this isn't the way. Yeah, we can't get into Sage from here. We got Ring of Sacrifice. Okay, go around the other way and see if that works. Uh, Ruthless, thank you so much for the violence. Welcome back, man. What's the charity again? What's it for? Uh, it's for St. Jude uh, Children's Research Hospital. They're based in the U.S., uh, so they basically uh, specialize in trying to find cures and solutions to different types of chronic illnesses that children have in their hospitals. It's very similar to sick kids. It's the same thing, pretty much. Just a different one, because uh, we've, we've raised... Well, sorry, it's very similar to Extra Life, specifically, in their network of hospitals, but um, I've raised money for them, I think, probably twice as much as I have St. Jude's, so... Maybe three times as much now. So... Wanted to change it up a bit. Sounds like something, something with a healthy mind. So I think it just sounds like something that someone, when you kind of can't really like deny the fact that you're pretty much everyone is very uninformed on everything, right? Minus maybe like a small percent of people, but even then, in the grand scheme of things, who knows, right? And maybe from what we know, most people are uninformed and. The few that might be more still probably don't really care because you can't be completely informed. But it helps a bit. How good a Molotov is on this? Whoa, that was really close. Okay, you know what? I think the the actual icon for the thing that he throws is actually a Molotov. This didn't make it orange, but it, it actually is a different item. It's not a firebomb. Okay, I need to get a parry on this. Spear. Ooh, that was scary. Okay, so when you hit him, he doesn't. They don't actually uh, do another round of teleportation. So that's actually that's pretty hard. That is a decent change. That's a really easy change to make to make it quite a bit more difficult. But we were ready for that. It's kind of funny, the transition of, like, lighting here. Look at this. Oh, that looks even different if you go backwards. 
think you have to hit the boundary though. That's really weird. Yeah, there's no bonfire here too. Uh, the NPC is still there. I'm gonna kill him. when everything just straight up misses. <laughs> oh, we're gonna have to get some parries. Oh, shouldn't have done that. Okay, that does not work. That definitely does not work. Before we die, in case we do, let's grab this. Wait, Paladin Ashes? That had like um, had like a wheel on it. I wonder if you can trade that for the wheel. The icon for that was different. Dude, the, you can't be using the dagger. Just use the use the sword. Thank you. It's not fair. Beautiful lighting, yeah, they did really good with the lighting. Hit a seven. <laughs> uh, doing fist cuff run in DS3, you named your character Sir Fister Twister and started as Deprived. And Astorian Noble just made it to Irithel. That's awesome, dude. <laughs> yeah, f uh, fist only runs of DS3 are really fun, actually. I think it's the best game to, uh, to do that run in because one, it doesn't work uh, without glitches, and then two is really, really annoying. So, yeah, this one's a little bit more balanced for that. Hmm. I have a I have a very low feeling or I have a low chance kind of vibe. Like I feel like there's a low chance that we're gonna get a bonfire right after this, but we can actually just go right to Cathedral from Firelink, so I guess we'll see. Oh, the game crashed? Yeah, it did. Okay. First crash. It's like you shouldn't have been able to kill Walnir before going to Cathedral, you cheated. <laughs> That's so funny, man. Uh, you know, you can kick them on the wake up and then attack them for extra damage, really. It's pretty cool. I was trying to play it safe because if I missed the kick, then uh, <laughs> I'd be probably dead in like one or two hits there. Start up a Mogus. I haven't played Among Us for so long. Holy shit. Forgot about that. Oh, it puts me back over here. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna be a little smarter then. I'm gonna actually go back. And then uh, we'll, we'll see if we go to Cathedral where it brings us. If it doesn't bring us uh, outside where we were before, then I'm gonna have to run back over there. I thought I gave him the coal already. What? What is going on there? Pretty be careful. Uh, Terry, I appreciate that, man. Keep the entertaining, uh, yet relaxing streams. Much love. Thanks, man. Much love to you as well. I'm glad you're enjoying this, too, because this is very, uh... Very exciting for me to see what they did with the game, just because anytime someone makes a mod, I think that there's a lot of stuff out there that doesn't get as much appreciation because not as many people can play them. 
it's only on PC, so definitely try to take every opportunity to do the ones that are cool. But I think that also for the same reason that it's hard to actually play them if you don't have the platform to play them on, you might not want to see them if you can't play them because then it's going to make you want to play them, so you just avoid watching them. I think that there's a little bit of that sometimes too. So anyone that's actually here that can't play this, that wants to, and it's like making them want to but they can't, I appreciate it. And if you can, then try it right now. I challenge you to play it. Um, okay, let's try to go to Cathedral from up here. Now, I think it might be actually a good idea after that to go backwards and then go back to where Abyss Watchers was, because we haven't actually checked that out yet. But, what if you could go to Cathedral and get the doll, kill Pontiff without even doing Abyss Watchers? That'd be insane. That would also be pretty cool. Oh, it like literally puts you outside of where we were. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. Ah, uh, Finwetto, thank you for the eight months. Welcome back, man. How are you doing? You literally use your streams as background so you can sleep? That's cool, dude, though. Hey, honestly, if it works. Um, just don't... I don't recommend using the Resident Evil uh, 8 playthrough or the Village playthrough because... The jump scare sounds. Other than that, though, I think everything else is pretty valid. Um, but that that does mean a lot. I appreciate. It. I know some of the things are a lot longer, so it's easier to to leave it on. But that also does impact the the channel quite a bit. So I'm actually estimating right now. I was thinking about it when I was taking a break. I think this one's going to be closer to 12 hours for the first playthrough. I'm really hoping I can get it under 14, so you can make it one video. But um, it might actually have to be too. Man, they did such a good job with the lighting here. Look at look at how great this is. Even even when it's not even that the lighting's been touched that much, like when it's pretty similar to how it was before, the tiny differences make a crazy, crazy difference in the end. Definitely makes an impact. Because even even this right here looks better. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. It's cool hype. Oh, I should probably try to grab the bone shard over here if we can. White branch! Whoa. Forgot where it was for a second. Oh, I need the torch for spaghetti man. Let's put that on. Oh, I have it. Okay, sweet. They replaced the Grave Wardens with the dudes that have axes over here. It's the best uh, DS1 mod, in my opinion. Uh, Daughters of Ash is my favorite for that. Do you know V-Sweat's going to... Going live at GDQ for DS2 Hitlist? Is he? Wait, is he at GDQ? Is GDQ happening right now? Or is that, like, uh, in a week or two? That's awesome, dude. Man, it's about time somebody at least does uh, a run there that's um, more into like the, the challenge runs. It's been a long time. Uh, will I be doing the DLCs? I will, yes. Precisely why this is probably going to take 12 to 14 hours at least. But maybe I'll surprise myself. We'll see. I think it'll be a bit better once... um, Because we, we, we took a really difficult start. I usually take like really silly starts on these, but... I think picking Catacombs was pretty silly. Because <laughs> you, you can't even kill ODK. It's not even possible. So Obviously it's a little bit early. Or the game's actually screwed up there. So we'll have to figure that out. If we can figure at least that out before we're done, that is crazy. Because... 
I don't know. I'm still debating if it's actually broken or not. It might be broken. Changing lighting and some colors makes it feel fresh again. That's what I was saying. Even if it was just that, it would be a really big improvement. And I think I'd probably just play the game like that all the time. I wouldn't switch it back. Obviously, with all the other differences, is you'd be playing a different version of the game. But if it was just the visual stuff, it'd be cool. I think it's in one hour. Oh, oh he's actually he's going to be doing it right now. Damn, he was in chat. So, I mean, I don't even know GDQ is going on right now. Might have to uh, watch the replay of it. to use on this part. That is pretty scary. Uh, the best thing to skill. Um, like, best stat to level up in this game, is that you're asking me? Um, I think if you're newer to the game, like, the most important stuff is usually, like, the bigger the health, the vitality. Like, that's number one. And then I would try to level your damage after that, too. Um, everything else is kind of particular. But if you're new to the game, uh, health, health, and, health twice as much as your damage, and then damage being the second priority. Uh, endurance doesn't matter too, too much. I would actually level that... Probably, so it would be like twice, uh, level health twice as much as your damage, and then level stamina half as much as your damage gets leveled. That would be the ratio. Merciful goddess. And it depends on what weapon you're using, so that would be either strength or dexterity or both, depending on the scaling for it, so. No way you're running through that. That was pretty bad. <laughs> that was definitely very bad. When does new DLC come? Ah, uh, there is no DLC coming out for this at all. New Dark Souls? Uh, Elden Ring's coming out in February, I believe. Uh, he was here now? You mean he practiced and made save states yesterday? It's still online, so he's at home. Oh, it's an online one. That makes way more sense, dude. I was I was tripping out. I'm like, how did, how's v in like Florida or whatever? Like, what the hell? Wherever they're, they're hosting it. I mean, he lives in the U.S. now, but it's still, like, I couldn't, like, understand if you meant that he was at a venue for it or, like, they were doing it at home. It's pretty cool. Yeah, but he was in chat, though, so that would make uh, way more sense that he would be able to be in chat at the same time as being at GDQ or in GDQ. Dancer roleplay character. Dancer is really hard to do, um... Like a build with because uh, the weapon is split three ways for damage, so it, it does very very low damage on a lot of stuff. I think I had to make the character level 200 to even do a hitless run with dancer. Oh, this looks really cool. They're like, we give you some dark outside cathedral, but then in deacons we give you light. What's up, man? So, uh, Moosley, what's up, man? Oh, apparently that's a two-piece.
I'm gonna try to still use my strat for phase two, but I don't have any skulls. Oh no, I do have two. Okay, never mind. <laughs> that's, that's nice. My hype for Elden Ring? I am, yeah. Very excited for it. Don't know if you should buy it, it's very expensive. It might, I mean, like, it's gonna go on sale at some point, but it might be worth waiting for. Um, there's a chance I might give, give it away, so I mean, if you wanna wait till I do a giveaway for it, you could possibly win it here. I'll probably do at least one giveaway of it. Couldn't, couldn't see that game coming out and not doing at least one giveaway, but. Um, yeah, I'm sure that it'll be on sale as well at some point. But sometimes, I guess when new things come out, it's nice to kind of just wait and see like what the problems are, depending on it, what like level of risk you want to take on it. Because there could be some like major balancing issues they fix, especially with multiplayer and stuff like that. That was the case with uh, some of the other games. But also, do know that I will not be playing it every single day, so there will be other stuff still. Sometimes, I'll make sure to mix in some other things. that magic dude cast that magic again I can't cast it again If, if Deacons get healed too, then I don't know. I don't even know. Because I need the backstab on this. There we go. Oh, nice combo there. Yeah, he's getting healed. That's true. Okay, so he doesn't heal himself. It's still a bit better. That was a struggle, dude. <laughs> that was that was quite. I mean, like they weren't dealing a crazy amount of damage, which I guess makes kind of sense because they're deacons. But <sighs> man, if the curse was uh, inevitable and it was sooner, that would have been impossible, man. With a, a crazy amount of items, and damage. Very tanky, though. And also, I don't. Th did we get the the item? It might actually not be that we get the key item. Oh, we did. Okay. Cool. I'm going to try to find another bonfire, I guess. Uh, do you get any exclusive items if you pre-order Elden Ring? You get um, a helmet, a statue, and then something else, I think. 
the third thing might not be like a big deal. It might be like a tiny thing, but I think there's a third thing too. At, le at least those are the two things. The very minimum. I think most people just want the statue though. Uh, purple, if you type in exclamation point mod, there is actually a uh, link. There's an, an explanation of what's actually been done here. But think of if they just combined a lot of elements of Bloodborne than some of the other games with uh, DS3. And then kind of rework the playthrough. Uh, I think that's, I'm pretty sure that's like all we really need to do in Cathedral. I'm not a big fan of doing Patches questline. Because I just wait for him to, uh, to be a merchant through the other way you do it. Like the quicker way, so... I think that is it. Wait, I'm curious if this will work before we go. I don't have any FP left, damn it. I was going to try to see if I can cast the uh, recollection on the thrall right there. All right, we'll go back. Kind of sad to hear a week after you got your setup, DDR5 was released, but seeing the benchmarks are really not better right now. I think the the way that technology moves isn't um, like the it rarely makes full steps. So it's kind of like if you got what was the standard at the time you did, and then something else came out, it's not like a full step better than what you have. It's probably about a half step better. So every two years is more ideal. If we're actually going to be looking at like decent or every every two iterations of something, maybe not two years specifically, but every two iterations. So like, let's say you have like um, a 2080 and then a, a, a 3000 series or whatever, like a 3080. Comparing those doesn't make as much sense as comparing the previous model of the 2080 to the 3080 or 3060, whatever the hell. Right. So uh, I think if you skip a generation and compare, that's better. But um, it's still the pace of that is still pretty quick. So, I mean, the goal, I think, when you're using PC parts are like talking about them building stuff. It's it's about a five to ten year window of future proofing. Five is more uh, likely. Ten's probably if you want to like really really try to make things work for a long time. It can be possible though. So I think you're trying to aim for at least that five year future proof, which means you are gonna be missing out on like probably at least um, one generation if not two. That's usually how I do it. Ever drank Dongo water? What is that? Um, it's like buying a foundation base for something to be actually built upon. Yeah, kind of, because you're probably going to change stuff. Um, and different things are going to go at different one. times. Uh, different things are going to be more relevant to change. Other things won't be needed to be updated as much. So it's it's based on that, right? The architecture everything's built around is going to dictate how many things you have to replace at one time. So if you have, to, if you have a different chipset on your motherboard, uh, you're literally going to have to change more things than if it's just changing your GPU. But... It could still be less expensive in that case, um, so it, it heavily depends on a lot of stuff. But you're trying to buy everything with the idea that yes, there's going to be something new that comes out literally like the next week or the same day you buy it, or it's already out and it's not the newest, and then you'll be able to last with the setup you have until the, like probably halfway into the next generation after that one, if not like the the, the third one that comes out from where you bought it. Um, and that should be possible. You should should be able to still run stuff pretty well. Especially if you're not trying to encode with the PC or do any kind of like um, extensive uh, renders or anything crazy. Uh, okay, so we did Cathedral. Let's go back to. Uh, where is it? Dude, I think Abandoned Tomb is actually the closest there is to. Uh, to Irithyll. That's crazy. I still have seventy three thousand. We gotta spell that or spend that on um on something. Skipping generations the way to see noticeable improvements. Yeah, but even skipping one generation is still not really 
um, lucrative, or like it's not like, or sorry, it's not frugal. Like you're not gonna save in the grand scheme as much. Like especially versus consoles, the only way you can really save versus consoles is if you probably skip two generations in between, and then you also um, take care of the stuff and you get all the good deals for the games. Obviously, like that alone will actually make your setup cheaper than buying a console. But especially if you buy at least like a handful of games a year, and then you also play online, like that that's easy. What? Easy way to actually save more money, but it takes years for the money to actually be saved, technically. And you probably don't have a chance of doing that if you're encoding. So if you're doing like a setup like mine, you can't can't really do that as well. But no encoding, easy. Okay. Uh, strength twenty-seven. It's kind of weird. This scales very evenly with both. Uh, stats here but yeah strength's catching up a little bit more though it's very close very well uh axe thank you for the five months man these prices you'll be behind at least two generations that it makes a lot of sense to be man i'm behind uh i'm behind one on the gpu almost two now and then i'm behind probably four on the cpu coming up on four so, and then one on RAM now, apparently, for DDR5. Uh, okay. Sorry, I'm very confused with the way this is laid out. I'm trying to think, like, where do we actually go to get to the... It doesn't make any sense to me in my head to go to Abandoned Tomb, but that is the closest. Coolest thing about this mod so far, the atmosphere, 100%. I think that's, like... If I had to take everything apart and just pick one thing that I would keep... Uh, playing the game normally, it would be the atmosphere. It's the way they did the the lighting and the the balance of all the the visual stuff. Uh, crazy though with the GPUs bump in prices, it's been insane. Yeah, especially um, yeah, the inflation specifically due to um, cryptos. I think that hurt it a bit. It's actually weird because I didn't. I never actually thought there'd be a time in the world where pre-builds were actually uh, better, a better uh, value. Oh my god, that was not the way to go. <sighs> that was not a thing. DDR5 has six thousand megahertz, really. Crypto been uh, worst thing to happen to the internet. Uh, it depends on, like, I guess what kind of perspective you're taking on it. Definitely definitely is not a convenient thing for people that don't care about it, that want to pay a uh, decent price for a GPU. That is 100% true. Uh, but again, that just comes down. The supply and demand of anything can kind of skew, uh, you know, future values of stuff. I don't know how to escape. Oh, wait, because we fell down. I was looking for, um, like, a pathway. We have to go up. I forgot. I need the torch. Oh, we we can't, though, because the bridge isn't broken when we respawn. Oh, my God, man. That really sucks. So that means we have to go back from... We have to actually run through the catacombs completely, I'm, I'm pretty sure, from the beginning to even... And then hope that we get past the bridge, too. And then hope there's a bonfire on the other side of that. <laughs> wow that's pretty crazy like even from up here it's impossible oh no wait is it I think that would still be longer yeah we can't get to the middle as quickly so it actually is quicker going to fire link damn uh, people buy computers instead of going on vacation etc yeah, I guess yeah that, that is a a thing Uh, Just Alt, what's up, man? Dude, the way that this is laid out is so weird. If I if I had to play a run of this, I probably would lose like half an hour of time just hesitating, trying to figure out where to get to the next part of the game. Grave can be awakened only in Eclipse time. What is that? Hmm. 
That did not do that last time. I'm assuming we come back to this and there's going to be places we can revisit or maybe can replay the fights or something. I don't know. Some sort of event. Pre-builds aren't better value, though. You just buy it for the GPU, bought yours, had to upgrade the RAM and the cooling. Well, I'm talking about value in terms of the market. I'm not talking about value in terms of, like, how all of time has led to this point in terms of computers and prices. I just mean, like, at the moment, it's actually a better value. Uh, what's tonight's stream about? Training for runs or chill DS3? This is a modded playthrough, so it's uh, called uh, Hollow Overhaul. If you type in exclamation point mod, there'll be a link to it. And I'm currently trying to go through a very long stretch of the catacombs from the very beginning all the way to the bridge in Urethil without dying, and I don't know what the chances of that are, because as you can see, it's not the easiest thing right now. <laughs> And then we're, we're just hoping that if we kill the Pontiff Beast and we make it through the barrier, that there is a bonfire there too. Otherwise, I might have to run for a really long time to to get to Pontiff. <laughs> we tried being rich. It's a good point too. That can help a little bit. But then you got to keep doing that, and then that takes time, right? So. Oh my god. What's going on here? I think we can make it. If that rat did the quick attack, I would 100% be dead there. Unless my defense actually is going up from leveling some stat that I don't know of. Like, that's... That was purely just lucky that he didn't do the quick attack. Place looks like fun. Catacombs was way more fun than before. Way more fun, man. Uh, so excited to watch you in Elden Ring once you learn it and start doing crazy things. We'll see, man. Maybe, maybe, um, maybe we just do normal things. Who knows, man? It'll be quite interesting. I'm actually, I'm very curious to see, um, who's willing to basically sacrifice their first playthrough. Like, how many people will, uh, not actually do a legit first playthrough and do, like, a, like a routing run immediately? Because there's probably going to be money on the line and there's going to be a lot of tournaments and, like, um, other types of things. I know that... Uh, the talent agency I'm signed with, I think they want to do a tournament because the guy that made it, um, Raptor, I'm pretty sure he used to do a lot of tournaments and I think he wants to do one with Namco Bandai. It's possible. So I, I don't even know. They did one for Demon Souls. But it's going to be a lot of um, a lot of reason to actually not do a first playthrough normally if people are trying to time it for a tournament or something like that. still ate me. That's priceless? It is, yeah. That's why I would, I would never do that. But I think that if um, if I was newer to streaming, it would be a very decent um, sacrifice. Depends on, I guess, who you are. I feel like if you, if you were newer in content, you needed to like really try to break into that game. You want a head start? That could be a good way to do it. But you'd have to like double down on that idea then after that too, right? So... But yeah, I think for most people, it probably wouldn't be worth uh, sacrificing the first playthrough. This place is like, it's kind of weird. It's like sunlit, but then also snowing. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can still, do I have the branch? I do. Are those rune sentinels? Yeah, those are Ruin Sentinels, dude. That dog just forgot, too. Oh my god. <laughs> That's pretty cool, man. They, they turned the... Whoa. That's really cool. The fact that this still works, though, gives me hope that Gino will come back randomly to stream with this playthrough and he'll do a run on it. 
Yeah, if there wasn't a bonfire there. Well, if there wasn't a bonfire there, then I would I would start to kind of call shenanigans. Because I feel like there's got to be at least one per area, so... We've gone through. This is the second area since we spawned in without one, so... It's good that they, they had one at the beginning. Okay, do I have a shield that can parry? I do. big enemies in the corner there that are going to kill me very f oh my god that that has knockback that has knockback on it <laughs> that thing's crazy dude it's so fast holy shit now okay now here's the real question can you somehow regain camouflage here just by doing this because the statue still has poise Oh, I shouldn't have healed. It was working. It was actually working. <gasps> no. Dude, it was like legit working there. Oh, they took away the flame witches though, so we don't have to worry on this part. The arrow's totally survivable. <laughs> this guy's stuck. He's like, I can't make it. There we go. Let's see if he actually... Oh, look. What if we help him and then we follow him and he finds something for us? so chaotic yeah Dude, but that's a really cool balance though the way they did the uh the layout because it's actually more fair than the regular game but then it's cooler because the ruined sentinels are a shout out to ds2 so never actually seen a ruined sentinel uh reskin or even character model in anything other than ds2 it's a cool way to to use that Pay to see the whole run as a background item. A whole run as a background? Oh, you mean like just the uh, <laughs> the statue? Well, the fact that you can get hit in it and it doesn't do anything, that's pretty crazy. So I feel like they actually changed that. Either on purpose or that was just like an accident or something. Pretty sure when you get hit by it, uh, anything in the statue, it just makes you go out of it. So. And then there was the Dark Wraith, taking damage from his own thoughts in the distance. Pondering the most dangerous of ideas. But then he stopped and noticed the sunset. It was beautiful. But then he thought of darkness again and took 187 damage to the cranium. But then he stopped and looked at the sunset again and was like, why did I ever think? Oh, and then he thought of bad things. And then he took 100, then he took 73 damage. Then he couldn't stop thinking about it. Then a guy just came and knocked him off a cliff to finish him off and then fell off a cliff and died. That's not good. But we're doing that again. How's the game? It's pretty good, man. Other than what I just did, that was, yeah. I genuinely thought he wouldn't die from the invisible dude. I thought I had to finish it off. Book recommendations, Muffler? Um, depends on what kind of stuff you want to read, what genre. What a journey. Yeah. <laughs> Is CP2077 playable? Is it playable? Yeah. Oh, um... Like, have they updated Cyberpunk? I don't actually know. That was a really good question. I never heard anything about that in the future. 
or since the events. Like any future progression on the, the state of the game. All oh, frenzy's gonna kill me. So we need anti frenzy now. So that, that seems like it ticks twice. Anything fiction? Um, open and non fiction as well. Well, the book I'm reading right now is on marketing, so it has nothing to do with fiction. Um, uh. The best fiction books I read are the ones that I think everybody knows about, like uh, Harry Potter, pretty good fiction, uh, Lord of the Rings trilogy, like uh, Ho the Hobbit books I haven't read, but I heard they're better than the movies, so I mean that might be a really good one if you like Lord of the Rings, but you forgot about that. But I feel like a lot of people recommend those. Uh, I really like Stephen King books too, in terms of fiction, so I think um, if you're okay with horror, uh, any of them are pretty good. I Specifically, if you haven't read It, it's a good book, the first one. Or I guess, I think it's the only book. I'm trying to remember if they even have a sequel to that. I think it's all the story in one book. There's only one Hobbit book? True. Hobbit movies should have been two at least, or a miniseries. I thought Hobbit had two movies. Or you mean like the book should have been two? Wait, was there three Hobbit movies and, and not two? Am I tripping out? I literally have only seen one, so. There was three? Wow, that's crazy. Look at this thing. Well, apparently that's uh, not my table, so I can't, can't do that. Okay, I'm gonna try to do something really stupid here. Nope, that didn't work. Can't walk fast enough. <laughs> Probably dead here, but it was fun. Yep, there we go. Hobbit was an amazing book. Uh, Green Mile and Dreamcatcher are really good Stephen King books. I haven't read um, those ones. But I heard, I heard specifically Dreamcatcher was like a really good book overall. But I was kind of skeptical at the time. I, I read that stuff when I was super young too, so it probably wasn't the best time to read it. <laughs> I'm sure there's some things that were not digested properly, so. Man, this Dark Wraith has a problem with this invisible enemy. Surprise! Oh, damn it. <laughs> I missed. Can't believe I missed that. It's like when you just get into a situation and they think that they got you, but then you're just like, I summon the weather. And then still die. Nice. Putting a fire witch in the silver night room is uh, is nasty. That is a better use, I think, of the enemy because at least the physical wall itself will block the fire. But when it's in the open, though, the fire itself isn't coded to be perfect, so you don't get situations that make sense sometimes. I wonder if they changed the the way the bleed resin looks. I want to see. Very curious. Okay, it looks exactly the same. Probably because it was already good. It's probably the only effect that actually looked really good in the game for weapon buffs. And then I guess Frostbite was pretty good already. Pet Cemetery. Heard Pet Cemetery was pretty good too. Oh shit. How the movies are so bad, uh, can't compare to the book. Well, they, they were already not really comparing to Lord of the Rings either, so I mean, 
like just specifically movie to movie wasn't really a comparison. Um, so I'd, I would hope that the books are much better. <laughs> I, I think it kind of needs that at that point, you know. That's, dude, it's such a smart idea to make the Pontiff Knight's Rune Sentinels. Because the moveset for the base Pontiff Knight works really well with that reskin. And then, uh, whatever that air thing is, the knockback is crazy. That's super dangerous. Uh, you made a mistake about the day it's tomorrow, but it starts at the same time, time zones. Oh, v -Sweds on tomorrow for the GDQ? Okay, that's fair. Uh, do you know what time and what the time zone is? put you in a blender yeah sometimes that happened dude there actually is an enemy that is a blender in ds1 you can you can technically be made into a smoothie but i don't think anyone's drinking it though uh joe it what's up okay this part literally i have no idea that's all i'm gonna say and there's one okay there's one idea sorry there's one specific idea and that's a but it might not mean anything. Because I have to stop to use it. Yeah, so I'm really not sure if that mattered. It might have not made a difference. Also, I think we're fat rolling now, too. Oh, we are. Damn. That's not good. Okay, the only thing that would make sense at this point is we have to get the shortcut. Because, uh, there literally is no bonfire. We don't do that. But I'm very against this. Politically, this is not a, a good move, gameplay-wise. Don't- never open this door here. It's not allowed. If you do, then you are ultra noob. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely cancelled for that. Um, what's going on here? Wait, can I Ember? I could use an Ember, can I? Mod better than Convergence? Uh, Convergence can't really be compared to this, so I can't, I can't even say it is, no. It, it wouldn't be possible to compare them. This one's really good for what it is, though, for what it's supposed to be. But what Convergence claims to be and what this claims to be are completely different categories. Um, with this being focused on Bloodborne and then Convergence just specifically remaking the magic in the game and the actual story of the game. I don't even know if this has lore written for it. Obviously, they've changed some elements of the flow, but I don't know if it's actually as heavy in the story. It feels like it makes sense, but... They actually wrote story for Convergence, so it kind of makes uh, even the way the NPCs are different, because there's literally just different NPCs, so you get different dialogue that's voice acted from people that, you know, had a script or whatever. Oh, this is uh, Dragon Rider, nice. How do you like that? <laughs> it looks so fun. Nice. That's a really cool idea because Dragon Rider is super underused. Or underutilized, I should say. Uh, Wolfkin, thank you so much for the six months, man. Welcome back. Oh, yeah, it looks really dope. Okay, I gotta go back this way. the damage this is this really is bloodborne it is quite interesting oh yeah we actually have um other sets too we can wear the hunter set oh we got the top hat too that's funny
Also, it's kind of it's kind of interesting to see what people's idea of a lot of damage is, and then you just play uh, Convergence, and then you try to play Pontiff, and you're like, well, I'm never playing video games again. <laughs> We thought it was bad, but this is impossible. Wonder if he can parry. You can. Okay, maybe not that one. And his health is going back up, too. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> you know, you don't, you don't get a repost, unfortunately. It's just like a stagger. Just double-checked. It's 7 p.m. EST. Okay. Um, well, that actually might be good timing, because he may be able to just host uh, GDQ. So the world might be mended. So the world might be or if V Sweat's hosting GDQ, we could host his channel and then you guys could follow him through there. If you haven't seen his stream. Okay, I'm gonna put the armor back on we were using, because it's way better. One, two, four. Oh, 16? Holy shit. Yeah, that helmet alone was uh that was like four times better than the one reason. That still does half health on the AoE, that's pretty crazy. And that is almost a one-shot. Okay, can't even go near. Hmm. I think what I might do for this fight, I might actually try to um, actually get some of the FP Estus. Or the, uh, the Ashen Estus. He regens health. He does, yeah, he does. But he actually does at the beginning. Rather than, uh, like, later on. So I'll have to change the game, Julie's. I'm not sure what you mean. You mean like change it to Bloodborne instead? <laughs> Ooh, I shouldn't have sold all those. Ooh, that was bad. That was bad. That was bad. I sold some of the stuff that I didn't want to. I hope I can regain those items. <laughs> Hitboxes seem iffy. Well, they're not too bad. Like, what? What is this? Why are you here? Um. Yeah, I think. Um. What? It wasn't really the hitbox of the weapon. It's the hitbox of the AOE, right? So you can't. You just cannot be near. In general. Am I cooking for New Year's? PSI, I usually don't celebrate uh, New Year's in terms of like, like doing different so things. I just mended. typically live. <laughs> so, the world might be so I have no idea. I probably won't cook at all. Always I don't really cook too much. Your Greetings from um, Germany. Pushy, thank you for the five months. Welcome back. How's it going? Do you do, you do anything specific for, uh, for dinner for New Year's winter? I've actually, I've never heard of that before. I know people have parties that are like later, but I don't, I've never heard of like someone like having like a special dinner for New Year's. It's like it's pretty cool. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. Okay, we'll see if we can get three of these so and four the of the heals. Might be mended. Actually, no, it's not going to be enough. Okay, I'm going to go in with five and then. <sighs> well, I guess the damage won't be quick enough though. Hmm. You know what? Actually, wait, wait, wait. I have a better idea. I have a way better idea. Did what? Pretty. 
I'm thinking three of them would be enough to at least have somewhat of an advantage in the fight, but we're not going to actually be able to kill him with just the magic. So there's no point in doing that. Uh, Mitch, thank you for the 36 months. Welcome back. Okay, once you get to 30 strength, the, the increase is 8. That is pretty huge. Nice. Cooking lamb for the family we do every year. That's awesome, dude. Lamb is really good, actually. I haven't... I used to eat lamb at least once a week, and now I don't, so... You're actually making me remember to... Make a mental note of that. <laughs> but yeah, lamb is really good, actually. Made your family prime rib for Christmas. Nice, dude. Be cooking baked potatoes with steak and chant chanterell sauce. Hopefully, I said that right. That sounds pretty crazy too. So, am I invited? Is the question. <laughs> Can we make it happen? <laughs> sounds deluxe. That's actually a pretty. That's a pretty good word for that. Sounds deluxe. <laughs> I'm gonna actually go to somebody randomly, like, I'm gonna wait for someone to say something cool and then just be like, that sounds the box. That sounds supreme. So the world might be mended. Was six months already. Been a minute since I've caught a stream. Okay, I should probably take off the torch. Oh, the thing missed. So I can cast two per Ashen Blast. He blocks really good. Oh man, that's insane. I wonder what inspired the, the regen though. That's actually really weird. Because I can't recall too many things in Bloodborne doing that. It must just be like a weighted balance. Yeah, his health is uh, going up quicker than um, we can lower it, so I don't think we can do this yet. Like, unless we had really persistent DPS. I could try with just trying to... Oh, also, Yorsi, I didn't even see you host me. Thank you for the host. I appreciate anybody coming from uh, your stream. Welcome. Uh, if you guys have not checked out Yorsi's stream, I think she's trying to get a glitchless um, all-boss speedrun on DS3 right now, and then sometimes does any percent. Definitely check it out. It's really cool. I did not do that right. There we go. Okay. I did Hunter's Charm. <laughs> that you know, it's kind of funny that you said that because I have them, but I, I like immediately I was thinking like that probably wouldn't work, right? Let's try it. Uh, wish me the best for 2022. You too, you too as well. I expect uh, insane content and amazing runs. I I, I know it'll happen. No pressure. Like, you, you got it. You're already doing it. That just has a wild hitbox regardless of wherever you're standing. Like, if you're behind it, it's bad. If you're in front, it actually extends further than behind. And then also, you can't go under it either. So I don't know actually where to go for that. How's this mod been so far enjoyable? It's really interesting, man. It's very different than a lot of the other mods, so. Um, I'm kind of excited to see how they did the end of the game because the way that you progress isn't based on um, completion of different areas. It's, it's kind of just like wherever you want to go right away. And then the regular stuff you'd have to acquire to progress through those areas, but the major areas are kind of separated. Um, 
And there's almost, there's like barely any bonfires compared to the base game. It's actually probably less than uh, DS1 bonfires. Looks really brutal. Yeah, I just want to see like if I can DPS them quicker than the health regen, uh, regardless of the amount of heals, then I can put all the heals back and just try to do it that way. But if it's not even possible, regardless of what I do, then it wouldn't be worth going to do it right now. So this is kind of like a tester. We'll see if it uh, lets me achieve something like that. Yeah, see, like recovering through that, it's still not that great. That's a good attack, though. That's a really good one. You got a stagger there. Okay. No, that's not going to work. I think it actually is possible to just out DPS him, because his regen's pretty slow. Man, I should probably have stuck with it. I, I'm thinking, like, if I do the parries and then if I can tell what attack isn't the one to parry, then we could do that. <sighs> That's rough, man. Poison it um, to counter the regen? Maybe. If I have the Sanctum Mace, I could try to grab it and see. I don't know if I have the soul for it, though. Doesn't really say there's any requirement for oh lost soul, okay. Three of those. Say we sold those. Um so yeah, I can't get the thing to poison them yet. Is this DPS check that gently pushes you uh you away to do other things? Um I don't I'm not sure what you're meaning. Are you saying that like we're not trying to attempt the fight? I was kind of just saying that, like, I know there's there's no point of trying to win on that fight. I just wanted to see if I played decent, if it's possible to um, outdo the rate of um, health regen, like, just from playing. And if that's possible, then it wouldn't there be no point of even using magic at all, because it'll slow us down too much. So I have to reset the, uh, the denominations of heals, right, to seven, so... That's why I wanted to know, because, like, obviously that wouldn't... It would not make a lot of sense we would have won there, but at least if we have the seven, then we actually can attempt it knowing there's a chance. But there would be a very low chance in comparison with uh, with three heals, so or even even four would be kind of hard. He regens quite a lot. Well, he he's regening constantly, so it's just kind of a matter of the uh, out DPSing it. But if it's preset to a certain amount of health and it's not percentage based or time based, then it won't be possible to win just based on how they designed it, right? So. That would mean that we'd need a larger amount of damage regardless, but that's kind of more like um, when I was playing ODK. ODK was regening based on like a a preset amount almost, kind of. Like there was like a chunk of health he'd get back every every like second that went by. It wasn't just like little increments. And it would also kind of just immediately snap back to wherever the health was where it's supposed to regen to as soon as I would hit him. So you have to be like really fast. He doesn't have a shield backhand though, that's good. That'd be really, really bad. Thank you. Right, that's... So I actually, I, I framed that AoE before. 
Unless he changed the way that it actually calculates damage with the effect thing that he's doing. I wonder if that actually changes because I did it perfectly like twice. So confused when watching this. Yeah, so we're playing DS3. It's just a modded um, run of DS3, right? What does his axe become more fiery? Does it mean something? I think it just means he's faster and then... Um, it could change the hitbox of certain attacks too. That's what I was trying to think. Um, if uh, the AOE was uh, harder to avoid or impossible to avoid based on how I did it. Because in the first part before his axe was uh, on fire, it was fine. Still pretty tricky, but it was, like, it was possible at least. I think it's still possible and I'm just not doing it properly on the second time. But we can like pr prove that and see if that's true. Greedy. Oops. Damn. Yeah, so I framed that, but then there's something else that happens when he's still in that animation that hit me a second time. Definitely out DPS Let's the regen, but that health pool is, so is ludicrous. It's actually pretty decent. Like, it's not too bad. So it's just. I think it's more of a matter of figuring out the fight, right? So if you. Hi, hi. Happy almost New Year's quill. Common just logic tells you that this is the easy part of it. So, I mean, if it's going to get harder than this, then we just have to be able to consistently play the first part, as you usually would. But we have to be very quick with how we do the damage. Like, you can't be passive on this one, right? That's the big difference. Um, Pharaoh Menace. Happy New Year's. It's worked out in your whole body aches. Oh, boy. Um, good job, man. <laughs> Rest up. Thank you for the, the 19 months, man. I appreciate that. Looks like a brand new game. It does, yeah. It looks way better. I was trying to say that uh, even if you can just take the visuals from this and keep it as the base game, the base game would just be better. Didn't want to jump there. That's my bad. Yeah, the regen is actually quick once you get into um, Let's a certain point when you damage it. I don't know if that's based on anything else, though. Because when I hit him twice, it regen quicker than hey. when I hit him once. So I wonder if how well you play is actually affecting the rate or the percentage. Because that's kind of what happened with ODK as well. Like It looks like it goes twice as fast if you hit him twice as fast. Space that. Uh, do I sing by any chance? I don't know. Maybe one day, but I haven't really had any plans to practice, so. Did have a friend that was a professional singer that taught me a little bit, but it's just like the basic stuff, so. Could probably try to practice it, but it would be, um, it would, it would take years to actually get, like, developed on it for sure. Uh, Loka, thank you so much for the brand new subs, uh, for the gift subs. Grand Cloud, PSI Winter, and Cessnick. Welcome. You were crazy. Should use some undead bone shards. I think I have. Oh, I have two. Yeah, true. I was gonna say I think I have at least one. I should actually use those. Let's do that. Uh, John, thank you so much for the good luck, man. hundred percent. I need it for this part. <laughs> Uh, the only other thing we can do, I guess, uh, in the meantime, we can go try to kill Abyss Watchers. I don't think it's important to progress, but like maybe after this part it will. You prefer original Irithyll? Something feels off about the lighting. So you can change the lighting based on a statue. So it actually offers the original lighting and this lighting. Or possibly the original lighting but better i don't know if oh. they made it more detailed but uh i chose it to be brighter Ashen one three years on and off uh first time sub actually there's watching i appreciate that man thanks thank you for coming back you didn't get uh consumed by the one year curse Farewell, Ashen One. 
Actually, I have to use them here, right? Excited to see how Anne Orlando looks with new lighting. I wonder if it's the same, because um, some of the areas are very, very different. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. Vile 3, that looks so pretty cool. So the world might be mended. Hey, Squill. Happy New Year in advance. Thank you for the great content and the soothing voice. Uh, puppies, thank you so much for the eight months. Welcome back. Also, happy New Year's in advance as well. I mean, I will be streaming tomorrow, so you'll see me. But if uh, you are busy, you have other things to do. Happy New Year's, man. I hope you have a safe one. Uh, watching the VODs a lot since you're on European time. Okay, well, I, dude, honestly, I appreciate that. I, I kind of was making a joke because usually in terms of um, like internet content, like you have a, a window maximum of about a year before someone loses interest in a topic. So to be able to keep somebody's uh, attention for uh, a year long in the first place, but then extend it to two more years is really unlikely. So I really, I really appreciate you still here, man. Try to keep that up. What would happen if we use fire on this? It'd be really funny. Okay, there's, an, there's, there's a literal second attack after the jump. That's why I was like, what is going on there? <laughs> like, how is it hitting twice? And then that's a different thing. Okay, that's not the same. He's got a shield bash, nice. So the world might be mended. You got this skill happening in the defense. The thing is, like, some of his attacks he starts with on the next engagement happen so quickly that you can't know for sure. Like, you have to really get the angle down, I guess. Because his recovery angle is uh, the only thing that gets you a free attack. On that one engagement thing. That still lasts, apparently. That's crazy. I feel like you can heal a little bit faster, though. Super dangerous. I actually, I'm, like, I'm very curious if there is a phase two on this, because this by itself is pretty crazy. This is almost on the level that Pontiff was on Convergence. Like, not quite, but it's like it's like a step underneath, maybe. But this is actually more fun, in my opinion. Just by, like, a little bit. Uh, Naoki, thank you for the 13 months. Welcome back. Also, uh, Nermis, thank you for the brand new sub. Uh, and Mr. Happy, thank you for the 21 months, dude. You have to go to work now. Happy New Year's in advance. I hope you have a good day at work, man. Also, have a safe trip, too. There's no way, uh, way this guy's harder than Pontiff. So I don't mean Pontiff normally. I meant um, when you play Convergence mod, Pontiff is ridiculously hard. Like, easily the hardest boss in the entire game. And probably out of every single mod that's ever been made that I've seen, other than the one that's supposed to just be, like, impossible. <laughs> um, we're going to double check the charity goal right now. So we're actually at 565, I think. That's awesome, dude. Um, so technically that'd be, like... Uh, be over 1100 but i think yeah i'm pretty sure um so we got the last one that i think i read before was uh noah with 40 dollars. then we got anonymous with 50 dollars. matthew shesman i think i that is shes with 10 dollars. thank you matthew if you're here and then 80 user with 50 dollars. thank you so much man that's crazy so yeah, for anyone that doesn't know, we're trying to um, raise money for St. Jude uh, Children's Research Hospital for the next week or so, um, or at least into next week at some point. And um, 
So I'll be doubling the number with whatever gets raised from you guys. So we're, we're basically over 1,100 in one day. That's pretty crazy. I think that is... Honestly, without making like the actual stream itself like an event and like hyping it up and like talking about it too much, like I think that's the most I've done in a stream. That's pretty cool for uh, charity. I guess it's kind of cheating though, because like we're, we're doubling it, but even without doubling, that's pretty crazy. So I really appreciate that. And it's, it's probably one of the better charities you could um, help, so. Oh my god. He put he shot an arrow into his own character model. That is not good. And then he does have a back punish with the shield, okay. It was hidden. What moveset is the boss using? Uh shield bash was from Dragon Slayer Armor, but you don't recognize the rest. Um Hard to say, man. I don't know. Um, it kind of almost looks like Soul of Cinder straight sword moveset with a, with an axe, but I'm, I don't think so, though. Like, it's not like the complete moveset. It might just be like individual attacks. Um, because I can't really tell what the um, the single attacks are that are really quick. That might actually be from another game. It might not be from this game. It could legitimately be the Dragon Rider moveset from DS2 just sped up. That's that's my guess. Or the next best guess. Because the bow shot is definitely the same. And then... The jump is kind of like the running attack. The running overhead. But, it, but he has a jump though. So I'm, I'm not sure if that's the same too. Unless he does that attack, and that's a lucky bit. It still hits behind, too. It's a little bit crazy. If that didn't exist, this entire thing would be like 50% easier. Because you're really just playing around the entire. Uh, like that, that attack is the focus of everything. Just countering that. Everything else is pretty simple. The uppercut really hurts, yeah. The uppercut's so bad, man. The uppercut hits very, very hard. Uh, but it also hits behind, too, so... There's um, a lot of places you can't actually exist while it happens. What is the music? It kind of sounds like the music from uh, Watchdog. Like the Chalice Dungeon boss. Moves that reminds you of Madeir. That'd be hilarious if they actually use Madir's moveset for uh, like a humanoid enemy. I would love to see that actually. Isn't it Martyr Logarius music? They might share the same soundtrack. There's a lot of reused music in um, the game, so it's possible that both of them are the same soundtrack. Kind of like Cleric Beast and uh, Amelia. But yeah, I can't remember uh, what Logarius soundtrack sounds like. So it probably is the same thing. Okay, that's way too much damage immediately. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, it's probably better. Okay, I'm gonna take a really quick break, guys. I'll be back in like two seconds. Just give me one moment. All right, we're back. Uh, also, Repi, what's up, man? Yes, yeah, so we're not actually doing runs today. We're doing a modded run, a modded playthrough. It's going pretty good. We're like, I, I would imagine halfway through in terms of uh, areas, maybe. Well, I guess minus the DLC if we're doing all the content, so might be a bit longer in that case. Underleveled so much. I'm imagining that is part of the reason, but we actually did put a lot of levels in. We're level 57, so. When you play the normal game, you would probably be less than that, or around the same at this point, maybe at the most. Unless you farmed a lot. And we actually did, we, we did kill a lot of enemies, so we didn't really, like, just spend what we got from the bosses. I think what we lost in souls still makes the entire amount we've gained quite a bit for the, the amount of levels we got. Wait, does the arrow go through me there? I'm so confused. <laughs> I'm gonna try um, doing something really crazy, really wild here. Check this out. Oh, wait, that's fat roll though. Okay, maybe we can't. I was just gonna block, but I'm not sure if that would work. Yeah, it takes away all the stamina. <laughs> no thanks, no thanks. No runs today? How'd they go before? I haven't been really streaming uh, lately, Reppy, so I haven't had a run for a long time. Mm. They've been going really good, though. They're at, they're at the best I think they've actually been, minus sometimes um, I have a hard time starting Bloodborne. And I think that's about it. And then I, I had one day where I had like a little bit of a weird time on DS3. Um, but I think we've actually completed... Uh, we've completed more runs in less time than ever along the timeline of trying to do the actual full run, um, but I still haven't PB'd past the four and a half games yet, so we're trying to beat that, or um, halfway through the fourth game, sorry. Parry is impossible. You can actually parry on this one, but he doesn't give you a repose, so it's kind of up to you if you want to sit there and try to hope that you can read the attack that's not parryable, or that you don't get a shield attack. But yeah, we did actually try that. Try again and see. Yeah, so the next, if you attack twice, 
The next parry doesn't connect, so you need to attack once with that, or one heavy attack. Better. That one's a little bit faster. and then the combo into that is just a you're done nice try kind of thing that's cool though because this movement is the pace of bloodborne like it has like the the no chill of bloodborne for sure where it's like, okay, we need some we need some beast pellets, man. We need some limb damage. You can probably cheese this boss by running away till he pulls out the bow and then comes and attacks. Uh so he doesn't actually pursue you if you run away though. That's the thing. He only pursues you if you run to him. Like unless you're saying you to make him uh reinitiate using the bow and then running away, then hitting him once, then repeating that, is that what you mean? Cause I thought about that like right off the bat, but then I was like, well, the regen's gonna out DPS my DPS, right? Or it's gonna basically heal him quicker than I can do damage if it takes a long time. So we could try that and see. But I wasn't gonna try that yet just because I'm like, I don't know. I'm gonna have to get pretty far away to actually get the the bow again. Or maybe he never pulls it out again after that, I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, he just runs really fast after that, so I doubt that you can actually do it. I think it's kind of like DS2 where the guy, the second dude doesn't really pull up the bow again, as far as I know at least, especially if you're like running away from him, he's chasing you. But this dude's just way faster, so it might not be possible to get the range. Uh, and then another possibility is that they just programmed it to be like part of the fight in the beginning, right? So. It's one of those two. I went back right into that, damn it. It's funny because if you're just parrying the heal, you're just wasting so much time, it's unbelievable. It's like just way harder though. And that's kind of why the, par the parries can be good, but you have to be really good at them though. So it's like if you miss them, then you're actually falling behind twice as fast as you are, not taking damage and then just waiting. So it's kind of like you instantly put yourself in a position where you lose like most of the progress that you just gained um, if you can't recover really quickly from it, right? And then if you try to recover from it more than a few times, you don't have any health left and then you can't heal, so... It almost seems like um, trying to be better at not actually getting hit in general on it is the only way to do it quickly and efficiently because um, it does a lot of damage, right? Then every every punish that he lands on me is uh, uh, like a decent chunk of health back. Uh, Lewis, thank you so much for the prime sub. I appreciate it, man. Hope you enjoy your moats. Welcome. Way to add ice to the sword. Uh, I have an Irithyll sword, so we, we tried using, um, like, Frost on a boss that actually is, like, based around fire damage, but didn't do anything, so. And then the damage that it does versus my weapon right now is very, very low, so even if it was better, I don't know if it would be physically better in terms of the damage. I think it would just do Frostbite build up once in a while if he was able to take Frostbite. I just don't know if that would outdo the damage I'm just hitting straight up right? probably have to be plus five at that point or close uh did you not notice that you're under level for this fight I'm probably under leveled a little bit yeah like for the actual mod itself I would imagine 
What areas did we complete? Uh, we completed Cathedral, uh, High Wall, Catacombs, Smoldering Lake, uh, except for Old Demon King. And uh, I guess this place, technically. Try Profane Capital. I think what I'm actually going to do is go back to Abyss Watchers uh, if we can not get this one anytime soon. But then, yeah, Profane Capital will be like right after that because that's the only other way we can go. I, just, I fear that Profane Capital might be harder than this or like the same thing. So to make it a little bit easier, it probably would be better to go to an earlier part, uh, part or what would normally be an early part of the game. See, I got a really good, good head start there, but... I don't know, man. Something seems weird about it. If you hit him too many times right away, it seems very strange. Okay. Oh, oh man. Uh, why do I look like Drake? VA? I don't know, man. You tell me. I don't think I look like Drake at all. We're probably, like, similar in terms of, um... Like skin pigmentation and stuff like that. I don't know if we look the same other any any other way. Maybe eye color. But I then again, I could just take any two people that have loose properties that are similar to each other and be like, this person looks like that person, and then it's just up to the person to decide if they agree, right? So, for me, um, my criteria for someone to look like someone else is really really specific. So it's usually never actually like a thing that I see. It's like once in a while. And I have seen people that look like him, but they also look very different than I do. So it's kind of obvious that that's a bit of a stretch, I think. I appreciate it, though. It's, it means a lot, man. Yeah, I think if you're basing it off of just a few things, you could make anyone look like anybody in that logic, right? I got stuck on something, that was weird. <laughs> Dude, the fire, okay, the only problem I have with this entire thing, like the only detail that sucks, is that the fire he casts from the uppercut lasts a little too long, that's it. Not even like where it hits, but just it lasts just a little long. because even there, like, normally you'd get a Punisher. It just blocks you from doing anything. It's just, like, a no-go. Nice. Uh, what is this mod called? It's called, um, Hollow Overhaul. Most definite, most likely looks like Austin Powers. <laughs> I appreciate it, man. Yeah, no, there's been a lot of, um, a lot of, like, comparisons, I guess, that I've seen. I've seen a lot of the people, like, compare others to, um, being like, oh, like, you look like this person, whatever. But, like, most things I've ever seen for anyone saying anyone looks like anybody is usually not even close. It's, like, only maybe a small amount of them. So I think that it's just really easy for some people to, like, take a few details and be like, this is very similar, right? Um, and then you'll once in a while you'll get someone that actually is like almost identical like they for example they could actually pretend to be the person and get away with it or they can do like um you know paid appearances for it so we're, i'm not talking that level but if you make it seem that level then i'm gonna be like let's debate it <laughs> so there's never been anybody that's given me an example that's on that level it's been close but not not quite but It's also crazy because like the one um, outside in attack actually has two different speeds that look exactly the same. 
in terms of the startup on it. Oh, also the music is still playing too. My bad. Um, most people's criteria is like haircut, pigment, etc. Well, even my haircut's different than his, and then um, I would even say the color of his hair is different. So it's kind of like still not close enough. There's still too many things that are even within that criteria not correct, but it's similar enough where like if I said um, if I compared him to like for example if someone was saying Bill Gates earlier, that would be a lot different. So yeah, closer than like completely different, but not quite the same. Uh, when you lived in Japan, people said you looked like DiCaprio, and you're a fat guy with a red beard. <laughs> Honestly, dude, I, there's a there's a lot of funny uh, comparisons I've seen for quite a few people before, even like friends of mine, like where someone's like, "Oh, you, they look like so and so." I'm like, "No, not even close." But hey, honestly, if it gets you like a free entrance to somewhere you're not supposed to get into for free, or any perks, then go for it, you know, that's, then it was worth it. Tap, dude, honestly, that, that, even, even that is a little bit of a stretch. Uh, Limsy, I appreciate it, thanks, man. Uh, sometimes it's one very specific trait that stands out or even mannerism that informs the comparison. Yeah, I could I could see that like a little bit a little bit. Yeah Dragon Rider upped his game. He was he was trying to make up for all the times that we dunked him on the, the damage this run man Every single time that he died on that run made him like 20% stronger on this and so now he's like 2 million percent stronger Little do we know, the original design without any upgrades is just like the same Dragon Rider. And that is like, I'm pissed off. Okay, I'm gonna actually try to use my magic to heal. I didn't think about that before. And actually, even better, I should put it on the offhand so I can just use it immediately. That delay, dude. There's actually a part on the floor there where you can't move. That's so weird. It's kind of like Gundyr. Again, if you take out every uppercut I've ever been hit by on this, the progress would be so much better. Just those uppercuts, right? Makes a big difference. I was thinking of trying that just for fun, but I don't think it's working too much. Oh, you know what, actually? That did get me some damage. Hmm. I just want to see what the second part of the fight's like. If the whole thing's like that, then we could do it right now, but... Uh, why is he in a church now? Dragon Rider? I don't know. Also, uh, Revam, thank you so much for the Prime sub. Hope you enjoy your melts welcome. Getting so close to getting hit before I got in the fog wall. Yeah, I'm really glad that this is not a zero damage run. All 
Uh, when you parry, you get free crits, so I don't know how it would be pointless. Well, the parrying is definitely not pointless, but like I said, if you screw up a parry, the cost to screwing up the parry is bigger than the cost to just screwing up in general, right? So then you have to play catch up, and then it's a matter of how accurately can you always just be good, you know? Or how often can you always be accurate? And if you can't well enough to outplay the regular gameplay, then there's not really a point in doing it. In terms of how you're going to progress learning, right? The time investment, it's going to be longer. So it's not that you can't do it, it would work really well, but you have to be really good to make it work. And then that also takes time getting good at that, right? It's another aspect of practicing. So it's like, do I want to spend more time and then just do it in a way that would have been easier if I could do it well, or do it in a way that's easier already, that will take less time to achieve, right? Like, otherwise, I'd feel actually comfortable just using uh, parries for heals, but I, I don't, so kind of tells me it's just not really worth it. It's not as clear. Also, why was the floor on fire there? What was that? That might have been a glitch, actually, because there's nothing that was happening there. That was super, super weird. <laughs> the vials are garbage. The, well, I mean, vials and Bloodborne don't heal too much, so definitely makes sense. He used the attack for it? Oh, was it just not showing up on- it didn't look like it showed up on the ground properly or something. The, uh, floor stays on fire after the lower cut. Well, I know what the uppercut it does, but I didn't- I just didn't see it. It was so quick. It must have, uh, must have confused me. Yeah, I know- so I know the AoE lights the- the floor- oh wait, sorry, you're talking about- no. You don't mean the uppercut one, you're talking about the jump AoE lights the floor on fire. And I just somehow have not gotten hit by it at all until then, is what we're saying. Because that one I understand, but that's like really easy to see though. This one, if you're saying this lights the floor on fire, so... Okay, that makes more sense. How was I not taking damage on that before? That's actually surprising, wow. Taken fire damage multiple times, just small damage, okay. Wow, man. Well, definitely having the talisman's better than the shield, that's for sure. What mod is this, Danny? This is um, Hollow Overhaul, that's what it's called. If you want to know uh, more about it, there is a description in the mod command, and then there's a link to it. If you are looking to play it. Boss gets harder with each successive death. That, that kind of reminds me of Demon Souls a little bit. <laughs> the um, Black World tendency. Yeah, it would be really cool if they actually they did that and they made it even more detailed. I wonder, okay, wait, if I try to just use um, this by itself, what happens? Oh man, dude, you definitely can cheese this guy. I'm not gonna be able to here, I don't have enough damage, but... Unless he switches by default at a certain point for the... Um, the other weapon, I don't think you could actually have a problem with that. Nice. Uh, David, I'm doing pretty good. How are you? Heals faster than you can cast. Well, he actually doesn't heal faster than I can cast. Uh, unless I'm like misreading it, it's actually the matter that you can't cast enough times to kill him because even if the damage, w like let's say hypothetically, like even if you were right regardless, um, you just don't have enough magic in general, right? So I'd have to, I'd have to have like probably 20 of the Estus Flask or something with the amount of uh, health we were taking there. Is Convergence, is this Convergence quality level? I would say that the quality of this is uh, the same. It's just mainly 
a different objective, so it's not as big of a mod, but it's it's a fairly big mod already for what is trying to be done. There's just not as much content in it as Convergence, because Convergence is like a huge thing. Convergence is very ambitious. That's kind of trying to make the game like a different game almost. And then this is more just incorporating the uh, the Bloodborne elements, right? Some other small details. This guy's wind up here. Yeah. Well, if we can actually dead angle that, that'd be nice. Ah, um, those aren't what's up, dude. The strings in this song. It's very, very, uh, very scary music. <laughs> boss gets stronger every time he dies on this particular mod no we we're kind of just like hypothetically talking about that but well, like thank thank god that's not the case because it would be very very difficult to do this then uh would he go back into range mode after a certain distance uh so you can't actually get him to like fall behind as far as i've tried um he just chases you really fast so there's nothing that he would do that would slow him down enough to get that distance if it was a thing, at least in my opinion. And then I think they just programmed it where he doesn't actually pull the weapon back out again. So you could, and that's kind of the reason why if you hit him from a distance at the beginning, he doesn't switch it by being hit. It's not based on uh, that. It's based on how close you get right away from the the first part of the fight, and then it just switches completely. Because some things are just like a move set uh, based on like distance or like you trigger it. This is more of just like scripted. Oh yeah, because the fire, it still sets the fire on, wow, that's crazy. That residual fire is insane, man. I didn't even notice that. Uh, isn't there a big DS1 mod coming out soon? Yeah, it's um, Nightfall, I believe. It's in, I think, f January 20-something, 20 22nd, maybe. Uh, is there mods where you can play as a boss? Is that possible? I'm pretty sure there is, but I've never tried them, though. Uh, this was animated by the modder too. My guess is what he did is he took like a Dragon Rider character model and then he used the animations that are in DS2 but sped them up. Or maybe like it was imported into this engine somehow. Or this version of it. Um, but it kind of looks like his base moveset for some of the attacks just in terms of the speed and like the type of damage and all that's changed a bit. It's hard to say though. It could be completely, it could be something else completely. That fire damage on the floor, man. Jeez. <laughs> I tried to run. Oh, it didn't work. Definitely using the Millwood bow though. Animations look pretty good. 
That arrow is like a candle. Um, not possible at your current level, I'm afraid. See, the thing is, I'll I'll be a hundred percent. Like, if someone says that, like, if enough people say that, I'll actually try harder to do it rather than like leave it. So, I don't believe it is is impossible at all. But like, if people start believing it's impossible, it makes me want to do it more. So, that that actually might be good motivation to be better on this. But yeah, I'm not I'm not quite uh, through with this one yet. We're definitely gonna move on at some point, but. Who knows, man? Who knows when? We'll see. I have some ideas. It's not possible. Don't do it. You can't do this. Yeah, see, we need more of that kind of stuff. See that invisible thing on the ground there? That's so weird. Only that fire did not hit like the spice of a ghost pepper. It would be much better. Oh, here we go. Here's the. Oh. I feel like if he builds up his power, it's gonna like launch something at me or whatever. Is he still healing? He's still healing a little bit. Cool. That hitting me though, I don't really feel good about. I have to say no on that one. It's just all lighting the ground on fire. So we can definitely do this. Um, the first part has to become like clockwork, though. We have to actually just make it like a non-important part of the fight. Because that second part, I need to need to figure out some things still. It's very possible. It's definitely possible. It's like it's actually more possible than some things I've already done on a regular type of playthrough or modded run. But it's just kind of um, annoying because the factors that get you killed really quickly aren't something. It's like a big deal. It's kind of like a residual effect of something like the fire. So <laughs> if that didn't exist, like I said, I think we would probably have already done it. But that was actually killing me without me even realizing that some of it was doing damage. But you can you can also get him to miss you, though. You can like dead angle or like um, not that dead angle. You could space certain things and you can kind of like use the previous attack to actually like evade stuff if you get lucky enough, but then like you have to also be ready to switch that immediately if you don't get that situation. See like right there. You just completely get missed by that. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. But then sometimes I'll run back so into the residual like fire. Like, it's still going. It just goes for a long time. Another sub That's my main mistake there.
Ooh, the nice finish. Okay. That was better, though. We had three battles left at that point. Well, we're 100% good on this once we come back to it, if we do decide to come back, but I think I could do it before. I want to. Uh, Koshida, thank you for the six months. Welcome back, man. Also, uh, Snakey's is pretty good, man. Uh, my buddy invited me to his uh, family thing, so it was pretty cool, man. Um, but yeah, how was yours? How's there two bosses of DS2 and DS3? You saw Sentinel earlier. Is there more DS2 bosses in this? I don't know, actually. I'm not sure. Um, this is the first time I'm playing this mod. I, I haven't even actually seen any gameplay from it other than like a brief minute or two, maybe. This moveset's it's hard to predict. I think the, the hardest thing, it's not even the moveset, it's literally just uh, his speed. Like the speed of everything complements um, itself really well. It's kind of... It's been a fun year. It's kind of just a matter of you can't make him look for you long enough. Like you can't actually be on an angle that wastes enough time to capitalize. Like the windows of everything you possibly can do on this are very, very small, but then they also are contingent too with the their AoE. And then also because that lasts so long after it's already done still, then you can't return to that area like geographically so like in terms of map and all that you actually have to remember where the floor was lit on fire for a good like 10 seconds while you're also still doing the other stuff so that's the that's actually the only hard part everything else is pretty uh pretty straightforward but then i guess if it was just the straightforward stuff we would have already been done right so i think it's a really good design it's a really cool design but this would be pretty brutal to do well a lot for sure uh, can you get close without taking fire damage? It's basically just the attacks that light the floor on fire. It's not his body, so... Um, there's two different attacks that will continue to light the ground on fire for a while. Constant healing is not cool. I, I think at a certain point, if you're making something and then you're trying to fine-tune the difficulty, like that's one way of balancing it that's like really easy to do as a developer. Or if you're making something like this, you can just be like, okay, I'm just going to make him regen health and I don't have to design like four other things, right? So to me it seems like an easier way to just make the difficulty higher without actually like programming more stuff or incorporating more elements to the fight. But I think that if you have a mechanism or an explanation as to why this, like he's healing, that would make it uh, thematically cooler. So if there's not really an explanation for that, then yeah, it can seem kind of cheap, I think. Yeah, I don't, I don't mind that as much as uh, some other stuff I've seen. Just, just gotta remember where the floor is. Which, which sounds really funny. Trapped in the fire. Oh no. Okay. Oh, look at dude, look how much fire was there. That is wild, dude. Yeah, I don't know. The ground thing, the fire thing in the second part doesn't make as much sense. I don't know what's going on there. Cause see how like there's nothing I think it's once you actually hit him, it releases it from his body. So you have to wait in between cooldowns, or you just are screwed, kind of, you know, depending on the DPS. So it actually it actually seems like you're the one that makes the fire happen on the second part. Or 
Imagine going for a no damage run and then rolling with the fire by accident. That's what I'm trying to figure out if it's something that's inevitable or you're actually making it a problem on the, the second part. So the first part's definitely just like momentary. It's not constant or it's not like random or anything. He lights the ground on fire when he glows red. But he, but the thing that I noticed though is he was glowing red and he wasn't let, lighting the ground on fire by just simply walking or idling. So it's either an attack that makes it do that or you hit him while he is like that and then it makes the fire on the ground. Cause like I was trying to pay attention and he, he wasn't actually doing that while he was glowing. So either I'm crazy or the game's being weird or um, it's one of those like other two things maybe. I guess we'll know for sure soon enough. <laughs> Ooh, that was good. Pontiff looks different. He does, yeah. No damage run one on this on this mod. I don't know if I would do that. Let's like, even if it was fairly doable, just because we're doing some other stuff right now. But if I had nothing planned, this would be really cool to try. Hey. Because I guess the way that uh, everything flows up to this point, I feel like you could do it quick enough. It would just be like a different type of. Uh, like strategy you'd want to use for it, different stuff. Uh, Ultimate, thank you for the two months. Welcome back. I appreciate that. Be able to play it in four hours, Ref. Yeah, it's a it's a big mod, dude. The files for this thing it's like five gigs, right? It's definitely worth it though. It took it took a while for me to download it too. It's actually like a really good opportunity for, um, for damage. How long have I been on this boss? You've been at work for three hours every time you looked, I've been fighting this one. Uh, probably about an hour at least to an hour and a half between the, that time frame or so. What do you think about all that crypto thing? Uh, what about crypto in specific or in particular? Uh, after health, Half health glows brighter, and that's when he keeps lighting the floor on fire. Well, yeah, so I know that he's doing it. I'm just saying, like, in terms of um, the mechanism for it, I'm not sure if it's just random. Like, he discharges it based on, like, a timer, or if you're hitting him and it physically pops up when you hit him, or if he's doing an attack and it happens. Uh, so I'm trying to I'm trying to get, like, like, clear what you're saying. So you're saying that it's just happening, like, randomly. Like, as soon as, like, he's... Uh, has the indicator for it, it can happen at any time after that. There's no action that triggers it. There's no event that triggers it. It's just it's just it just decides to do it. Uh, Axie Infinite NFT in general. I don't know anything about those, I'm sorry. I thought you meant more like um like blockchain related uh Old school crypto. I guess there's like a chronology of this now, like the original crypto. It's like Ethereum, Bitcoin, stuff like that. I don't know what uh, Axie Infinite is. Never heard of that.
It's almost weird when I do the recovery attack on him, it seems like he attacks back sooner. I don't think that's true, but it just it seems like it <laughs> conveniently happens to be the case. Okay, so, okay, see now how the floor is on fire? I just wanted to know if it's just happening when he's walking around, or if it turns, see how it turned off there? See how it's not there anymore? It must be like when he's about to actually lose that, it indicates that it's gonna go by the floor disappearing. Like the floor fire disappears before his fire does. That's what was confusing me. I was like, why has it gone, but he's still glowing? Okay, so now everything's like that. He's attacked, but it's gone now, but it's still there. Yeah, it's a little confusing, because you see how he didn't have it, but then he... Like, he was going for a second, and then he attacked, but then it disappeared, but it still showed up on the floor. Because <laughs> the only way we're going to do, like, the second part really well is understanding the timing of when the fire happens and what, it, what it's based on, right? NFTs are racist against fungus, really. Uh, top one guy in Axie is making 30 million this year. Top one guy. What does that mean by top one guy? You mean like the person that made the the currency? Or are you talking about someone that like um, bought it first? Like the first person that bought a certain amount? Or, or what? Super difficult on low health, yeah, for sure. <laughs> I think it's, a, it's it's almost about time to break out the buffs, but I need to get a good phase too. This is a really cool boss fight though. This is one of the coolest things I've seen in these games. So whoever did this, really good job, man. Oh my god. That wasn't actually too bad. See how like much less damage I took because I didn't get hit by that stupid exploding thing? Like, dude. It doesn't even hit that hard if it's not the fire. Okay, so anytime I think that there is um, a fire on the ground and then it, there's a little bit of time wasted, I definitely need to um, use the magic. This is too big of a delay. The momentum's getting lost pretty quickly. Seventy nine. What's the damage on that? 
this once. Oh, it's the same thing, one handed damage. Keep forgetting we're using Bloodborne mechanics, so it doesn't work the same way as the scaling works for the other game's damage with uh, different types of attacks. Okay, let's get out of there. Magic time. It'd be really cool if I get some like auto FP regenerating stuff, because then I can kind of just delay him a bit, at the very least. Okay, see how fire... Okay, wait. He's not glowing, though, is he? No. Now he is. So if I hit him, does that make him glow? Or is it just completely random? Yeah, no, hitting him makes him glow. Okay, so yeah, I am basically just doing it myself. So it's basically the following attack or the following handful of seconds from when you see the indicator, but you're the one that triggers it. So you basically have to um, hit him and then leave, and then get him to move, and then attack in a different spot. That's basically the only thing I can think of. It's gotta be some crazy attack like that, but then if that's what it ends with, I'm not gonna have access. You might even be able to get two hits in before that happens. I think two is the safest. Or the, the most, sorry. Yeah, it's kind of tricky because of the fire, that's it. So, the second part, like, mechanically, you could just beat it, but you can't really out-DPS the fire if you have to wait every time you hit him once. Or mo most of the time you hit him once, right? Oh, man. Least favorite thing about Souls games? Uh... I think just for PvP, the amount of time it takes to set up PvP characters. Um, and then, I guess if we're talking about like features, uh, no independent jump button on some of them is kind of annoying, but they've, they've fixed that with most of it now. Hard boss. It, it's not really even like hard, it's kind of just not possible to uh, out DPS the second part without, without something that I guess I'm missing so far in terms of the ideas. Because, like, I had an idea for it. I was like, okay, I'll hit him. It'll activate the thing. He'll set it off. I won't be able to access that area. I'll have to move him again. But then if he doesn't move, then you can't can't keep the momentum you need. So it's heavily dependent on, uh, like, trying to deal some damage from a distance at that point. Which is making me think the original idea is actually the way to do sec the second part, where I just have a lot of uh, Ash and Estus files. Because it's really, it's not even complicated, it just doesn't give you accessibility. It's not really like about, can you do it? It's like, is it even possible to do if you do it right? Time-wise, like time sensitivity-wise. Okay, I'm just gonna down purpose on this one. When is Ott's gonna teach me DVD? I have no idea, man. He just asked me recently, so we will see. have to hear back from him first. Hopefully that happens, that'll be pretty cool. I have the game, so. Just waiting to see uh, what his schedule is like, because we have different time zones. And he is, he's super big time stream, so like his stream is like an enterprise, so we need to work around his schedule a bit for that kind of stuff. Uh, also, um, Bad RNG, thank you for the tier 3 sub, man. I Also, dude, I saw what you did when uh, on Christmas. Thank you so much, man. You have no idea how crazy that is. Um, just so you know, that will be going to charity um, in my portion of matching the the uh, amount that we have contributed to the charity link right now but we are raising money for um saint jude play live so um thank you for helping towards that just even though you didn't really know you're helping towards it that's very nice of you man
Okay, 360 cannot be a DPS. Let's see. Because he brings the fire with him. It's not even, uh, it's not an effect even on the floor. It's literally just the character model once that's activated, right? So can that be outdone? Yeah, it just kind of comes back. That's weird. Hmm. Yeah, I think it can be outdone. It's just going to be really tricky, though. So take quite a bit of damage uh, when it works in his favor. So yeah, we'll need. We'll actually need um, quite a bit of heals, man, or some. Friendly magic. Ooh. That was cool. That was actually a really big stagger there. Can I do that again? <laughs> That'd be nice every time. Yeah, I think I was locked into the fire there. Here, boss so far, definitely this one, man. Determine whether hitting him in second phase triggers the fire. Uh, so hitting him in second phase does trigger the uh, effect that lets the fire be possible and the fire comes on and off on a timer of some sort and it's not linked to any move so you can make him you, like hitting him makes him like do that but then you have a time frame of how many hits you can get before you get out and then it's gonna turn on the fire and the fire moves like around his radius it's not actually on the ground so it's just like a bubble around him kind of. Uh, just followed you because of Ots. What kind of experiment you guys gonna do? Uh, so he he the, what he told me is he wants to prove that a player that's not good at DBD can become very good and be effective as a killer um, in like pretty much like a fraction of the time it would take a lot of people to be like professional level on it that do like the full time streams. Um, and then basically just kind of like back up the argument that killers can still win and you don't have to play Survivor. Like Survivor's not. The only way to do it. It's not unfair. Is my DPS enough for second phase? It is, but it's like a grindy amount of DPS though. So I think in phase two, pairing might actually be better. Might be a smart idea. Because it's already risky doing it normally, so if I can get the parry, get a counter hit twice and then move um, before the next attack just slightly, that's guaranteed not going to be... Um, too slow, like it'll be fast enough where he'll heal back probably half of that at least, or maybe like 60% of what I do, and then I can just keep kind of pushing it further. Ots is bringing you to DVD. Well, yeah, I played it before, but I've never been good at it though, so I think the cool to, um, to see how long it takes. chasing me you, you just want that health don't you he just wants his health back that was a bad one Favorite killer on DVD? I don't even know all the killers at this point, dude. When I played DVD, it had just come out like probably within the year, so there was like a fraction of the people on the game. Um, I don't even think I played killer before on DVD. I think I only played Survivor. That's a so. Don't think I played killer one time. 
Uh, Jason, I'm doing pretty good. How are you, man? Uh, you have blood vials? I do have blood vials, yeah. <laughs> Kind of unfair to use God Gamer or me for that experiment. For a DVD, well, I mean, you have to take into consideration I'm not coordinated on a keyboard and mouse as well as controllers. So that's one, uh, I guess, thing to achieve there. And then uh, I was never actually really, like, decent at that game by default anyways, right? And I played it with a controller before, so. A couple factors of why I think it would be interesting. <laughs> nice. Saw that um, Prods was playing this mod. Is he playing it right now? I thought he played it a while ago, or whenever um, like it first came out. I think he was the first uh, channel I ever saw that to do it. Oh, it was a video. Okay, I see, I see. Oh, we have more rings. Dude, I forgot. Yo, this is, this is going to be really frustrating for a lot of people, guys. I had rings. I just had rings. <laughs> Are vials a consumable like Bloodborne or a reskin of Estus? Uh, it's basically a reskin of Estus, but it changes the animation and you can, um, you can kind of use them quicker, I would say. Um, and you also, it heals less by default. The fact the arrow pops up there is so annoying. It's hilarious though. Okay, this attempt is kind of scuffed. I think we should just leave it, yeah. Uh, do you have the ring that makes you kill bosses in one hit? I don't, but that would be really good for this. <laughs> Uh, Jason or Yasser, if you remember Yasser. I was going to ask you, actually ask you if you had changed your name because your name looks really familiar. Did you just update it through your account? Or you didn't, I'm assuming you didn't make a new account because you still have the resub, right? There's like a huge amount of people I've seen before where they just make another account. And I'm like, you can change the name with the same account. They're like, I didn't know that. <laughs> or they forget their password or something. want to read a book that feels like this game that's pretty crazy i think there is actually a book written on um some of the the work from the game don't know if it's like if it reads like a story or not but there is some sort of uh like a lore book i know of it's a terrible start too damn it what's going on here now <laughs> This mod change the difficulty of DS3 much? Uh, oh yeah, for sure, for sure, man. It's much more difficult. Um, but it's kind of interesting. It's like difficult in a way where you can't technically take advantage of it because on Bloodborne you still have beast pellets and you have um, serrated damage bonus from certain weapons. You have limb damage. Uh, you have like lead elixir stuff like that. So I feel like there, there's some things I haven't seen yet in this that. Uh, are usually in Bloodborne to balance that, but it's, it's kind of like playing Bloodborne against like a hard enemy without utilizing a strategy that's good for it and just kind of like hoping it works, sort of. That's what it feels like. Any fire resistant gear I can find? It, there might be. I'm just more curious about um, with this Sage Ring, will I be able to cast enough magic to make a huge difference? And also I have 10% more damage now. I forgot to originally put on that ring, so. Might be a big advantage.
is not necessary. Oh, he follows up with that again, damn it. Oh, man. Oh, man. This will be such a nail biter to finish <laughs> if we finish it today. <laughs> oh, boy. I know it's not everybody's thing to be like hung up on one part, and a lot of the comments will probably be like, wow, so aggravating. Or, like, here, let me think if I can actually think of like the way it would be phrased. Because there's like literally cut, copy, and paste examples of the exact same thing over and over, over time. So it's like, oh, would have watched it, but can't stand the fact that you were on the one boss forever, obviously not realizing you should have just probably leveled more. Oh, so obvious. Unfortunate. Would have been good. Like, something like that. It, just just to address that though i already know that so actually i'm choosing to do this with no with, with less levels because it's fun so i apologize for anyone that's uh being put through some some excruciating pain but it's fun though This one probably not radio. <laughs> I could I could probably play this boss for like another like day or something like that, like a full stream. Maybe a couple. It's pretty fun. But I don't think it'll take that long to beat though. It's so weird for him to end that combo without a uppercut thing. Or any any attack that's like big. It's so weird. I'm gonna try something funny because this attempt's not too good. <laughs> Just randomly spam these things and then run in and get some hits. Oh man. As long as I'm ready right out of that. Might have not been a good idea. Yeah, this is the part where we have to hit big damage. Okay, parries then. Parries. Let's see. Oh, he did the jump. Why'd I, <laughs> why'd I try to parry that? This makes no sense. Oh, man. The levels of adrenaline at the last 5% on bosses like this is always fun to manage. Oh, it's pretty crazy. <laughs> Sometimes. Uh, Bob, I'm doing pretty good. How are you? What's up, man? Triggers you how often you pass the item next to the stairs, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's funny, though. Um, oh, we also have Loretta's Bone. Okay, that doesn't do anything, though. Um, trying to think. We have one Titanite. It could be a good idea to... Soul 
Hmm. Thinking if I should get more magic. Still have to try the parries, though. The second part. Deep, what's up? How's it going? Thank you very much for the, the prime sub, Deep Lunarian. Uh, Jason, I did, yeah. Uh, what does phase two do? Uh, so basically, it's the same kind of thing as the first part, but he can uh, set the floor on fire at random intervals. Um, and it happens to trigger... Like, when you hit him, it happens to trigger like an effect that can do that. And then it also just comes on randomly, too. It's, a, it's such a, a fine balance if you're going to throw in the parries. You have to really know it's going to work. It's just not worth it otherwise. Or you lose all that momentum. That was crazy. like the hustle. On oh! Dude, the jump. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, that's crazy. 2007 or RS3. Um, I tried RS3 a little bit, like, way back, and it wasn't that fun, but I tried the 07 one um, first before that one. Uh, has this been the most difficult part so far? This is definitely 100% the most difficult, yeah. My god, dude. Good damage, yeah. It's it, it's gonna be like a, a balance of the magic not getting the floor damage, or even just regular attacks. The floor damage would be fine actually on the second part. If I could save all the heals too, it'd be a lot better. Technically, we could do that. Also, embering too. Embering would be like a really good idea. I could switch out an ember at the end. I need to. I wonder if you can parry that too. <laughs> I thought he was gonna do a very, very quick attack. That was not, not at all. Okay, we're just gonna throw this one. Not a good start. How much time have I been fighting this boss for? Uh, I wanna say closer to two hours at this point or so. Uh, you hated DS2, would you like this? I think you probably would if you hated DS2 and you liked DS1, because DS3 is closer to DS1 than two. Uh, would I say Convergence is more or less difficult than the base game? Uh, Convergence is is several times more difficult than the base game, for sure. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So like on a first playthrough as well, like it's it's extremely harder. Squeal, brace, squeal. Uh, Ripley, thank you so much for the 18 months. Welcome back. I think that convergence, like part of the difficulty is understanding a lot of stuff, right? If you, if you have someone help you, maybe it'd be easier, but 
if you don't understand any of the stuff, you're just like trying to figure it out, that's a lot of the playthrough, I think. I'm still really curious of what happens in the middle of this room, because there's like an invisible thing. Must be a reason. Yeah, see how he kind of idle? Like, his idle there, it just kills us so badly. Especially in phase two. We just need like a parry on this part. If I can get it. Two and then run. And then magic. And then switch and then continue and then don't do it and then do it and then maybe we win. That hit decently. Okay. Yeah, the, the fire damage is just so heavy, dude. It's like, I know I have faith that the parry will work on that part. It's just, what about everything else? It's like, you just don't, like, even the heals that you have in the first, like, the seven heals probably wouldn't be enough in phase two if you didn't have some sort of, like, way of getting more damage around them. Everything's so tanky. It's pretty tanky. Yeah. Jeez. Ever played, um, Long May the Shadows Reflect mod for Sekiro? I have never heard of that, no. Do you want to send me, uh, like, a link to it? Also, Leo, thank you for the 18 months. Uh, thanks for the 2021 motivation. For the motive the motivation ds3 to play and any hard games oh no worries man no worries johannes uh well i mean if you enjoy a game just you should just play it i think because you enjoy it i think that's the biggest 
thing to focus on. If, <laughs> but don't play things that you don't like because other people think it's cool to play them because um, it's difficult. That's also... Like, I think a lot of people have asked, like, oh, like, should I just keep playing this if I don't like it? It's like, no. <laughs> don't. Um, there wouldn't be a reason to play it in the first place if you didn't like it. Unless, like, maybe it's, like, part of a... Uh, a bigger kind of thing. I don't know. Flame plate ring. I don't have the flame plate, no. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna... See if I can get a good fight on this, and then see how much that makes a difference. Hmm. You know, it might actually be time to just start parrying everything for the first part and like risking it, and then I, if I save the seven vials, then we just try to hit him while he's on fire and see if we can do it. Because <laughs> there, there are some runs where like the RNG is better, and he actually does chase me even though the fire is going on, on and off, and then I can get the parry, but. He doesn't chase you. There's no. There's no real way to do it quick enough, unfortunately. Hey Squilla, donating this to you during a charity run feels a bit off, haha. -ha, but I wanted to give it to you directly. Feel free to give it back to the association if you want. Feel free to give it back to the association. You're struggling with some mental health and anxiety issues in the past in two years, and the stream really helps me get through it. This year, I found my first job. Things are starting to get better. Uh, in part because of me, so thank you. Oh, dude, no worries, man. You definitely, congratulations to yourself for doing that. That's awesome, man. I, I hope for 22, 2022 to be even better for you. Uh, and thank you. Also, so yeah, it probably will be going to the charity. The only way that it wouldn't is if, like, the amount of revenue the stream makes is greater than whatever I'm matching the charity with, which probably would not be possible by the end of the week, so uh, it most likely will be going to the, the charity as well. That one you can parry, too. That's actually a parryable attack as well. Oh, best of luck for this boss. Yeah, the thing with this one is just the matter of, like... Like, the magic I have is fine. I could totally win with just the magic in Phase 2 if I had enough castings, but I have to play the fight then with, like, a lot less vials, and that's the only thing I'm wondering about. So, you know what? I'm going to go back and actually try to do that. Because that's the only way that I can actually see it working here. Because you get... Close to 200 damage per casting if you can hit him, but then you can also run up and hit him too. So if I can get a couple situations like that, it might be fine. But yeah, I'm gonna have to potentially end the first half of this uh, this modded run soon though, because I'm getting like super hungry and I gotta ah. do some exercise and stuff like that. But um, we can definitely pick up part two tomorrow. It'd be nice to end part one with Action this being one. done. <laughs> um okay let's allocate more flasks poison crossbow i don't have anything that does poison that's the thing i was looking into that uh, i could have got the sanctum mace i think but i i popped the souls that were required for it but then that's also assuming he can be poisoned though right so it's not even a certain thing but i would hope that'd be cool why not dealing magic damage when he uses bow uh, so the thing is, the bow's not a use, it's just like the start of the fight, uh, so you can't switch back to the bow. The um, main reason I wouldn't waste the magic at the beginning is because it gives me my only chance to do damage in the second part, and on the first part you can get more damage when he has the bow with the, the, the sword, right? Um, so I could put all of my flasks into just magic, and then use all the FP I possibly have, and then I still wouldn't have enough damage just with using magic to kill him, so if that was the case, then yeah, you could cheese the fight probably. Um, but they, there's not enough damage to do with magic alone to kill him, even if he never followed me at all, right? So, even if he just sat, sat still. And even without the regen, it still wouldn't be enough damage. So the magic app is pretty weak, but it can be used in conjunction, though. Try hitting him with magic before he uses the shield. Uh, yeah, it does a uh, very low amount of damage, unfortunately. If we have a bad attempt um, before I go in the fight next time, I'll show you, but 
Um, yeah, we, we did test just the magic by itself without him pulling the, the shield. It's really low damage. But now I have four of the Ashen Vials. And then I have Embers that I should put on right after that. I should probably use these too. I just want to save all the items so we're actually good at this. That's crazy the effect still came out there. I don't know about that. I don't know about that one. Sorry, Bloodborne recently, you think it'll be your new obsession? I was I was really into Bloodborne when it came out. It was super fun. Uh also Vixit, did I say hi to you? I think I might have said hi. What's up? Uh, follow Vixit if you guys don't. She's doing a uh, hitless run of DS3 all bosses, apparently. Which is pretty hard to do. And um I almost spelt your name the original way. <laughs> I've been doing that to so many people. Everyone's shortening their name now. I was actually, I was thinking, it was funny. I was thinking of doing that recently too, but I'm like, man, the amount of money it would cost would be ridiculous. So at least we want to do it properly. So pro tip, don't rebrand after you um, invest in the channel. Only, only rebrand first. Don't invest anything, rebrand, then put all the money into the production stuff. I was there for the Mortis era, I was, yeah. How's the mod so far? Broken table. It's it's like that. Whatever you just saw there, it's like that. That is the the, the way it is. <laughs> it do be. <laughs> it do be haha. -ha. It's very funny. Um, I just need to get a good attempt on it. But it's hard to like have a good attempt every single time. So when I do, I do. I better be ready to try this magic strategy because it is the only way I can see myself doing enough damage on the second part. Especially if like there's a couple occasions where it goes really well, because then I can lose the momentum for a while and then still be in a better position. But if I'm losing momentum on every single engagement, then I can't do the second part. So I need to get ahead at least like half the time. And then it comes down to how many times can I cast the magic in phase two? And I think it's probably a good uh, eight times at least. So I need to get several thousands of damage in that amount of times. Then we're good. <laughs> you try to kill Nameless King, that's hilarious. Uh, you're tired as heck, so you're gonna go to bed. Let me know when you're free. Have a good rest of the stream. Sure. That sounds good. I hope you have a good sleep. Crazy how many mods are coming out this close to Elden Ring. Well, there's a lot of them that exist already, just people don't really know about them unless people stream them or, or um, 
do videos, but there's actually a lot. I think there's actually twice as many out that I've played plus even more than that. So I think that I've only played like maybe 30% of them at this point. And that's only counting ones that have enough items to be called like a full mod and not just changing one small thing. So there's a lot of them that exist that uh, I haven't even seen videos on some of them. But all the really good ones, usually people will play. But yeah, this, uh, I think this came out like a month plus ago. It's not like brand brand new, but it's fairly new as far as I know. I don't know how that caught, but okay. Apparently it did. See, like, I don't understand how that didn't hit me, but the other thing did. So it was actually worse on hmm. Groundhog, thank you for gifting uh, Elpin Chillac a sub. I appreciate that. <laughs> uh, my last message got lost in chat. Sorry if this is spam. Are you excited for Nightfall? Or at this point, waiting for Elden Ring? I'm excited for Nightfall, too. Yeah, I'm excited for both. Nightfall looks really good. Sorry, sorry that I missed that, by the way. RNG was almost good. It was okay. But oh, this fight, even if the RNG is bad, it's not even really about that. It's kind of literally just about the, the race. It's like a time-sensitive fight that's also like very back and forth, right? So like most time-sensitive fights that exist aren't um, like super challenging mechanically. Like Deacons, for example, even Four Kings, like it's not super complicated, but if Four Kings had like AoEs that did damage, like every time you walked in a certain spot on the ground and then you could like trigger all this crazy stuff, then it would probably make people quit. So I can see why they didn't do that. <laughs> when you add time sensitivity to like uh, a hard fight, it's it's basically the only other thing you can actually do to add like authentic difficulty to it, like really easily, which in this case is just the regenerate.
Okay, the Ashen Estus actually is still a legit Estus too. Interesting. That's rough, man. That's hard. <laughs> Too bad you don't have Pestilent Mist. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just to make the fight last 20 minutes, Endurance is Authentic Difficulty. Um, Endurance is Authentic Difficulty. Endurance would be like a factor of the player, I don't think. If you're talking about um, like making like something uh, like grindy in terms of uh, like the defense or damage, that is a pretty cheap way to, to make difficulty, just increasing like the, the health pool of something until it's like ridiculous. Or the defense, but I guess it depends on how it's done. Like Gale has crazy defense, but then you can poison them still. Okay, I need something very similar to that. I might actually even be able to get away with uh, less heals on this too. I mean, essentially, if we did it like with just all Ashenestus, uh, that'd be the best. But I need to get more damage. I need to get more damage out of the magic, and I need to also get more damage out of the parries. And then the magic should be used to get a heal if I need a heal in the second part. Okay, I'm gonna actually restart this one. Try a few more times. Uh, Fosco, thank you so much for the 26 months. Welcome back, dude. It was a great try. It was, yeah, it was fortunate. And it's funny because if I know, if I know in my head time-wise, like if I can count how many seconds it is between the fire, and I know every single time, then I could do it without even the magic. But it would have to depend on um, him doing an attack. I can actually parry when that time frame is applicable to. So then it's a little bit of RNG there. But I know it could be done because I've already done it a bit. Just haven't organized it. Why not releasing the magic and then going behind him so he takes damage from the magic? So the magic doesn't do a lot of damage. And then if you go behind him, he still hits you while you're trying to uh, do that. And he blocks most of the magic too, if you haven't noticed. So you've already tried what you said. Uh, unfortunately, it's not as easy as it seems. So he just has a crazy amount of poise. And then uh, he actually doesn't even get uh, staggered from the magic all the time. Sometimes you can block every single bit of it. But then I also did screw up some of the castings too, so I need if I don't screw up all of them, I can land a bit more of the damage that I could be doing. But I don't I don't think I can win based on magic damage. It's gonna be based on that as a distraction kind of. And then like just breaking up the um, the fight a bit. And then stopping that momentum from the, the health regen. One's actually annoying. Same with that too. Yeah, Let's nice. Strength be grand, so the world might be mend. So the world might be mend. Ah, uh, Slevin, thank you for the four months. Welcome back. Oh boy. Uh Pharaoh also have a good sleep if I uh didn't say goodnight to you already. It's a bit bullshit hard. It's actually not really. It's just we're probably um, able to come back here later after doing other stuff too, which we haven't tried yet. I haven't gone to Abyss Watchers. I kind of want to do this like this. I don't know. For me, like I'm more into the idea of being excited about doing the actual thing than the thing being done to complete the game, if that makes sense. Like the way I do, it's more important than doing it in general. So 
Like, it would be way more enjoyable for me as a win to do it this way. So I'll sacrifice the time on that. But there also could be other, other ways that we could still do right now, too, that we might figure out. So I just want to know how good this method can be if I play it really well. This is the only curiosity there. Oh yeah, I forgot. Again, I think when he runs like that, he's going to do the overhead. Uh, Meowless, thank you for the, the four months. Welcome back. You needed the Kurizu emote? Dude, you're like one of the few people that probably sub for that. Um, Rim looks the same as the one where you fight Pontiff. It's exactly the same place, yeah. Uh, also, Tack, you're excited for me to play with Ots on DVD? Thanks, man. I appreciate it. I'm... I'm wondering uh, how well it'll go, because uh, he's pretty decent at teaching people stuff. He's also very smart, and he's really good at the game, so I think for him it might uh, might be pretty simple. I think for me it's going to be interesting. <laughs> like, I'm not sure, has he ever taught anybody how to play DVD before? Actually, I guess he technically did. I think, he, I think the D-Sweat said that he Let's taught some people that he knows, or so he might have even taught these well. So the world might be mended. Season's greetings and hope you have a good new year if you have any plans. This will. Uh, oh, Sam, thank you so much for the 24 months. Welcome back, dude. Yeah, that's... That's the one. That's what we want. See, I wish I could rally back all that health. It's too quick, though. <laughs> What's going on, Vox? How are you doing, man? Also, uh, Mighty Morphin. Is this DS3? It is, yeah. It's, it's modded to kind of be like Bloodborne a bit. It's called uh, Hollow Overhaul. I, seen one, I need one more good fight before we're done to like just see if my, uh, my magic could be good. Because it was decent last time. I didn't actually use my Ember yet either, too. So I think if I can combine that with some buffs on the second part, it could be possible, but it'd be very, it'd be a very big stretch, though. <laughs> so the world might be mended. Smiley face. Uh, Mighty, thank you so much for the four months. Welcome back. Definitely knows Flame Lurker. Definitely is Flame Lurker. 
inside a costume. So the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. Squeal. Uh, terrible signal. Thank you so much for the four months as well, man. I hope you enjoy your mouth swapping. Come back. Weird. You have to like balance between trying to do the um, the magic on this part and then trying to parry at the same time out of it. There we go. I still got the escape parry for the health. It's crazy. See, like, what I mean by he can block the whole thing? Like, that's a little bit of the reason why it doesn't work too well. That's kind of what I was getting at. Try again, though. So I just need those to kind of, like waste time when there is the fire, I guess. Like right now. But then by the time it's gone, it's so quickly gone. You know? Oh, you know what? I might be able to parry him out of the fire, too. The, the fire is appearing behind me. Yeah, like I could get the parry there. I don't know why I'm not. <laughs> Some of that mess, but that's fine. I tried to parry. Why you gotta be like this? Oh my god. <laughs> so like, it could be done even without the magic too. The magic doesn't even matter too much. The parries are actually more important there. And then the buff with the parry is good. Two attacks on the parry is like guaranteed if you have enough heals, so. Okay, we're gonna try it one more time. We're gonna use a buff on the second part if I can. And then I'm also gonna try to, well actually, mm, only had lead resin left okay we'll try to not use the magic now no magic again the regen's insane it's pretty crazy yeah. <laughs> bull paper buffs seem to do decent damage it did yeah it was pretty decent um should i sell one of the embers Oh, I can't even actually get the buffs from this NPC, the one that we had. Ashen one. 
Uh, Vixen, thank you for the good luck. I appreciate it. Wasn't he? Need some spiky balls from Terraria. <laughs> I don't even know what those are, but dude, anything that hits the guy and kills him is a is a win for me. Hmm. I actually wonder if the other spells would be better. Small Blast of Wind versus Dragon Rider that will not give up. Who will win? Sort of nuts, you have to parry him while he brings fire Let's with him. Well, the fire the actually comes behind so you before you even, be like that's the problem. If it didn't spawn behind you, so the world it'd be okay, be but it actually goes so far in front of him, it's actually behind you when you're in front of him, so. You'd have to move out of where you were already existing before that happens to just clear it sometimes. It's not even to even not get hit by it. It's just to also just be like, you know, a foot away from it. Um, if it only was like a smaller radius or it was kind of like beside him, it'd be a bit different, but uh, it goes a fair bit in front of him too, actually. Unless he walks out of... Well, actually, I guess technically, no, it goes with him on the second part, so it doesn't matter either way. You just have to be far away. Or that's where you use some of the heals from the first part. Could be parried, I'm imagining. Should be able to be. That was better, but like, uh, you got you got to really not make a single mistake at that point. Or like, if it is a mistake, it has to be like you that you overstep the fire. It can't be on a, an attack. You can't make a mistake on an attack. <sighs> uh, Pengu, thank you so much for the 24 months. Welcome back. Uh, is the mod nice? It's pretty cool, man. It's pretty damn cool. Dragon Rider's competent. Yeah. <laughs> Don't know how wrong this is, but when you're in the red circle while he makes the fire, I didn't see you take damage. Red circle? What red circle are we talking about? Do you mean uh, taking damage from the fire itself? Didn't blink the whole fight? You can't, man. Can't afford to. I think I just blinked too fast to see. My, my blinking speed is imperceptible. I wish the statue gave you an item. It's like, hey, this this helps you win. <laughs> Be pretty cool. How 
have a guaranteed extra hit combo at the beginning there, though. If I just do that rotation. It's like guaranteed every single time. Sometimes you can even get another hit. But at least that many is good. In the wall, excuse me. That I don't think you can parry. Okay, big, big overhead. No, don't go for that. Hmm. You know what's you know actually interesting too? If you had a weapon that was long enough, you probably could attack him from outside the fire too. Have I gotten close to beating him? Uh, depends on what close means. Like in terms of health, uh, no, not really. But in terms of like ideas, technically there is an idea that I have that, that is possible. Like I know it would work. It's just you have to do it really well. Um. And then you would basically be still healing even if you played pretty good. And you would just barely have any heals left after, if, if any at all. You'd probably use all of them still. And then that would be enough, but it would, you'd have to play amazing. <laughs> and I'm playing very good for the first part, but not quite amazing on the second part. And then also I have to be okay with losing the momentum too, like actually technically backtracking. Because it might only be possible to win in certain cases with backtracking if we uh, do it like this. So I need to stop trying to just win to win and maybe play with the long game on it. Oh, that's unfortunate that we had the missed intro. It's too close. Can't, oh, the stupid thing on the ground I'm stuck on. Like, why, why can't I move? Maybe that's why he got screwed up one time by the magic over there, because he got stuck. Hmm. Yeah, this one might not be possible just based on the heals. It's very unlikely. Dude, the stupid thing on the floor is literally making this fight so hard. Okay, I'm gonna give up on this one. We'll do uh, we'll do another attempt. Cause uh, lost too much health to the stupid invisible spot. Can't be having that. Uh, do you have fast recovery time after attacking? I think by a little bit. Yeah, it's kind of well. The mechanics in this are a little bit more similar to Bloodborne, so I think a little bit. Just joined 20 minutes ago. How long have I been on this boss? Probably like two hours or two and a half. 
Take the item? You've passed it three times. I don't even- Oh, you're talking about the item over here. Okay. I see. An ember. Nice. That is a fairly decent item. For this part. Okay, I'm gonna actually try bleed right off the bat and see if it does anything too. I almost feel like the bleed is doing damage somehow. Like, not like from ticking, but it actually just does damage to him. Straight up. Like, that's so weird. Might be true. Nico, I didn't know. I didn't. You're probably thinking of the zero damage run, right? Two hand and uh, land single are two hits. So I did that earlier. It's too slow, unfortunately. And then the one hand is the same for um, the quicker attacks. So if you do light attacks two hand, it's the exact same damage. But you're using more stamina as far as I know. And then the, the heavies are too slow. So yeah, I think that in part two, um, if the heavies did more damage in part two and it wasn't such a trade-off for like the time frame, I'd probably use them for that. But it actually seems like it's still better to do two R1s in uh, phase two as well, just because the, the stamina cost and like the fact that if you have to bail, you don't have to do two of them. You can just do one and then save a lot of time, whereas the R2 would still be a pretty long time either way. So let's try it on both. Here, wait, I'm gonna test again to see on this this bleed. See if this bleed is better. It's hitting 172 on the rolling attack. Yeah, it seems like it's pretty much the same. It's, if it's even better, it's not by much. Tell me I could have been dead angle in the entire fight. Until the fire pops up, okay.
Damn. Parries were not smart there. Is this a hitless run? It's not? No, I'm just trying to figure out how to kill this guy like with the damage we got. Uh, it's a claymore, but a modded one. Let strength be granted so the world 187 for the mended. bleed. Yeah, I was trying to see the roll attacks. So the world might be mended. Hmm. I'm assuming direct fire probably wouldn't be better either. Uh, Dexter, thank you so much for the six months. Welcome back, man. I wonder if the weapon art, if I like spaced it well enough, if it would stagger him while he's walking. Um, and how much damage that would do, because that uses FP, and that's the only other use of FP we have, so... But if it does stagger immediately, that might work. Just a little bit. Lightning did the most damage out of the buffs it did, but I don't have any more of that, unfortunately. I don't know why I tried the parry there, but okay. Bit better. I'm trying to, th ugh, you know what? Like the regen's not, it's not actually that fast in the, the second part. It's like not fast enough to be beaten by speed wise. We just need to actually, like every hit I get that uh, accumulates fire damage from having to be in that situation. It has to be to like a minimum of like a handful and then I can't have any heals in the first part. And then that's pretty much it. That's all we need. Because there's just a certain amount of them where you, you're in a situation where you have to escape and then you do take the fire damage. But then there's a lot of situations where you don't have to as well. It also seems like, too, in terms of like in front of him, the actual animation doesn't do damage where it looks like it does. Like, it doesn't have like a crazy hitbox, so I might actually be able to stand in like the edge of it. And then if I maximize uh, that, if I get like a lot of distance on the weapon for the parry and everything, like most distance I can get, it could be safe to do that and then get one attack. So I need to need to see if that's true. Seems like it. But seems and is is very different. Oh boy.
Oh yeah, I wasn't thinking about the fire. <laughs> Flame stone plate ring plus uh, fire bug pellets. I'm not sure where you find the stone plate ring in this, unfortunately. I can see the progress being made. Thanks, man. You can parry. You can parry, but the problem with the parrying is in the second part. Um, you have to parry him while he's on fire, and the fire does damage to you if he walks towards you. So the parry has to be outside the range where the fire is active, if it is, which I'm not sure is possible yet. That's what I'm trying to figure out. If that's possible, it's fine. Um, and then more popularly, the way I did it was when he didn't have fire on him, but then he's about to get fire on him as soon as you try to finish your first attack. So then you have to escape. And if for whatever reason he attacks really quickly out of that and you have to dodge the attack in a direction that is suitable, that might push you back in the fire again. So I, I typically have that issue. Also got unlucky on the fog gate too. Unfortunate. Heals. If they're gonna throw a DS2 boss, use a DS2 strat. <laughs> use the bow. Oh man. I could. I could. It just wouldn't be as satisfying though. I don't know. Like honestly, there's probably a couple different ways you could try doing that kind of stuff, but I could also have just killed Abyss Watchers and then came back, but. I'll be 100%. If Abyss Watchers isn't much harder than this or the same, I don't think there's anything they're going to give me that will make me, like, incre like a large amount of, um, you know, ability. And it won't give me a larger ability to do it. I think it'll just be, like, a small, small bump, right? So I think I'd probably have to beat a lot of other stuff before this. What is DVD? I have no idea, dude. You have to ask gods. We haven't uh, decided. Definitely not today, it's not tomorrow. Um, maybe after the next sponsored stream probably, because tomorrow we have to do another sponsored stream and then uh, maybe in January, be the best. Max, thank you very much, man. Okay, actually, I'm gonna restart that one just because I wasn't paying attention. Uh, how silly you are! This is DSD boss. All you got is level 80p. It's true, man. I should. <laughs> I should, man. What's the soundtrack? I think it's. Um, it sounds like the Watchdog of the Old Lords thing. Stone plate plus fire pellets or flash. What? So I looked. I looked for. Um, the pellets, I think. Oh, actually, I do have red bug pellet. Yeah, okay. I have one of those, so I should use that in the second part and see how good that is. And then, but but let's let's see. Let's just figure out if he's even doing fire damage. I wonder. I wonder if he actually is. Twelve point five versus eleven point two. That's still better defense. Okay, I'm gonna compare all this stuff. Um, that is three point seven. So those are the best gloves that I have on for fire, and then pants are the best pants for fire. So yeah, I have the best possible armor configuration for fire already. And then um, we could also use the pellet at the end.
That still hits. So that you have to be aware of. Damn. Uh, enjoying some good old squill over during your Final Fantasy fourteen queue. Final Fantasy fourteen is the the one that's online, right? I'm pretty sure. Is damage double? No, this is a, so this is a called Hollow Overhaul. It's just like a Bloodborne uh, kind of spin on this game on DS3. Interesting to know what happens if you stay on distance. Uh, would he go melee phase two or would he stay in range mode? Yeah, I don't, like I was saying, even if he did stay in range mode, I wouldn't want to win that way, but it'd be interesting to see. I just don't have enough of any projectile in general to do enough damage for that. If they hit a little bit harder, I probably could. But yeah, even the arrows uh, don't have a lot, plus <laughs> the damage is probably terrible, considering the damage on the weapon is already... It's okay, it's actually pretty decent, but for what this fight is, it's kind of scary. the ember. Okay. I don't know why I tried that. That was silly. Very silly. Made no sense. <laughs> Where's my weapon? Where'd it go, dude? Weapon's gone. It's not cool. Yeah, it just seems like you have to kind of be like in front of him at this point. Issues the follow ups with the, the two quick follow ups are too quick to actually dodge the second time, so you can't do anything about that. That still hits pretty hard, too. Yeah, see, the how see how the fire spawned in behind me. If that didn't happen, it'd be it would be totally possible because all you'd have to do is just be like. The distance it is for this fire to spawn in front of him, but it spawns behind you though. So it's too big of a radius, I think. It's not even an issue of like me playing, it's literally just like I, I don't even know how you would actually hit him with a melee weapon and not take damage on the fire in the second part. Still trying to figure that out. Because if that's possible, then no matter how much damage I'm doing, you could still do this no matter what. You could do like one damage and still do it. But if that's not possible, then it is gated behind a certain amount of damage, but then that's not really as good in terms of playability, because I feel like you should be able to do anything perfect if you're good enough. 
with these kinds of designs on things. Like there shouldn't be like a contingency where you have to take damage. Um, unless it's um, like a scripted event of some sort, but on like a, ra a fight with all the random things going on. Can't punish the uppercut from behind because of fire damage. Well, you can't punish it from in front either. That's the thing. Um, because the, it'll appear one second after you attack from behind where your foot is. So you could parry him and then just like walk away, but it wouldn't be able to, you wouldn't be able to do damage to him though. So that's where I'm kind of curious of how that part works, like what they actually expect you to do. It doesn't seem like they expect you to actually not take damage from that particular fire. But logic tells me you should, like as a programmer, design it so you can totally do it perfectly. Like there would be no reason why you shouldn't be able to, unless they overlook that. And then in that case, it doesn't matter either way. Visible object on the ground. Okay, I'm just gonna read that one. I think we'll try a few more times. Abuse magic for phase two doesn't work, unfortunately, with the magic that we have at this point. Dark spell, then run up and kick the shield repose win. Uh, so the thing is, the shield has more stability than like a normal shield, so he can block all of the magic and your attacks at the same time. Uh, hit the invisible object. It's not actually an object. It's just like the collision in the ground or something like that. Like um, I can try to I can try to attack it, but it's just part. It's kind of like when the seams on the the collision on the floor kind of are weird or whatever, and it just creates like a barrier. Let me see if I can find it. It's like right where the soul is. Oh, right here. Yeah. Imagine that was the secret. You, like, get him to shoot an exploding arrow into an invisible target and then win. That'd be amazing, man. That's how I would design it. <laughs> like, I'd make everything else fun, but it would just be that that is the way to win. Yeah, your sword doesn't reach into the region where the fire doesn't reach you, unfortunately. That's the thing that makes it impossible <laughs> to do that, or to win by that method alone. Make it very hard to do that with. Yeah, and then I wake up and then boom. Nice. And I had I had uh I had six files on that too, so. Yeah, it's hard to it's hard to say. How's the game? It was fun, it was fun. I think I have to go though. It's been like seven and a half hours i plan to stream five hours today <laughs> i'm getting i'm getting like straight up addicted to the fight but I, it might be something that's a little bit difficult to actually do just because um like i said no matter what if you um if you hit him from the maximum distance that your sword will reach you still get hit by fire so there's no way to actually punish the attack when the fire is happening other than to know the timer of it um which 
Okay, I'll try. You know, I'll try. I'll try one more time to understand the timer of it and see if we can play like with that in mind. And if that doesn't work better, then that'll be it. Because yeah, it's not. It's not going to be something I can do based on just the skill of like spacing and everything. It's going to be based on the time it actually activates and then knowing it's going to happen before it happens, kind of without any indication other than just like counting seconds in my head. <laughs> Because it is, it is on a strict timer of some sort. It does come back like every roughly 10 seconds, I'd say, or less. So I can find out how many seconds it is, then we can, can possibly do it. Oh, look, there's the there's an there's an enemy in here now. Wait, was that glitching before? That makes a little more sense. Especially if that dude takes damage, too. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. <laughs> New status effects. Maybe you could try some stuff to use the status effect against him. Yeah, I should try it. I mean, I don't have any weapons that do anything crazy that I know of. Um, and then the magic I have is just all, like, some sort of elemental damage of some sort. You're onto something? I don't know if, I don't know if hitting the thing on the floor mattered, but... It was obviously something then, that's crazy. Like, it was an object, you're right, it was a character model. Insane, man. But now he's gone. I wonder if he loads in when you kill this one, or what? Like, I wonder what the, the deal is. <laughs> that's very strange. Like, maybe the way the fight's supposed to work is this is just the part two, and we're doing it as part one. I don't know. Something going on. Something or other. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. Hey, Strymer. How's the thumb? fire. Charlie, it's been a lot better, honestly. Um, it's fine now. Can actually, like, push on things. It still it feels a little bit weird, but it's, it's like, nothing, though. There's been, like, moments where my nail specifically feels like it's gonna fall off, but I think it's fine, though. It's probably, like, the, the damage to, like, the skin underneath or whatever. Might be meant to fight both at once. Maybe, yeah. It might be possible. It's weird that it wouldn't load in like that before, though. Enemy that appears after you kill the boss, like the Shichi Man. Oh, man. <laughs> That'd be so scary. All right, I'm going to try one more good attempt. That's it. And if this isn't the good attempt, then if we get destroyed within like two seconds here, I'm done. then we'll come back tomorrow. Okay, maybe before the phase transition we get the parry and then try to do more damage as well. 
not sure if that'll matter too much. Just take damage on the phase transition quite often. Once I just activate it like that, that happens too. Okay, so I'm gonna count from when it disappears. And then I'm gonna see, okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, it's about 10 seconds, okay. Okay, that's fine then. And it lasts for half of that, it's like, well, it's about five or six seconds it lasts for, so. I have five more seconds, and then it's basically too late again. Unless it re-triggers when he gets hit. And that the timer is something else unless he gets hit, or like there's a certain amount of hits still. Kind of like staggers. Try to parry that. Okay. That will be that for now. That, that will be that for now. Uh, when I start the face cam, I use it for about five months now, I believe. Um, but yeah, this was pretty interesting. It was pretty fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow with more of the hollow overhaul. And then I'll be doing a bit of um, uh, Gran Turismo to finish uh, as part of a sponsored stream for the, uh, the racing wheel I was sent should be pretty fun holy shit dude apparently uh we've raised quite a bit so far we got 1680 today holy shit dude that's insane wait a second dude rng you're cr you're crazy man dude rng donated he so he i think he donated like something like 300 bucks or something like that or, th or over that and then he now he's at a thousand total donated just by himself dude that's insane great stream amazing cause thank you man so I guess in total we've raised uh, 32, no, 3,300 almost or so. And then we still got some time left. So that's insane, man. I appreciate that. That's <laughs> from one person. That's crazy. It's insane, man. All right. Well, thank you very much. So we'll leave the, the link going. We'll leave the campaign going. And then um, I guess I'll let you guys know next week when it's over. And we will round up everything. And then uh, I guess I'll add my donation. And then we will ho hopefully I'll be able to. I might have to actually add it in multiple days. I don't know if my bank will let me. We'll see. And then we'll submit it. But um, yeah, we raised uh, about $3,300 almost for sick kids. That's pretty awesome. Uh, let me see who's live that we can host as well. Also, if you do want to catch the stream t tomorrow before it's live, here's the Twitter. I will let you know when I go live. Here's the YouTube. If you want to see other stuff, other runs that are kind of crazy like this. And then here's the Instagram as well. Ugh. But yeah, how's everybody doing? What's up? Oh, also, Happy New Year's for anybody that is already in the new year, maybe, because you're a time traveler. Or Happy Pre-New Year's for people that are not. Okay, so we're going to go back to uh, Road of Sacrifices, I believe. Yeah, we'll go into this area, and we'll see what's going on over here. Gaming has now commenced. It has, yeah. Whew. What's going on, uh, Rakozi? Happy birthday, thanks, dude. Man, Road of Sacrifices is looking a little dark compared to what I remember. I don't think it looked like this the first time we went through, did it? It was like kind of, um... It was kind of lit up with, with a bit of moonlight, at least. It wasn't this dark, though. So I wonder if I wonder if in this mod they've changed the, um, the areas as you go back to them. Just based on, like, progression and stuff like that, so it's pretty cool. But yeah, today we're going to be playing it smart. We're actually going to try to make the character stronger. Um, now that I've spent a million hours on that one boss, we should be able to beat him fairly quickly if I become stronger. So we're going to do that. <laughs> and I will not torture anyone anytime further or any any bit further. What I'll do too is I'm going to edit the, uh, the video. So I'll cut out a lot of the attempts on that um, and just put like a little description in saying that, you know, we, we tried this for a long time, but to save you the time, uh, I'll cut out like a good amount of the attempts that weren't really that crazy. Or I'll speed them up or something like that. We'll do something to shorten it. So I want to make this one video. Is this Bloodborne 2? It might as well be. 
Um, and also, have I played Metroid Dread? No, dude, I saw it at the store. It was expensive, though. I was, I was kind of like, you know what? I wonder if I could borrow it from somebody that I know. Because I'm probably only going to play it once. So I don't know if I wanted to buy it for uh, close to 100 bucks. I was like, kinda, I was like eh. If I'm not going to play it a lot. But I do want to play it still. Um, and also, I've been kind of addicted to playing Smash again. So, I mean, like, when I've been playing Switch, I've been playing Smash. Is this Bloodborne Kart? Dude, if, if you could get into a go-kart on this, uh, I would pay for it. Right now, I would pay full price. I would pay as much as Metroid Dread. <laughs> You'd probably get more hours out of it anyways. Oh man. Um, you can borrow mine when I'm done. Metroid is 100 bucks. Uh, it's $80 plus tax, so... Closer to, like, it's like in the $90 range, right? 90 plus dollars. So yeah, yeah, it's quite a bit. <laughs> I mean, I can I could buy it. It's just like I, if I'm only gonna play the game once and it's a five hour game, five to ten hour game. It's kind of like I'd rather try to find someone first just to see if they have it, because I totally have friends that have the game. 100 percent, I do. Just need to see them. Um, okay, we're going the the regular way through this part. But yeah, if I can't find anybody that uh, has it, then I will I will get it. It's just because I know the the amount of hours that I'm gonna put into it are not gonna be crazy. It's different if I own something for a while and I actually do play it over time. Oh boy. I'm dead. Nice. And there was no uh, bonfire there, was there? Damn, dude. Where you live, it's $54. Yeah, $79.99 plus tax here. But in uh, freedom units or American dollars, that is pretty close anyways, right? <laughs> Because an American dollar is like, uh, it's like three million Canadian dollars, so. Does this mod have quick steps? It actually does. Check this out. And it has the visceral, too. And I think you can parry. Wait, let me try to parry. Well, you can parry and get a visceral as well. Just need to get one. Now that I realize that I'm really bad at parrying on this particular enemy. Can you even do that? Is it possible? Dude, I might actually just straight up die here. Okay, I'm not gonna do that anymore. I'm gonna use an ember and escape. And also, we've already explored over here, so uh, I got all the items in that place. How strong is the crab? The crab's pretty strong, actually. Oh no, he grabbed me. I gotta get out of deep water. There we go. Ooh! Wait, can you can you repost? Oh, he grabbed me again. Oh, there's two crabs now. Oh yeah, they can kill each other though, can't they? Or they can kill other enemies, other enemy types. So I think that what they've done in this, every single type of enemy is has friendly fire towards another type. So like if you were a crab, you could I don't think you he could damage the other crab, but I think he could damage another type of enemy though. That's what it seemed like so far. That's so cool, man. Nice. And then you can stagger that that heavily. Uh, Joker, I'm doing pretty good. How are you, man? Also, uh, Jen, thank you for the Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you, too. Playing your first playthrough of uh, Dark Souls at the moment, you're at Sif, and you died to him once. What do you think so far? What's your, uh, what's your opinion on the game? Sif is pretty cool, actually. I think that's when... Uh, for me, the game got really exciting because that entire area, the way that they designed it, um, is very, very unique. I think that's one of my favorite parts of the game. It's a good boss, too. Favorite album of 2021? Uh, favorite album that I, I believe released this year that I've actually listened to? Uh, probably is J. Cole's new album. I've just listened to it the most out of everything, out of all the new music that I know of. But I also missed out on a lot of music, so it probably would be a different answer if I heard more 
albums that came out this year. Let strength be grant so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. Oh, I couldn't get it. Duh. The off season, yeah. Off season's crazy. Um Yeah, but I bet you I'd probably have a different answer. If, oh, it went underground? What? What happened? Dude, does it heal? It didn't heal, did it? Dude, it healed! Oh, that's that's cheating. I'm getting out of here. It healed, dude. It actually healed. I didn't know they do that. Casual parry right there. <laughs> Favorite album was Yes. Uh, um, the Yes album? Quests. Check it out if you haven't. You can send me a link to it if you want to, and I can I can check it out in the uh, in the off time. If you want to send it in like a whisper message or uh, like a Twitter DM, any kind of thing like that, I'll totally listen to it. Uh, the chicken, thank you so much for the prime sub. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoy your moats. Welcome. Uh, this is an Estus shard. I should grab that. It still is an Estus shard. I am poisoned. And I might die. Okay, this area is very bad. No purple moss. Okay, so you still do the flames the normal way. Like, a lot of the things in the game's main progression are unchanged uh, in terms of, like, how you open certain doors or, like, key, key situations. But then a lot of stuff around that's been changed to make it a lot harder, too. And then, like, all these enemies fighting each other is crazy. I think that's really cool. There's a dark right there, too. Oh, my God. Poison buildup is dumb fast. Every single status effect so far is brutal, man. Especially bleed. Bleed is uh, unbelievable. Like, if you get touched by one of the spaghetti creatures, like, you, you just melt. If you don't have a torch, like you're pretty much dead. <laughs> I don't even know if you could survive in a lot of cases. Because it built up like three times on me, I, I believe. I just want to get the last flame. Or at least like the second last one. Be nice. We're doing this in the regular order. This mod run well seems interesting. Dude, this mod is really cool. This is actually... Uh, it's 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 really hard to place it compared to other things because a lot of the other mods I played are huge, and this one it's not meant to be like everything has changed. It's not like a new game completely, but it's like a really interesting way to uh, make Bloodborne and DS3 kind of combine, but then keep it in the world of this game sort of. Because uh, there's a lot of like little tiny things they've done that make the game definitely like Bloodborne. So that is, uh, I feel like that that's something you could easily overdo. Or you could make it kind of cheesy, but it's actually really cool. And some of the stuff makes the base game of DS3 better, in my opinion. So, yeah, it's like almost like I wish that they made... It would be really cool if they kept the same lighting system and then the same base layout of enemies, but then kept a few of the mechanics, like the quick step and then some other weapons, and then you could play the game like normally, layout-wise, because then I'd, I'd, I'd probably do more runs on it at this point. But running this mod uh, is a possibility too, if it if it comes down to it, I guess, if there's enough time. So like when someone was me mentioning that earlier, I think I might I might actually try something on it at some point, because I'm definitely going to replay it, so. What is happening here? Oh no. I can't move. I just can't move. I just simply can't do anything. I quit out because I'm a cheater. <laughs> Oh boy, camera keeps showing more of me. Uh, well, okay, the camera set up today again. Well, I guess the way I've done it um, after we have done the racing streams is just kind of keeping it this way. So when I set up all the stuff with the wheel, I can just take the filters off, and then it's already positioned in the right place. Whereas if I had it how I had it before, I'd have to do a few more things. So it's just easy to switch into things where I have like my hands in the view and everything. <sighs> that was a little cheap, but hey, but hey, man. Pay now. Wait. Can I get the last fire? Think you think I can make it? I don't think I could. Only I only partially believe on this one. 
don't think there's enough time to actually make it. Yo, look at that thing. I gotta fight that thing too, actually. Oh no. What is that? Uh, did I get the no damage master run? I haven't yet, no, unfortunately. Um, but we haven't we haven't really been playing it as much the last couple streams. We've just been doing this. So I want to see if I can finish this today. And then uh, we're wrapping up like the last hour and a half with Gran Turismo again. And the racing wheel. And then tomorrow, if there's still more of this, we'll finish uh, some more tomorrow. But I feel like we could finish like at least a, a solid playthrough of this today. I'd have to start progressing <laughs> a little quicker but we'll see if we don't it was still worth spending a long time on that one boss because that was a lot of fun dude i had a lot of fun doing that it was very enjoyable did i kill dragon i didn't but like i determined that the build that i had wasn't really the greatest for it like people were saying that anyways i knew, I knew that was the case like it was really disadvantaged but i didn't really know that the fire that he uh produces in the second part actually appears behind you so like if you are within a certain range of him, there's no way to hit him without getting hit by the fire. And because of that, it's kind of kind of trivial, right? If that wasn't the case, it'd be fine, but I had to kind of spend enough time getting decent enough to test that. Also, whatever's going on there was crazy. Residual curse. Uh, Wakanza, I'm doing pretty good. How are you? There's so many of the, the these gurus here. Yeah, and the, the buildup for the status effect is huge. And they, they got a bunch of thralls in the swamp, too. That's a really good way to make it more annoying. <laughs> but then at the same time, you see how it's, like, not crowded? Like, they didn't overdo the amount of enemies. They're still spaced out pretty good. Oh, that's instant poison. Yeah, so Curse is basically Frenzy now on this one. Dude, look how many status effects there are. <laughs> Do you figure out how to control the souls of the stream? Well, I haven't, no, unfortunately not. <laughs> Yeah, the status effects are crazy, dude. Um, Whale, thank you for the nine months. Welcome back. Thank you for the prime sub, too. I gotta sit at the bonfire twice just to get rid of the frenzy. Not even. It still it still happens. You, you have to sit at it three times. <laughs> or you have to wait. <laughs> With how much it destroys your health, it may also be a one-shot. Yeah, like that thing wasn't too hard to kill, though. It, it had quite a bit of health. Or sorry, it didn't have a lot of health. Like I was doing quite a bit of damage to it. But yeah, the way that this is done, you definitely feel um, like you have to grind a bit more for the character to be stronger. Like, it definitely doesn't feel as RPG as, uh, or like, maybe not RPG, sorry, it doesn't feel as, like, uh, overpowered as DS3 could be. So, like, I feel like no matter what you do in this mod, you're not going to be, like, ridiculously OP. At least from what I've seen so far. That's That's my analysis of it. Okay, I'm gonna just try to get the flame and then I'll kill the guy after we get the flame so we can survive at least. And then keep some of the souls maybe, that'd be cool. Also, I don't have a dagger yet either. Ah, oh, I should've used the... an ember would've been fine, dude. I need to use an ember there. Uh, Rook, what's up? How's it going? This is rough. It is Medusa. How are you doing? Happy New Year's Eve, by the way. This mod's impossible. <laughs> oh, man. I'm very, I'm very curious of what they did to Abyss Watchers, because I feel like that fight already uh, has a lot of potential to be cool uh, when you mod the game, but... I wonder if they changed much about it. Because some people think it's fine already. Some people really enjoy this Watchers. I don't as much as some people, so I, I hope it's a lot cooler. 
Also with the Dragon Rider fight too, I'm actually convinced that when we've been playing it, it's been it's been acting incorrectly. Cause like remember how I loaded in and there was like a there's another Dragon Rider in the fight randomly. The thing that was invisible turned into an enemy. One time out of like a hundred. <laughs> I almost think it'd be easier going from the other side on this one. I don't know. Okay, do I have embers? I do. Use it, use it, use it. Too late. Quit out. Ha ha. Ha ha. Favorite Bloodborne weapon? Uh, Ludwig's sword is my favorite. So either Moonlight Greatsword version or the regular one, both of them are are pretty equal to me. But I like the I like the way they designed the the regular Ludwig sword. The way it kind of just becomes a bigger sword when it's put away, right? When it's in the the sheath. I, there was another game that did an idea very similar to that, where there was a like a sword that transforms somehow, and it was very similar. Like it would turn into a bigger sword, but there was like a, like a mechanic to it. It wasn't just like magic or anything. I'm trying to remember what it is. It might have been Final Fantasy or something like that. I can't remember. What? Oh, the curse, dude. I'm trying to make it there. Alright, I'm starting to I'm starting to think it would actually be easier not going the way I'm going on this. <laughs> you would have given up at this point. Oh man. Well, we don't really know how late game of an area this is supposed to be or what we could do to be stronger. Um I'm convinced this mod actually is just hard at this point. I don't think it's like that we're doing anything completely wrong. I think we're fairly balanced in this, but I think that when we were doing the Dragon Rider, we were probably underleveled for that part. I think this part's still a little bit earlier game. Because we did all of Cathedral. We did everything else you technically can do other than the optional stuff, which only, I think it only leaves us um, Old Demon King in the tree at this point, but the Old Demon King was a bit too hard, so... Like his health was uh, definitely not decreasing quick enough. Um, and then we didn't try the tree. I never actually went back to try the Great Woods, so I could go back and do that right now, actually. Found the ported Bloodborne to PC. This is the closest you will get to it. I highly recommend playing this if you want to play Bloodborne and you've never played it, or if you're a fan of the game um, especially. Definitely try it. It's a really good mod. Moonlight is in Bloodborne. Moonlight uh, Greatsword, it is, yeah. Moonlight Greatsword and Bloodborne is the best uh, iteration of the weapon, in my opinion. The best version of it. Because you can actually, um, you can use it as a as a, a, a regular sword without the, the Moonlight form. It has like two different forms to it. And it still has the projectiles too. MGS is an from soft game. It's in a lot of their games, like even stuff that has nothing to do with this. It's kind of like their Easter egg. I think it's an armored core. Only thing I know that they made in like the last decade it wasn't in was uh, the VR game. And even then, maybe it's somewhere in the files. Who knows? Like maybe it hasn't been found. <laughs> Young Demon King. Young Demon King is just Demon Prince. Even though he's probably older than a lot of things in the game. Young young enough to be a young demon. Oh, dude, what? Oh, yeah, instant snipe. The way this area is set up is ridiculous. Like, you definitely need a bow or magic on this part to do it safely. Like, I could not see you running on foot hand-to-hand -hand combat and doing this very consistently without a lot of practice, so... That area is crazy just because the snipers, if they didn't have that, it would be a lot more doable, but because you just keep getting sniped, and it's a very quick status effects, that is a, that is a crazy way to make it super difficult. And it's like, and then it's still not too much too. Like I feel like the way they did the difficulty in this is very balanced. Because they're, they're not being obnoxious, it's just like enough to be needing to like focus a bit more, right? For someone that's played the game. Two dark rays at once. Can we do it? Oh, the poise.
Imagine invading on this mod and then like you get into someone's world and you can do bloodborne mechanics, but they can't. <laughs> you can use like vials, they're like, yo, this guy's cheating. <laughs> and then you can like parry vials too, that'd be hilarious. Doing a no damage run on this mod. It would it would be hard. You'd have to you'd have to do it very differently, so it'd be a different kind of run. The only problem I have with um, making content for modded runs and doing damage on them is that people don't really know like a lot of people don't know what this is, right? So even doing this normally. It's probably the best way to kind of get the idea across in content because then it gives people a reason, more more people a reason to watch it at least. But if you start doing complicated stuff on it, it's not recognized as anything particular because they don't understand the base materials. So there's not like a full understanding of why that's cool or what's being done there. Whereas if you've just played the game normally or you just understand the basics of how it works, that's different because then at least you have a contrast. With this, it'd be hard to draw a contrast between like what's already crazy because of just the mod itself versus what's crazy because of what I'm doing in the mod, um, uh, gameplay-wise. So, I know Gino's done a lot of, like, crazy stuff. I think he did Cinder's damage list. But just, like, there's not as, ma it's not as many people will appreciate that, though, so it's harder to make content for it, I think. But you can totally do it, though, if you wanted to. I think as, like, a personal challenge, it'd be pretty fun. Uh, did I kill the Irithal boss? I haven't yet. I'm going to go back to it after we get a bit stronger, though. <laughs> because I figured out that uh, with the best I could possibly do, I still have to take damage from the fire, and there's not enough heals I have where there's a, there's enough of a chance to get it, unless it's like I'm really lucky. Um, I'd have to be perfect and then take all the damage just from the flames on the floor in the second part, and even then it might not be enough. So that is the conclusion I came to. I think that was going to happen. Can't parry anymore, or did I, I screw that up? Probably. This looks a lot cooler. I was like, why can't I cast my spell? I think the backsteps don't work after a certain amount of time. Like you only have, you have a maximum amount of backsteps you can do on them. Something's going on there. Because uh, some of them didn't do damage, if you notice. Which is actually pretty good. That means... Uh, there. I think for every two of them, it does damage. But like the second one doesn't do damage, if I'm correct. In, in what I just saw there. Let's see. So I did one and it did damage. Oh, no, that, does, that did damage too. He's not healing, is he? Maybe he got... Oh, no, he is healing. That's why. Okay, my bad. So like most of the bosses that are harder definitely have regen. Maybe even all of them. I don't know. <laughs> it's like vampire souls. That did not do as much because I didn't have FP.
Uh, Zwaits, so thanks, man. I appreciate it, man. How's the mod similar? This mod is awesome, dude. I really like it. It's one of my favorites. How'd you manage to get to Irithyll without going through Farron Keep is, is some feature for the mod. Yeah, so you can go to uh, Cathedral, get the doll from Deacons, and then um, go right there. So, um, I think technically on a normal playthrough, you don't have to beat Abyss Watchers to go to... Uh, Oh, no, you do because of Walnir, right? So the reason, the way we got into Catacombs is just through a statue in, in Firelink. That's that's what happened. Is the scaling the same? Uh, they definitely changed certain things with scaling. I don't know if they changed everything or how much, the extent. There, there's certain things with, like, the numbers that are different, for sure. Like, the damage you take, damage you deal for certain things. Obviously, there's new weapons or redone weapons. Oh, the music is cool here. This is a really cool soundtrack. I didn't even think the original one could be beat. The original soundtrack for this is like one of the best ones. Crystal 2, what are those? Soul of the Blood Wolf and Cinders of a Lord. Okay. And then there's no bonfire here anymore. I'm assuming this doesn't open. Oh, it does. Okay, so then basically you can still go in here by killing Abyss Watchers if you want to, but you don't have to. That's interesting. Hmm. Well, yeah, they didn't really change much with that. Other than he just has the, the healing thing on him, so. It's pretty cool. Um, I think we should go back and try to get do Curse Water Great Wood as well, and then level a bit. And then if we level enough, I should be able to at least improve the situation on that other boss. That was crazy. <laughs> I still think it's screwing up, though, and I'm getting some sort of version of it that's, like, harder. Because the other dude wasn't uh, all buffed and, like, super quick and everything that loaded in that one time. You know, there's, like, two of them. I think... If the fight was the one that was like more powerful, only use the bow while you're fighting the the, uh, the main one, and they both have health taken from the same pool, there might be an easier way to do it. That's what I was thinking, but I don't know. <clears throat> did I get to Eldritch? Uh, I did not yet. No, I'm I'm on like where Pontiff would normally be. So poison resin is uh, is green now. It's kind of similar to uh, DS2. That's cool. Oh, and then we can buy human pine resin. So that that actually would be really good against Pontiff. I'm going to get those three. We'll save that for when it's uh, sketchy. And then... Yeah, the Hunter's Charms, I'm assuming because they're they're still in the shop, like you could actually use them on bosses, but I'm not sure though. I'm going to buy one and just see. Because I tried the Lloyd's one, it didn't work, the dual charm. That's special effects. This is Estus Recovery, so we'll see if that does anything. Uh, and then, I wonder if, uh, if we could throw enough, like, projectiles, maybe that would, that would help, like, Molotovs, like, throw a huge amount of them while we're in that fight, that'd be pretty cool, but I, he probably wouldn't take a lot of fire damage, so, I have nine, I can try that and see. 
Still haven't done tree jump yet. I haven't seen what's up there. Could try that too. Ashen one. Last day of the uh, the year with uh, with me, <laughs> Malibu. I appreciate you. Uh, you're spending some of it here. It wasn't neat. It's awesome, dude. Welcome. That's already plus three. Okay, let's uh, check out what's actually. Wait, wait. Let's get the Estus upgraded first, and then we'll check out what's on the roof. It wasn't neat. I still haven't infused this yet either. Don't think I have anything to infuse it with. Okay, so I have eight heals. And then we can make it uh, vial plus four, basically. Because I have the bone shard. No saw cleaver? I wish. That'd be really cool. I love the saw cleaver. Um, there might be a saw cleaver in this, because there's a lot of bloodborne weapons they just literally put in the game. Um, one thing we gotta keep checking though, if we beat extra bosses, is just to save the souls and not use them. And then I can transpose the weapons. And a lot of those weapons you transpose are actually Bloodborne weapons, or, or from different games. There's a... There's a crazy list here, I'll show you guys. If you haven't seen it yet, or if you just missed it before. Uh, so you have the Blue Blood Swords, that's Demon Souls, you got Ludwig's Holy Blade right there, I really want that one. Uh, you know, Qu Quaylex Fury Sword, DS2. Or DS1, sorry, Ice Rapier, DS2. Velka's Rapier, DS1. Uh, Headless. Headless's weapon, Apparition Katana. It's pretty cool. Elder Gru Tree. You can actually use the tree itself. You can use the Logarius Wheel. Um, but I'm wondering, though, if I can get this some other way. Because like I have a badge that actually has a wheel on it. So I'm wondering if I turn this in. I just remembered that right now. Oh, I must have turned them all in. Like I wonder what that gives you. Because the wheel is on the picture of it, so... I wonder. Skeleton Lord Crown, that's pretty cool too, nice. Yeah, you don't get a wheel in here though, but I can I can get this ring, I forgot about this ring. It's basically only good if my HP is full, but I'm gonna grab it anyways. Ashen one. one hour till the transition where you are, uh, for New Year's. Well, you are a time traveler, man. <laughs> How does it feel? Uh, other than Pontiff, were any other bosses changed? Uh, yeah, the first Gundir wasn't in the game. It was just a, like a spectral wolf. Uh, there was a... There's a couple differences on, on certain things that already were like kind of left the same in terms of the characters. Um, Vort, Vort actually so was pretty cool, like he, he had a lot of so the world more challenging situations many. on him. Good luck. But yeah, I think in terms of anything that's actually been straight up completely changed, the first boss and then Pontiff so far. Like where it's a different character model. Or something that's completely new altogether, right? Oh yeah, there's an Estus shard there too, so we can get nine. That's crazy. Uh... What happens if you trade Loretta's Bone? Oh, it gives you the call over, okay. Cool. And then I really should have gotten this right away. Should have got the Silver Serpent Ring, that would have been super smart. Don't know why we didn't start off with that. People are going crazy outside with fireworks, nice man. I, my, where I used to live, um, one of my neighbors, they had like a crazy, crazy, crazy um, huge setup for uh, fireworks where like, it seemed like it was professional or something, man. It was insane. They looked insane from the from where I could see them. Uh, also, Im 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 Zedin, or I'm Zeden. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. All right. One more shard on Andre, dude. This mod is so cool, dude. Honestly, like, <laughs> I know I keep saying play it. There's no, there's nothing. There's no reason that I'm excited about it other than just it's really fun. Obviously, there's nothing I gained from telling you to play it, but it's really worth trying if you like Bloodborne. I, for whatever reason, I had a heavy suspicion that it wouldn't be that good. Or it would be like, okay, but there'd just be like some very, very tiny things and that's it, but uh, it's, a, it's definitely worth trying. How many hours on DS3 do I have? Uh, probably close to 5,000 at this point, man. I played it for majority of the streams that we've done in general since the game came out, so. Um, like, I put, like, a full-time effort into it, so it's most hours I've had on a game. 
Um, also, I think the most hours I've had on a game divided between the most different, the largest amount of different topics too, like different things on it. So I've done PvP, I've done a lot of casual runs, I've done modded playthroughs, I've done speed runs and glitchless and non-glitchless, leveled, unleveled, and uh, things beyond that as well, tournaments, like everything. Okay, I'm gonna try 33 Vigor and see if that helps. Oh, actually, you know, the damage ideal might be smarter on this one. Because look how much that scales right there if I do strength. Yeah, this this weapon needs more strength. We're gonna do that. This is mod any fun. Smolder, this one, this one is like one of the most fun I've had. Uh most fun that I've I've had the time playing, um, just casually. And now we have to go to the tree. Which probably is pretty easy. I imagine this isn't too bad. So the world might be mended. Yo, Squilla, how's it going? Squelch, it's going pretty good, man. We're trying to see if we can finish this today, man. Thank you for the, the one year. How are you doing? Dinner is served. Anyone ever had cheese on a biscuit? What is that? I don't even know if I said that right. <laughs> ah, Slim Goody, how are you doing? Welcome back. What it is, it is what. Oh, also Thickness, thank you so much for the brand new sub as well. I hope you enjoy your modes. Welcome. Happy end of 2021. This has such a crazy... Like, you could make a trailer for the game based on this. Like, just have, like, the, the free camera panning through this area. It's like... Yes, indeed. It is called Tree Balls. A land of the forgotten and cursed where the trees grow giant ball sacks. And only one hero can save them. With the power of cheating. Using movesets never seen before in Dark Souls 3. We are tasked with using cheat codes to win. Oh, it has the uh, Amelia soundtrack, nice. So this is my favorite, favorite boss soundtrack. When Curse Rotted Great Wood is too easy, that even playing it on a modded playthrough is still easy. <laughs> they didn't buff Great Wood? Oh, they probably buffed Great Wood. Oh shit, they did, they're slugs. Okay. It's a smart idea for the second part. So yeah, this is definitely harder. This this song really suits this fight though, it's pretty cool. Yeah, poison's also really strong. Like all the status effects in this are strong. That elbow shot. Again, you also have to think, this mod's not as ambitious as some of the crazy ones, where it's like multiple, you know, a team of people has worked on it for like years or anything. At least as far as I know. One thing I'll say for DS3, I think it's the best looking mod. I think it has the best uh, visuals. Okay, we have the Hunter's Mark, Transposing Kiln, Borgod, Wooden Shield. Stream your first Elden Ring playthrough? I will, yeah. For sure, man. Favorite mod I played for DS3? Convergence 2.1 was still my favorite, I think. Because that was just wild, man. That's like a different game, basically. Um, also, I've, I've kind of followed the timeline of it, watching people play it a little bit before I tried it, and then playing the... the I think it was the version uh, 1. something, and then I tried the 2.1, or the 2.0. I think it was the 2.0, not the 2.1. And yeah, it was it was amazing. I'm new to the stream. What kind of content do you usually put out? Uh, test. Thank you for the 11 months. You're not new. What are you talking about, man? You've been here for a while. Um, I basically just killed trees with giant nuts, like I just did there. <laughs> That's the content. Opening the gin, let's see how freaky this mod looks when tipsy. Oh man, Malibu, be careful, dude. Have fun. <laughs> ah, well met. 
Passion One. Even Firelink looks better. Someone, I think someone said that, uh, and I didn't really fully like address how good Firelink looks on this. And even from outside too, if you guys haven't actually seen like when you approach it, if you missed yesterday, check this out. Look how crazy this is. Oh, it's different now. Oh wait, no, it's not. Okay, there we go. See, look at look at how crazy that is. Look at the moon too. That's so cool. Hamburger meat mixed with uh, gravy biscuits and an old army meal your granddad used to make. Oh, that sounds pretty good, man. I hope you enjoy it. Place is so badass. Yeah, it looks amazing, dude. I can't even... Uh, I can't say anything bad about the visuals on this. It just has the best visuals I've seen. Uh, and it's not even supposed to be for that sake alone. It's not like only for the reason of it looking better. It's also the gameplay. All right, let's go to... Should we try Ponta or the Dragon Rider again? I'm trying to think of what else there is. Um, could try Old Demon King again and see if that's better this time. Might as well go there and see. And then from there, what else is there? There's a uh, Wyvern, Nameless. Uh, oh, we, we have Osiris too. And oh, we haven't done Dancer. We never did Dancer, dude. I just realized that. Could have done dancer the whole time. I didn't even level yet either, apparently. What? Oh, because we did the other boss. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to level a bit more before I do that. Wonder how Frida will be. I'm very curious about the DLC. That'll be interesting. Yeah, like I noticed a lot of things that are basic give you way more echoes or souls or whatever you want to call it in this. And, uh,. There's got to be a reason for that. It's probably because it's fairly grindy, right? Because I guess think of all the levels I put in now. I was even trying to explain. I was like level 60 plus at Pontiff in a regular playthrough. Being level 60 plus at Pontiff is pretty good. Is it not? Like that? That would be a normal playthrough in my opinion. So that wouldn't really be under leveled if you had quite a bit of stats put into good stuff. Okay, I went to the wrong place. Uh. Demon Ruins. Where is it? There we go. Looks so freaky and really sharp for some reason. Yeah, exactly. They did a they did a great job. Also, thickness. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. That's that's super nice of you. Um, I am on the couch at home as an adult. I discovered the joy of drinking at home. It's great. You sleep and you just start your day. No hangover. That sounds like uh, you've figured out the cheat code, man. Don't tell anybody that uh, owns like an establishment that sells alcohol that, because they'll 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 start to they'll start going out of business. People won't go there anymore. Oh yeah, I can try my magic. And think about that. Okay, that still happens. We can kill him, guys. We caught, we got him. Nice. He was impossible to kill before. That's cool.
uh, so wait, there's some pretty awesome stuff towards the end game. You won't spoil anything, but you think as a gamer you'd appreciate it for for this particular uh, this mod, dude. So you played this one? Uh, what about the boss from yesterday, though? Oh, we're gonna go back there right now. Actually, I'm just gonna level up a little bit more and see if it's possible. Because if we if we just have a bit more damage, even it would, it would make a big difference. I just can't survive too long in the second part. Uh, you can still heal by attacking right after taking damage. Yeah, there is. A, I'm pretty sure they put the rally mechanic in this, but the uh, time frame you have is really tight for it. So I haven't really been able to do it much, but I think it's in here because it shows the um, the delayed decrease. The kind of same kind of way. It's like orange. Two, two, one. Okay, the damage is going down a little bit. I'm gonna start to put some more into... Does my endurance ever really run out on this one? I don't think it does. Not really. Um, well, we can also use a Blossom too, and the great Grass Crest would be better, so I'm gonna do that and then just put Vigor in. Put Vigor up more. But I can't transpose any of this stuff though, apparently. Like, it's not giving me the option to. So, the way that you get these transposition weapons, it's not from boss souls. It's from uh, other stuff lost souls and divine fragments. Apparently, this is available now, the chaos fragment one. Oh, no, wait. It's because I have the souls for it. My bad. Yeah, we don't have any of the requirements for any of these though. I, th I think I sold some of the lost ones by accident. So I guess then that these don't matter as much, unless there's another thing you can do. But yeah, so we should go in there. I think I'm going to try to throw firebombs and just see how much damage they do. The second part, I got to throw that charm as well and see how good that is. See if it works. And then I should probably change the resistance ring, because that, that's only poison, bleed, curse, and frost. That has nothing to do with fire, so I should probably switch that for the defense ring. Uh, and that should be good enough. Alright, <laughs> good luck to myself. Let's see. <laughs> Got Bloodborne on PC. Pretty much, if you want to play it on PC, this is the closest thing you can do. Next to um, using PlayStation Now. Sold a handful, if you recall. Yeah, I think I sold more than what would be required to actually, or maybe the exact same amount you need, the three of them. So I remember having multiple. Um, oh, so yeah, hopefully we find more of those. I'm assuming you get them from killing more of the special enemies. So maybe in Irithyll, or after Irithyll in um, Anor Orlando, I can get one from one of those uh, spider dudes. Most drastic boss change, this one right here is the craziest, man. This thing is insane. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. So yeah, here, I'm going to just start off trying to throw this and see if it works. See if he stops healing. No, he still heals. Hunter's Charm does not work. Okay, we know that now. I'm gonna restart that attempt as well, actually. So you need a lot of heals for this one. You met, you went from Sekiro to this mod and has a PlayStation. It has PlayStation icons using Xbox controllers, so you wasted all your heals trying to pick up items. You feel silly. <laughs> yeah, I, I actually did that when I when Bloodborne first came out. I actually was trying to two-hand the weapon from playing. Uh, the older game so much that I actually wasted a lot of vials too. I think that a lot of people wasted a lot of vials. <laughs> um, is Bloodborne through PS Now even viable? I, I think the latency is, is decent on it. Like, you, you get enough latency where you will be delayed. Um, so I wouldn't say it's like, you're not going to play as good as if you played the actual game, but it's something that you can use to try it. And some people actually like playing it on there as far as I know. But I'd imagine majority would be like a little bit picky in terms of they'd want to actually just play the real game, right? With, uh, with no delay. Okay, how much damage does a Molotov do? Let's see. That's like nothing, okay? That's not gonna be that worth it.
attack there. That was silly. I think I'm gonna try to redo this attempt. This one's a little bit bad. Isn't the Gundir's move set? I don't I don't know about that. The jump might be. Uh Chaga, what's up? How's it going, man? Uh maybe use a distract as a distraction. Wouldn't magic help a lot? Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't. I, I can kind of show you if you want, but we we, we, t we tested a lot of stuff yesterday. It, the magic is just not enough damage, and he can block pretty much all of it. And then even when he gets shield broken, if I attack him, he can attack me immediately right after that. So, uh, not trying to parry Zeus and be tried. Yeah, I can parry him and stuff like that, but it's not a huge advantage because of the mix-ups. So, you're basically just... Um, you have to be perfect, and if you're not, then you're already behind where you were if you didn't parry. So, as soon as you make a mistake parrying, you, you get set back a crazy amount for how punishing it can be, right? Mainly just because he does a shit ton of damage and your heals don't heal your health fully. They only heal like a really small amount. It's actually better to just play worse overall and not parry versus parrying like perfectly except for making one mistake in most cases. It's funny how that like still hits, but it doesn't actually stagger. Okay, we'll redo this one as well. Millwood Knight. It might be the Millwood Knight who said it. It's very possible. DS1 nerd move set with the axe. DS1 nerd move set. Also, Viswa, dude, uh, can, um, congratulations for getting into GDQ, by the way, and I hope that you uh, have the best of luck today. Because I think you're playing at seven, right? So in like two and a half hours. Supposed to make this dude fall off? Not this time. No, it's this is his revenge uh, from from you making him fall off so many times. So we're gonna actually try human resin. Oh, actually, we have poison now too, so we'll try poison. And if poison works, that's that's good. Gives some sort of new information here. Gonna get bodied by last giant. <laughs> I hope I hope not. I have faith that you can do it, dude. That's cool that you chose DS2 for it, though. I'm assuming they didn't want DS3. Or uh, did you just not think of trying that? Oh, no, it's still, still purple. So the buff looks green, but it's still purple. I thought it might actually change colors. cast Oh, he's being poisoned, dude. Poison works. Ooh, nice. Just took a while to get there. 
probably wouldn't really mean anything without actually playing good still, but definitely uh, helps a bit. I don't even know where else we can get poison from up in that one area. We got it from already. How fast he recovers from the parry? Yeah, he recovers super fast from the parry, man. Like, even for being staggered, he recovers fast without even having the repost or anything. That's that. Oh, man. Pro tip for anyone that wants to uh, be stubborn. Uh, you can go and get poison from Farron first. But you have to know what you're doing. So I would, you'd probably still need quite a bit of practice. It would be wasted if you didn't know what you're doing. But if you know what you're doing and you get poisoned, that's probably the only way I know to theoretically kill that guy. As, as silly as that sounds, I don't think there's any other way to do it on a, a somewhat consistent basis. Because like you see how much damage I still took even though I wasn't even being hit by a lot of the attacks, right? It's, it's a little scary. What's going on down here? Oh, it's too many. Oh, the Silver Knights are up on that ledge. Oh my god. That's crazy. I'm getting out of here. Too many. Oh my god, dude. This is like a war zone. Why is this mod so red? Uh, this area it, it just has like this kind of lighting right now. Because it's kind of like in a sunset of some sort. You can change it though. I can go back to a statue and... Oh, wow. As I was saying, you can go to a statue and change the lighting by praying at it if you want to. Which we did. We changed it to the sun, so... Damn, man. <laughs> Casually impaled by some spears yet. <laughs> Oh man, nothing personal. That's that's all I can say. Oh, here we go. We got crystal lizards over here. Dude, that is so good. I just remembered we need Twinkling Titanite. That is, I think that's actually the amount we need to. Maybe. I'm pretty sure it is. That's very good. How much do we have total now? Five. Yeah, I think we needed five, didn't we? Uh, if you summon, it puts a second one in the area. It's dusk. Okay. That was you at the end of this mod. You beat it, but at what cost? Your sanity's wades. I'm, dude. Congratulations for beating this. That's impressive, man. This is definitely no regular playthrough. Colmer emotes, dude. I miss Colmer, man. It's been a long time. Hope he's doing okay. Dude, there's just too many things over here. It's, it's happening. I 
feel like just grabbing this is gonna get me knocked right out. Wait, I'm curious though. What if they were to forget? I just wanted to share my ice cream with everybody. But it's melting and the sun's going down. Ah, uh, time to pack it up. <laughs> Grandpa's back in. Free candies. Got asked for DS2. You know the guy that hosts this segment? He said maybe one day you could come back for DS3. Okay, I see. That's pretty cool, man. Well, I hope you, uh, I hope you have a fun time. Sounds awesome. Uh, what bosses have been added extra so far? You missed the past few streams. Uh, so it's not really like there's extra stuff per se. They've just they've changed some of the things around a little bit. So I think Gundir. I haven't seen Gundir yet, and I haven't seen Pontiff yet. Pontiff is gone. Oh, there's a bonfire in here. That's actually really cool because that's uh, very similar to DS1. I'm pretty sure DS1 has a bonfire you when you Daddy visit yes, the tomb, I've been right? Watching your no -hit Soulsborne video, and they are pretty cool. Uh, Guitar Man, thank you, man. I appreciate that. Um, I'm glad you've been enjoying them. Thank you for the bits, by the way. Sunset aesthetic on this part is actually epic. Yeah, that's why I chose it, because I can show you once I go back to the statue. For anyone that didn't see yesterday, you can change every... I'm pretty sure it would affect this entire area, too. But, um, yeah, you just select out a statue if you want uh, Moonlight or the Sunlight on this. But I was thinking, it's already technically like the Moonlight by default, so I don't know if it changes too, too much. It might just be, like, a similar thing that you normally get. But this is very different, though. This is very, like, DS1 to me. Maybe even a bit better, too, the way they did the lighting. Oh, the crash is happening. We just got to crash again. Second crash we've had playing. Luckily, nothing worse than that. No, nothing buggy other than the crashes and that one Dragon Rider thing. But got to open it again. Damn. It sucks. Crashes with mods happen. They do. They definitely do. Some of them, they don't, though. Um, sometimes that never happens. I'm assuming because it's loading a lot of stuff at the same time. My dashboard is running away from me. I need it. There we go. Okay. Cool. You also get a cool um, intro screen here, too. Yeah, the menu is really cool, the way that they did it. I, I wonder if their storyline is trying to tie in the painting being relevant, and that's part of how they explain this collaboration of the two games, like with uh, the NPC that did the painting bridging the worlds of some sort. Since that's the theory anyway, so I wonder if they're using that for the backstory of how they're writing this, or if there even is a backstory. Pontiff's soul looks pretty cool in this, too. Uh, Cinders is the one with a lot of weapons. Yes. There is quite a bit of weapons in Cinders. Actually, so far in this, though, there's quite a few weapons, too, because I'm pretty sure it has a lot of the base weapons, if not all of them, and then... Just a bunch of extra stuff. Convergence has a ton too, but more spells, yeah. I feel like Convergence eventually though, even though it was based around magic- Oh shit. Okay, wait, I gotta focus. Even though it was based around magic, I think that they can expand it to be better uh, with hand-to-hand -hand combat as well as melee. Do a lot of things. Oh, there's a gargoyle over here. What?
Okay, wait, we'll try the magic on the gargoyle. Just cast a bunch of these. Beautiful. That thing's really just good for like a beat down. It's kind of like a stagger. What is this guy doing? Oh, man. Oh, yeah, we can parry these dudes too, but like it's uh, no repost, right? So the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. Squills. <laughs> Their attacks are too slow for me to... My brain to process, oh no. And then of course he throws the one in that's like kinda... Dude, no, no way. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever, man. Giant's coal. Let's try to get the door open, at least the shortcut. Oh, of course there's another one. Oh, but I, 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 I got into the other side. Nice. Uh, Kai, thank you for the two months. Welcome back. How's it going? Um, Carlo, how are you doing, man? Good to see you again. Killer, I'm doing pretty good. How are you? Get wrecked. Not even not even regular wrecked. You get wrecked. Wrecked. Reckoned. Reckoning. Kingdoms of Amalur wrecked. I'm just saying random stuff now. Oh yeah, there's a uh, shard over here too. What? Oh, who's that? Pontiff. That's scary. I don't feel good about the fact there's no bonfire here either. That's really, that's really sketchy. That's like very DS1. I'm not even going to deal with this right now. That's going to be a revisited situation there. God, dude. I need an ember right now, or I'm gonna die. Yep, there you go. Yeah. Uh, I've been trying to install this mod, you're having trouble with it. How do you do it? Is there a video? No, there's no video. You just um, take a, the download file, you 7-zip it or extract it. Once you have the extracted file folder, you click on the actual mod, the, the, the folder that has the mod name on it, and then you go into the uh, folder where it'll have like event um, map like all those different like big folders and then it'll have some of the DLL the application extension files so when you've opened it and it has everything listed inside of the unzipped folder then you take that contents you copy and paste it into the game directory uh, and then you're good and it just works so it's like the easiest possible thing you can do um, there, there usually is no easier way to install mods than that. That's like the, the most basic. You just have to make sure you haven't dropped the folder into the game directory, but the contents of the actual folder itself, where it has the other folders, and then some of just the application extension files. And yeah, don't delete System32, don't Alt F4. That's probably not good. <laughs> To, to me, a Pontifo. <laughs> Pontificus the Pontifico. Oh my god. It's another gargoyle. Oh yeah, I guess gargoyle response. Interesting. What's going on here, though? Can I parry Pontiff? I want to. I can. Whoa! Ooh. What's going on here? dead. Traps. Fired. Traps. Dead. <laughs> I have nothing else to say other than laughing there. That was too much. <laughs> have a nice sarcastic fake laugh there. Stupid game. Pontiff hit sounds like uh, kicking an empty oil barrel. <laughs> yeah, that would not be the best place to fight Pontiff if you were going to. Oh boy, I wonder if you can actually go through... Uh, like a secret thing in here if there's like an invisible oh is that is that normally a thing in the game that's not that's not a thing in the game normally is it 
Oh, it is. Okay, I didn't know that. My bad. <laughs> You can't, okay, now if you tell me that's a normal thing in the game, I'm going to tell you you're silly. Ooh, that's pretty cool, dude. Forgotten Storm King. So he, he's got Pontus moveset. That's actually, you know, that's fitting, dude. I like that. Is that how he, like, what? Okay, I think I guess we're doing this before the other part. Oh shit! Again, Pontiff move set. And that actually goes the full distance too. That's a really smart idea of how to use that. How many times can you parry a pontiff before a pontiff can parry himself? This mod's pretty cool, man. That's pretty cool. That's, is that Storm King a lot? Pretty much, yeah. Snap seeds to help with Pontiff clone next time. They have snap seeds in this? I didn't even know that. That's like a spoiler. Damn. Well, we lost our souls we were trying to get. Uh, I'm going to go back and get another heal, actually. Let's do that. That recovery speed. Yeah, he doesn't actually have a, a... Like, I can't do a repost on him. Can't do a critical attack on him. Gonna be under Master on today, Legamer? No, not today, man. Doing this, and then we're doing some uh, some Gran Turismo to finish. Let's Whenever this is done, I'll, I'll so probably be doing be another Master Run attempt. So the world might be okay. Dang, it's been almost a year. I think we we might just have enough time to like finish this, if even finish it today. We'll see. I'm not sure how big the the mod is in total. So I guess like if we're assuming it's the same size as the regular game, I think we've gotten gotten about half of the stuff done probably. Um, but then some of it's quicker than other parts, and we just took out like a lot of things today at once, right? Gran Turismo, yeah, we have uh, we have two more sponsored streams of Gran Turismo, um, one today and then another one on January fifth, I believe, and then that's that's it for those. I'll probably still do them once in a while because I'm definitely going to be playing the seventh game, but um, yeah, we have two more sponsored ones. Dark Moon Two. Keep a parry count during the fight. Oh, I, I bet you to like kill him just from parries, it would take the same amount of hits it would take to hit him because you can only hit him once. <laughs> So, whatever amount of damage I do, times several dozens to end his health bar. Got a Sylvia on GT. Um, I don't actually know. I don't know if they actually have the uh, the Sylvia in there. I would imagine they, they would, but I haven't seen one, though. Oh, wait, you get the Firekeeper stuff. Cool. Or not, yeah, the Brass Fire Keeper, sorry, my bad. I don't know, I don't know how to deal with that one. That one seems a little funny to me. I don't, I don't know how, how you dodge that. 
That might have to be balanced a bit. I don't know. Seems a little crazy. Might have to come back. Okay, there we go. No, it's, oh, dude, it comes around a, a third time? Is there three times that that happens after he's... What? He's got, like, the phase two moveset, too. It's not even, like, phase one pontiff. As far as I can see. I'm gonna have to heal with the number two. Nice. <laughs> I got my ember. Wait, I wonder if magic is good. Let me try Because he has no shield, so... Could be smarter in that case. I don't know if the third time it does damage, but that's just wild, dude. Come on. Mighty Morphin, what's up? How's it going, man? Damn, dude. That's a, that's a crazy fight. He's, he's tanky. How do you even dodge most of these attacks? Just by paying attention, man. <laughs> yeah, the character model looks pretty good, too, actually. That, dude, honestly, that is the best use of such ideas that I've seen. I think that's a better way of doing that fight. Because in D in Demon Souls, he's kind of he's kind of silly, you know? Gets invisible in Phase 2. Why are you spoiling the game? That's definitely not true. You're making that up. Fool me. 100% making that up. I, will, I, will, I refuse to believe you. That that actually is the case. Okay, wait. We're going to try this one more time, though. We're going to do it again. But this time I have a better idea. I'm going to use the magic, and then I'm going to buff the weapon and just smack the shit out of him. And if I poison him, maybe that would also be good, too. Going to try Dark Resin, see if that's good. And then take off this, use some magic immediately. This gets knocked back very far there. Yeah, he just, like, we just don't do a lot of damage to this guy. <laughs> Summons Harry Potter in phase two, you think so? Can you play this mod with friends? I don't believe you can, though. I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend trying that, because you can get banned if you play mods online like this, right? So that's mainly just offline stuff. All right, we're going back this way. Let's see what's over here. Oh, man. Grows two more arms and uses Dark Moon Blade Cell Swords. <laughs> that's hilarious, dude. He asks you if you want a cup of tea in phase two and then decides to just talk to you. <laughs> Nameless King's Dragon. These are some good theories. I'm just going to guess that it's just way harder and he still has a lot of uh, defense.
I need to know what's behind this fog gate. Is it still Aldrich? It must be. I feel like they'd, they'd leave it as Aldrich. Dude, if, if Ornstein and Smower in this mod, I'm gonna cry, dude. I'm gonna, like, walk away. Honestly. Okay, it's still Aldrich. Oh, but he's invisible? Invisible at a distance. Good choice of music, we got the, um, the Ebrietta soundtrack. healing. Oh, he do be healing, dude. And then is Pontiff? Dude, Pontiff's trying to get in the fight. He's at the fight gate. What the hell's going on there? Oh, no. Frenzy. Cursed. Dude, he just has instant curse? What is this? I think something that I uh, that hit me actually cursed me. <laughs> Damn, dude, this is crazy. Whoa! What? He is in the fight. He is stuck in the fight. Okay, well, we can kill him over here. Are we glitching out a bit there? Something seems a bit glitchy. Just saying. was weird he was kind of glitching out a little bit in this area all right 35,000 that didn't give me anything though no item what if that changes something else in the game like if you've killed him and then like maybe it affects some other part something special happened when two-handing you can use the like this weapon art that is on this weapon um i think it's only possible with the two-handing but it gives you the uh, mortal draw from sekiro it's pretty cool This is a mod pack or individual separate mods packed together. No, it's just one, it's just one, uh, one mod. Uh, if you want to have the link again, it's always under the command mod whenever we're playing them. Uh, Revert, I appreciate that. Thanks, man. I need to get a haircut soon, dude. Or not get one, but give myself one. Should have done that yesterday. Sun Princess Ring. I don't see no princess. That's a huge cushion, though. That would that would probably kill you if it hit you, and you're like the player size. Is this new? It's relatively new. I think it's been out for a little bit, but it's it's newer than a lot of the other mods that are out. So, 
That is what I know. But yeah, I can't I can't remember the exact date they created it. I heard about it probably a month ago. Uh you can't fall through here. Hmm. So in terms of progression, I guess at this point, uh, all we can do is go. We we got to kill dancer still, so we got to go back there and do that. You have a friend who cuts his own hair too. It's pretty cool. I mean, I don't have like any styles really. It's very basic, so it's very easy to do. It saves uh, two hundred dollars a year roughly. So. Oh boy. All right. <laughs> Oh, I can get eight, or sorry, four more damage if I level up strength now. That's interesting. Farewell, Ashen One. Uh, Jaska, thank you for gifting three subs, man, to Sandy, uh, Slavs, and Laser Star. I appreciate that. Hope you guys enjoy your melts. Welcome. Hope everyone enjoys their 2022. That's funny. Part two, 2020. Okay, we turned in the Estus. We have yeah, we have the ten vials still. That's good. Um, let's try to kill Dancer. I've never done that on this yet. But there was something interesting I noticed, though, when we went into the room, so... You might notice as well. Did I beat Age Dragon Slayer? I did. And then I beat Aldrich, and then there's another boss that's ridiculous. <laughs> that we have not beaten yet, so... I'm gonna save him till the very end, if we need to. We're, we're gonna try to beat everything based on how well we can do it at the moment. Instead of just brute forcing it like I did last time. But I think I think that a lot of the work we put in trying to figure out that fight made it really quick to win once we got the poison. Just I don't think I would have uh, been able to save the poison and actually win with it if I used it earlier. It was a very good idea, but it was something that required a little bit of the uh, knowledge on the fight. So yeah, this is pretty cool. Today starts 30 or 15 days to flatten the curve. Uh, well, did you know that if you knew that today and yesterday, but not tomorrow, that you didn't know in the past of when you thought you did know as far as it may do look more like so how, and therefore it wasn't, but it actually was at the same time. <laughs> what, is this not the calling of you? What on earth? <laughs> Lord, it must be. My dear. You have a nosebleed after that? I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyone ever gone so far as to even need to do more like? Yes. Uh oh. Oh, already. Okay, so that's sped up a little bit. All right, so I guess the person that made this didn't think Dancer was uh, needing too much of an upgrade there. Something is going to happen in stage two that shouldn't, you can just tell. No, it was normal. There was just a little bit of changes on the speed of the explosion, I noticed, that one attack. But what happens if like we beat it and then we go back here? Does this do anything? You need a possessed eye. Okay, so there is probably a harder Dancer then, maybe. That could definitely be a way to do it. So if I get an item, come back to the 
the um, the soul I can try to resurrect her or something like that. Possessed was spelled wrong. There is some spelling mistakes in this mod, I will say that, but honestly, it's so good that I hope, I hope there's more spelling mistakes because there's got to be something wrong with it because there's nothing else wrong with it. <laughs> we have to have something to complain about. That's like a, that's like a, a tame thing to complain about, so. <laughs> but I think the person that made it, it might have not been their first language, so I totally understand that. I think they did a great job regardless. They could have like done all the dialogue incorrect and it still would have been fun, so. But I think it's fine though, I understand it. All right, 95. Yeah, we got some crazy scaling happening now for the weapon, so I'm just gonna take all the damage we can get on that and then use the Twinkling Titanite that we should have. I'm gonna save all those extra souls just in case we uh, find a reason to use them for something else, maybe. Oh, I need eight Twinklings, that sucks. I shouldn't have wasted them on uh, that other weapon I was upgrading before. Or no, I wait. I use regular Titanite Shards on that cart. This Curved Grey Sword. Let's try to... Let's level this up too, actually. I'm not going to waste the chunks yet because I can buy large Titanite still, so I don't need to worry. Uh, about that, but I do need to worry about chunks, so I'm gonna save those, and then we're gonna compare the damage on this. Has the bleed on it? Bleed might be really good. If bleed works on this mod, then, and I'm imagining it would, because the name of the the mod is, or the whole point of it's kind of like Bloodborne stuff, right? So, yeah, it'd be cool to um to be able to actually use the bleed. So maybe that with a bleed buff would be insane. Um, okay, should we check out what's after Dancer or should we go back to uh, something else? I'm trying to think. Hmm. Did Guava come to visit me? Uh, like in the stream? Like has he been in the stream today? Is that what you're asking? Uh, Spark, I'm doing pretty good, man. How are you? Welcome back. I played Hades. I haven't played Hades, no. I, I watched a bit of it and it, it just didn't pique my interest as much with the style of it, but I think it's a cool idea. This mod is absolute garbage. Fix the spelling. Oh no. Well, I'll definitely be able to mention if I talk to the person that made it. That was my only my only reservation is just like there's a few things that I'm sure they'll figure out that they need to change with spelling, but. That is a very tiny thing to have as a problem in this. Yeah, even this room right here looks insane. That was fun. Show Doggo on stream. She would not want to stay on camera or anything like that. She's very anxious and erratic. <laughs> if I if I could, I would, but it wouldn't it wouldn't work, man. Um, Tempire, thank you for the three months. Welcome back. Uh oh. 
dude. Okay, I'm just gonna get beaten down like the last time on this one, aren't I? Oh, maybe not. Oh, you can repost the Cathedral Knight. That's cool. Well, I guess maybe that makes sense because you can backstab. Oh, but this guy's healing them, of course. Yep, of course. Of course. Of course. Oh my god. No. What a blood saying. Yeah, the blood effects are definitely increased on this. That's one of the first things it says in the description. Okay, at least we got this so I can die if I need to. Interrupted. Cathedral Knight Great Shield. Get wrecked, dude. You're good at this. Thank you. Thank you for making fun of me. Only to be let down with the fact I survived, fool me. <laughs> Imagine saying something cheeky, but then the person wins still. Oh, you can double. You can actually do more critical damage if you two hand before the, the visceral too. So it does get changed by certain things. Dude, stability please. I think he's old Dragon Slayer, like that guy that was cheating. Whoa. Large Titanite, cool. Uh, what is this mod? It is the Hollow Overhaul, that's what it's called. Basically what it does is it makes the DS3 more like Bloodborne. And then it also incorporates some other things too, there's some other... Uh, references items from other games like ds1 ds2 uh demon souls even there's there's a boss from demon souls in this that is done way better <laughs> much more exciting than in that game I don't kick people enough in this game. We should do like a run where I kick everything first before I kill it. So hey, what's up? Ooh. Boom, see ya. What's going on? Oh, a kicking does damage too. Dude, so you could do this run kick only if you wanted to. Because kicks actually do damage in this. I forgot about that. Are we going to actually do the first kick only run? Kick only? Yeah, that'd be amazing, dude. That might actually have to be a thing. It could be very difficult, though. Okay, because there's more Titanite chunks over here. I'm going to actually try to grab these ones. Let's do that. Oh, not on that part. Right here, I think there's two, right? Yes. I think there was, there's also, there was one down here I missed. Gotta grab that two chunks, nice. Well, that didn't work too well. Excited for the end game on this one. It's actually good damage. What in the world? Yeah, it's pretty good damage, yeah. Is the end of this really hard, Zwades? Because I think you, you said you completed this. I think you're the only person that said in chat you completed it. The messy run. We'd have to kick with our left foot then, wouldn't we? It's not the right foot, man. Imposter. 
Pursuer? That kind of looks like one of the knights from Demon Souls, like just the Red Eye Knight. Same armor set. Wolfring too, that'd be really good. I could use that right about now. It's, it's pretty awesome. Well, it doesn't matter if you're dead though, so probably should just not do that. Nice. 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 Can't see anything. Nice. Can you rewrite the files in your stream Steam game or how does it work? Are you talking about for the like modding the game? If only you just add the files to the directory and then it just mods it. Just loads the game like this. Vials uh, really don't heal a lot, but you guess they heal faster. They do heal faster, yeah. But the big disadvantage is like even, uh, so I have plus five on the Estus, or sorry, plus four, my bad. So he's four bone shards. And normally that'd be healing you quite a lot, but it doesn't do much on this. Probably be screwed if I go there. Hey, yeah, you can still do the armor thing, that's pretty cool. Still can't heal either. I wonder if while this is active, I can use a different type of heal. I actually don't have any, never mind. Because <laughs> there's like a thing, there's a blossom or like a root that you can eat and then it regens over time. Did I beat the boss in place of Pontiff, the uh, Age Dragon Slayer? I did, yeah. To show oh, Twinkling Titan, I hear you. Definitely need that. Not hard, but rad. There's a boss that's a headache, but only because of the arena. Oh, I see. Okay. Did you did you end up finding the one that I found? The uh, false, the st old Storm King one? Demon Souls dude? I feel like some people wouldn't find that. Oh, there's more Twinkling. Okay, we actually need that. That's good. Lingering Dragon Crest 2, nice. That would probably extends length of spell effects, so that actually could be used. I can totally use that. Not really sure about this enemy over here, but we'll try to kill him. Can you parry him? Can, nice. It's a bit better. He's got a crazy amount of health. Unbelievable amounts of health. He's doing some weird stuff too. He's got like Havel DS1 early game amounts of health here. Oh, you can chain though. I wonder if I can, if I can keep chaining. It's the first time I think I've done that in this game. Ember, 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 Ember. Uh.
Of course that misses. But I can use this. Should use those to bait the uh, damage before. Oh, this is dangerous now. I was gonna say I need that parry, dude. Oh my god. Of course, man. How excited am I for Elden Ring? I'm pretty excited for it, man. DS3 edition for a game journalist? It must be. It must be, dude. Uh, Moody, uh, Happy New Year as well. Welcome back. Boulder Knight? Uh, it, I think it's the Knights from Demon Souls, like the ones that have the red eyes. Ever think of doing Cuphead hit lists? Uh, EJ, I've never thought of that, no. Um, but there is a person that does that kind of stuff. He's actually trying to do the first ever damage list with two people. Co-op run. Uh, he's already gotten like a lot of the world records on it before for other stuff. Uh, Sublime. Search up Sublime. Or if one of the moderators can give a shout out to Sublime, he is the person to watch for that kind of stuff. Probably the best Cuphead player there is. Is that not Pursuer? It looks similar, but I'm pretty sure it's just one of the knights from Demon Souls. With some extra attacks. Ooh. Can fire be survived? Maybe. Maybe not. Armor is called Voluntary Knight. Uh, it might be. I, have, I actually haven't seen the armor um, personally. Like, I don't think I have it right now. Sublime's trying to do co-op damage list at the moment. Yeah, he's actually he's working on that right now. Um. Yeah, no worries, no worries, dude. Yeah, that's a good, it's a good suggestion if you like Cuphead. Um. I think for me, like, I'd be more into, like, maybe speedrunning it or something, but for damage loss, it would just be taking some of the things away, away from the game that I find fun. I don't know if it would be as fun as doing, like, a speedrun. Or even just, um, like, using certain weapons on. Oh, boy. Can I get up here without this breaking? Nice. Who be that? Is that Tower Knight? Yeah, it's Tower Knight. Oh, what? Oh, it's Penetrate. Whew, okay. Uh, definitely don't go in that corner when people are having their meeting there. <laughs> That's a good, good suggestion to take. Jeez, that was crazy. That was rough. That was pretty bad. I don't know if I'm going to go back over there right now. <laughs> I might want to try to make it to the next part safely. I think if it was one of them, it'd be completely fine. But like, it's very hard to take on like three of those dudes at once. And the one doesn't even have a shield either. Dude, I really want to beat this guy, though. I just can't. Like, there's You have to clear out so many enemies just to be able to fight him. punching cocktails in this one um i that is one thing uh, that isn't it, they're still regular skulls they do work but i'm not sure what they work on in total like i'm not sure all the stuff they work on uh arctic it's going pretty good how are you man yeah, and all this stuff responds too so i beat him and he responds i don't know if that's how it normally works it might
seems fun for the enemies. It does seem fun for the enemies, yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. For Mortal Shell and Shrine of Ash. I guess so, yeah. That game was kind of scary at times. Ooh, wow, okay. Titanite like chunk, you dropped two chunks, that's cool. Nice. I think there's still a mimic in here too. This one's oh wait, is it gone? Poison bite ring one, that would be really good. Take that. There's the mimic. There's the crawly mimic, I think. I hate the crawly mimic. Titanite scale 4. I wish I could use the Titanite scales for something. If I had a transposed weapon, it'd probably be pretty good damage by now. Okay, that opened up the front part. That's good. Just in case. I don't know if I can even make it across that bridge. Kazubi, yeah, when it's done, I will, yeah. Who be that? Oh, is that, is that Duran? Oh my god, Duran's in this? He's just punching me? Why is he just punching? What the hell is that? Whoa. Dude, this guy's gonna have a million health, watch. He literally, I'm gonna hit him and it's gonna actually give him health back. Yeah, dude, he's got like a million health, dude. Oh my god. Okay, I think that we're going to have to handle this the exact same way as you normally would in Demon Souls. Actually, wait, can I do, can I kick him into the lift here? Is this already sent down? Inoperable? Okay, we're good. <laughs> that scared the hell out of me. Where's the other Duran? I thought it was Duran Duran. It usually, well, Doran. It's Doran, not Duran. Ah, Olive, what's up, dude? He can buff his weapon, too. I don't know why he was punching so much, though. That's kind of funny. Will he not leave this area? Oh, look at that. Hmm. Alright, well this this could be a thing here. Could definitely do something like this. Come check out my cool new hangout over here. Like but then it's like impossible to kick him. Like just Like he just can't be kicked. I don't think he can be kicked. You know what actually could work though? I have an idea. Gotta get over here, and then I gotta use this. If I can summon the spell, all that, then it's game over, man. I could definitely kill him. I want to try to dunk him inside the lift there. Can't be touched, can't be moved, can't be rocked, can't be shook. No, definitely not. <laughs> That's some good poise. It's it's like an infinite poise. Um, okay, I'm gonna go this way. That is actually infinite poise. I wonder if it'll let me actually kick him into the, the lift. So, no, 
Lobo, how are you doing? Also, how did Ancient Dragon end up going? Digital, it was it was pretty crazy. But once we um, once we had applied what what I like learned of it against it, and then I used um, poison resin that I found, then I was able to actually kill him. So it, it made it a lot uh, a lot better. Which someone had mentioned before, but I'm really glad I didn't use poison first because if I ran out of it and then I couldn't, I knew it would work, but I couldn't kill him. Like based on how well I was playing, I feel like it'd be kind of hard to continue just because uh, I don't know I don't know where else you can get poison in this. I couldn't buy it. When I last checked, maybe I can buy it now. Charity's still on today. Yeah, the charity stream is still technically like it's the I'm we're raising money for uh, sick kids for, until like next week, so um, the link is still there. There's still a timer uh, that will go off once in a while for it, and then uh, the panel is still there too. And then what we'll do, uh, I'll, I'll try to recap everything that I missed from all the alerts that had popped up since I last read them, just in like one big block instead of having the alerts go off. While we're playing. Okay, let's see if uh, this will work. <laughs> Dude, what? What if he lived? I don't think he did live. That was crazy. I think you can actually dunk anybody with this spell, but it takes a long time to cast. I was gonna say, yeah, like imagine I brought this back up and he's is he still in there? Uh Chad, ha happy new year, man. Welcome back. Yeah, okay. I wonder I wonder what was dropped. Let's see if we can find any drops. The poison got him. How was the damage on it? The po well, the poison kind of kept the healing uh, at a point where it wasn't it wasn't fighting the healing completely, but it was kind of like slowing it down enough so I could do more damage. It was good enough. It was almost kind of like even, I would say. But oh, the item, Ancient King mask, Ancient King gauntlets, nice. I'm gonna actually wear that if I can. It's not as heavy in this game. It's actually really light. Let strength That's be cool. granted, so the world yeah, let's wear the rest ended. of it. So the world it's actually really ended. bad defense, though. Like, except for lightning. All the okay, the, the leggings are better than the ones we had. So, definitely got some new boots. That looks really cool, man. Actually, I think it might even look cooler with this helmet versus this one. Even though this one is interesting. You look at his weapon, though. Uh, thank you for the four months, Chad Kang. I appreciate it, man. Welcome back. Uh, Noxie, what's up? The Giga Chad armor. <laughs> it's like, no, the, the armor of... The person that shouts, Thou who seeketh the king's sword, like a million times. Armor of the dude that is perpetually in a hallway that's never ending, that echoes for like a million years and just says the same line over and over again. Character looks like he's about to say, My name is Maximus Decimus Mer Meridus. <laughs> Meridius, sorry, my bad. That's hilarious. He's got the cold sword in him still. It'd be cool if he turned into Champion Gunder in the fight. 
don't know if that's going to happen. Sekiro finish. Oh, I got a weapon from that. Ooh, gentle blade. What is that? <laughs> we, we, we just dancing out here. You can't see me, man. The moves are just like, I'm just too sneaky. The ultimate ninja. That's just from like pushing the button like over and over again. Like if I just spam R1, that's what it does. <laughs> it doesn't even use any stamina. <laughs> is it, yo, know, like full playthrough just walking like this the whole time? That'd be so funny. That's the full attack. Wait, how much stamina does the full attack take? Quite a bit. Oh, it's like um the Ishin sword. Oh, it has a bunch of Sekiro movesets, so it has uh, the Ishin thing, it has like the jumping flying dude attack thing that is a thing as well. Ichimanji as well. And then what's the weapon or let's see. Oh, that's really cool, dude. Yeet. Oh, I kind of want to use that. That is really awesome. The Ishin sword is your favorite. Yeah, I think I think that's what it is. Is it not? Maybe it's something else. <sighs> Let's see if I can upgrade that. Actually. Oh, it's Lady. It's, sorry, it's uh, Emma's uh, sword. My bad. Not the Ishin sword. It's uh, Emma's sword. You're right. My bad. My bad. My bad. But can she jump though? I don't think she can do the jump attack. This must be. Like, that jumping moveset is, uh, is something else, isn't it? Okay. I'm trying to think of whose moveset that is. Okay, we just turned in other ashes, too. Let's see what else we get. Dark Moon Pine Resin. Dude, that sounds pretty cool. I'm going to buy that. I'm going to buy two. Um... Okay, let's see if we can Ashen upgrade one. this. Guardian Ape moveset? Is, what is it? Well, the Guardian Ape doesn't jump and do the attack in front of him, does he? Oh, it's Genichiro. Yeah, it's Genichiro. It's Genichiro. Genichiro does the, the jumping attack. Yes, that's true. Oh, this is also Twinkling. Uh, it's going to be a tough call, man. So I'd rather, I'd almost rather upgrade this because the damage on this is so much better. We got crazy scaling for it. So I'm going to upgrade this one. Pretty. And then we'll come back to that after. Or I'll just use it to finish off people. <laughs> Kill the enemies with the waviness, yeah. Just just, just um, twist and turn around them with that, that R1 spam. Getting, uh, getting unharmed in the process. Uh, literality, Happy New Year, man want to see it in action it'd be pretty cool i just uh it sucks i need to find more twinkling titanite because i i don't even think I'd, I'd be able to beat that other boss that i found earlier if i didn't have um continuous extra damage being added onto this because it, it takes so long to lower his health for the storm king guy oh this is not cool i'm gonna change the armor back to something that is a little better a little more defense, actually. And then we'll change the helmet back. Keep the other stuff. A 
just want to parry. That's not a parry. That's just scary. Very big difference. Okay, wait here. I'll try that. I'll try that weapon on this guy to see if it does anything weird. Like what? What? What will the running attack do from far away, for example? Oh wait, that's the weapon art that I was trying to use, right? Let's see what the weapon art does, because he's not guarded. So I wonder if he'll block before I reach him. Oh my god. That's pretty cool. <laughs> this thing's kind of funny. I think you can shield... Oh, you can't shield break, can you? No. That is super cool. Did he just disappear? Oh, wow. Dude, you can't be disappearing on me. Don't do that. Got an ember. Have the Ashens given the same items in the store? Um, well, there's no there's no new items that I haven't seen yet other than that. Dark Moon resin looked new, and there's some other um, uh, resistance items as well, like the uh, the pellets. Like there's other pellets. Titanite chunk, nice. Oh, it's locked, so we can't get into archives yet. Um, wonder if you go this way. That'd be hilarious if you could do that. Uh, yeah, it's not gonna go anywhere. Okay, so we're gonna have to come back to this part. Hmm. You can look like a hunter in this. You can look like a hunter, yeah. Uh, let's see. It's like secret entrance. We just like made a door randomly on the side here. Did I skip Yorm? Uh, oh yeah, we never actually went to Yorm. That's true. Got to go there still. Let's do that. Very very good idea. Missed hitting hidden wall. Who knows, man? Like, I, what if people missed hidden walls in the regular game, and there's still some that haven't been found? Who actually knows? Oh, okay, so we actually collected one more of the Lost Soul, too. So I need... Th oh, I have two. Okay, perfect. So... If I can get one more, then we can transpose uh, them into some weapon out of this variety here. And I'm thinking... The coolest in this game to, like, see the crossover would be, like, one of the Bloodborne weapons, because they transform, so... Uh, I'm thinking either the Wheel or the Ludwig Blade. The wheel seems a little cooler, and I'm imagining it would use the the uh, the demon titanite, so I'd be able to upgrade it. Yeah, the wheel just seems like it'd be way, way cooler overall. Haven't done Osiris, you're right. Should go do that. Uh... Okay, I'll do Osiris first, because it's like way way closer. Farewell, Ashen. Should probably buy some items too. Get a crazy amount of embers just in case. Uh, oh, we also haven't we haven't used the key to the tower for Firelink either. The thing is, like, I don't think there's a, a crazy amount of new um, items there or anything, but it's worth checking out just to see if there's any enemies. What? Yo, I got the Tengu mask. Yo, that's pretty cool. I didn't even know that. I was gonna say for the defense, the uh, the ancient king armor actually is super super light. Like it's two point seven. That's insane, dude. That might be kind of worthwhile because the armor we had before is eight point six. Only other better armor is uh, for physical defense is the brass, and then it's got way less fire defense and lightning too. So I'm gonna use the mirror chainmail still. Nine. Uh, it's probably better gloves. Okay. Did they keep Nameless King? I actually haven't gone there yet, so I haven't seen. 
I guess we'll find out right now or very soon. Because I guess that whole that whole stretch, that whole area doesn't take too long to run through. It's pretty easy to get to Nameless. Or at least it's really easy to get to Wyvern and then we can see what, what's going on at that point. Because we still have to do the DLC. We have Wyvern, we have Nameless, Osiris, whatever champion Gundyr is doing. And then... Uh, I think that's it at this point. And the, oh yeah, and then like the rest of the main game. So still quite a bit. Give me one second, guys. I'm just getting a phone call. Okay, we're good. Uh, Seth, what's up, dude? Oh, wait, you know what we need here? Everything looks distinguishable, I can actually see. Keep forgetting in some of these, um, these parts that are really dark, the torch actually does something in this. There literally is no use of it other than, I think, just to t uh, keep off of, like, the spaghetti worm guys or whatever. And then uh, anything that's like weak to fire, if you don't want to actually use fire damage, but like there's no actual application outside of that, right? In this, there actually is. So it makes sense that it exists. Is there a mod like this for all Dark Souls? Now you know one for DS2, but you're not sure DS1 got like that one like this. I've only seen a mod like this for DS3, that's pretty much it, man, so I don't know. Maybe eventually there will be. I mean, there's a lot of mods that rework the games overall. Um, for any for any game in the trilogy, there's uh, Augurs of Darkness, Daughters of Ash, um, Scorch Contract, Cinders, Convergence, um, Ascended, like there's so many different things for the other games that are just reworkings, but specifically trying to incorporate Bloodborne elements. I don't know if there's a lot of that stuff. Ah, you ignorant slaves. Are the most of the mods not really dark compared to the base game? Uh, not all of them are, but this one, this one's supposed to be like Bloodborne, so Bloodborne's a lot darker, right? But yeah, it kind of like fits the actual description now it's legitimately dark him, <laughs> for he is all that I okay let's see ooh that's really cool wait there's one thing we gotta try here Assuming Osiris is not going to be ridiculous, let's try the Dark Moon resin. Oh, I'm cursed already. Never mind, he is crazy. Curse is just unbelievable on this. Oh, dude, it looks so good. Oh my god. Okay, no third round of curse, please. from me come out come out don't be afraid dude him hitting you curses you so much oh no what could you possibly fear oh no dude i guess that's fitting kind of makes sense so you have to do like hitless osiris pretty much What a way to balance, man. Because I don't think... I think if he hits me again and I get cursed, I'm done. 
so you have to be very careful. sucks. Yeah. Too much curse. Oh my god, saved by the bell? No. Ignorance ah, dude, it ran out. How quickly you forget. Is a magic run viable for this mod? I think you might be able to use magic, but the magic I have more more so supports the, the base combat. So like in Bloodborne, there is spells uh, that have been brought over to this. Like you can get the executioner skulls and stuff like that. And um, I'd imagine probably some other spells that are pretty similar. Faith magic. Um, I haven't seen any of that yet. Like the thing I have is more of just like a, I don't even know. I don't even know what kind of magic it would be. I don't even think the magic really has a category. It kind of still has a category, but at the same time, think of it as like if you have pyromancy and then you can do like physical spell like boulder heave. Like boulder heave is not actually pyromancy. It's just like categorized that, right? But it's not, it has nothing to do with fire, so. There's still a lot of crazy magic in this. Is faith finally viable? I, I don't know, actually. I'm not sure. I don't know enough about the magic in this yet. Uh, I've used a few things, and they're, they're very tiny in terms of uh, how effective they are. Like, you could not kill anything with them yet, but I also haven't leveled magic. I didn't level the talisman, as far as I know. Um, and I don't have anything that's, like, supporting it in terms of rings I'm wearing, so. Makes a difference. Digital, thank you for the, the Prime sub, dude. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoy your emotes. Welcome. Love how this Osiris battle dialogue, the way they did that fight was way cooler, I think. Because he is, he is good, like, easy enough or doable enough to do without taking damage. But if you take damage on that, like, the, the consequences are huge, right? It's basically like you have a third to a quarter of the heals that you'd normally have. And you're playing perfectly. That's it. or like you're playing near perfect. If models can transfer this much Bloodborne assets to PC, they cannot transfer the base game. Uh, that's completely different. That'd be a whole another story. That's that. That would also be illegal too. Um, so I think they'd have a lawsuit at that point. That curse is ridiculous. Are you hiding from me? I missed the thud sound on the uh, stagger though. Come out. I will say that. Don't be afraid. Is it building up again? I didn't know it built up that many times. What? Is it? Does it actually Q three times? So you get like one and a half full bars of health taken every time you get cursed or something like that. Makes it so much more intense. It does, yeah. And then there's like way less bonfires, so you're running back from over here too. Wasn't embered. That's that's true. I probably could have embered. Would have been way smarter. I feel like he'd probably still take quite a bit of damage from lightning. I don't have any lightning though. How are you supposed to melee him? Um, well, you have to just not get hit by anything if you don't want to take crazy amounts of curse damage. Or if you do get hit by the attacks... You probably can only afford to be hit twice uh, before you have no heals left. At least with 10 heals, I'd say about two two hits from him would be like game over. You wouldn't be able to heal unless you had an ember after that, and then that would only last for like maybe the amount of seconds it takes for the curse to kill you because you'd be dead from that point with a full bar of health. If it procs three times. So yeah, this they, I guess they expect you to do it almost perfectly. Which actually isn't too bad, but it's hard, it's harder to see in it though. So I might actually have to use the torch in the, the right hand, or the left hand. Might be smart.
<laughs> the ankle biters here. Nice. You missed the uh, the baby crying in the background. Yeah, Osiris, uh He decided to to smush it before the fight, apparently. Unfortunately. Rip Ocelot. Oh my god, dude. Where have you gone? Are you hiding from me? Come out. Come out. Don't be afraid. You were born a child of dragons. What could you possibly fear? Now, now, show yourself, Ocelot. My dear little Ocelot. Dude, there's like little dudes on the ground in the fight too. I did not know that originally. I need curse spy ring actually. That might help. Didn't think about that. Nice. How quickly you forget. Almost three and a half times curse. Yeah, it's crazy. It is. It is about three and a half. Yeah. Oh, that's insane, dude. That's wild. Wild, wild, wild. We may have to break this into part three, actually, and do some more tomorrow, because I have a... Uh, we're doing about an hour and a half of Gran Turismo, so I think that to fit in the entire stream, we actually literally might have to extend the very final part. I'll still edit everything together, but... This is a doozy, man. Also, the curse is still killing me at this point. <laughs> is that the dude screaming after uh, Ludwig's fight? Or in the cutscene, yeah. <laughs> so the world might be mended. The one that has the audio the that's boosted to like 2,000 of the original. Thank you so much for all the content and company you've given me. Squeal L underscore, L underscore, L underscore, L underscore, L underscore, L underscore, L underscore. Oh no. L underscore. Quava, thank you, man. L underscore, 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 L underscore. L underscore, L underscore, L underscore, L underscore, L underscore. Sounds like she's saying I'll end this call. L underscore, L underscore. I will end this call. L underscore, L underscore, L underscore, L underscore, L underscore. Gabba, why are you ending the call? L underscore, 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 L underscore. That's insane, dude. Ella on Discord. <laughs> oh, dude, it hurts to actually laugh. Oh, man, I pulled my abdomen yesterday, so that's that's hilarious, man. Don't make me laugh too hard. <laughs> Ellen Discord, yeah. <laughs> that's too funny. Um, thank you so much, Guava. Welcome back for 22 months. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Uh, do I believe in ghost lorality? Uh, I personally have never seen one, but I believe people do see things that could be um, related to whatever someone would describe as a ghost, for sure. But no, I've never actually seen anything before like that. No, oh, there's dancers in this one too. I wonder if you can summon dancer for this fight. That'd be cool. Torch definitely helps. Dear little Ocelot, where have you gone? Are you hiding from me? Come out, come out, don't be afraid. You were born a child of dragons. What could you possibly oh. fear? Ignorant slaves, how quickly you forget. Well, that was some shit there. <laughs> I didn't even see the character physically touch the, the region that was where the cloud was. Uh, you're very fascinated with ghosts and death. Interesting. Yeah, that is a... It's, I think any subject that doesn't have a lot of um, information to it is always interesting because you know there's more to the story for sure. Or there can be a lot of different ways to potentially look at the situation. Man, that was really shitty. So I can't even touch the cloud. Like, or, like, even be beside it, even. It's, like, instant death. 
Okay, we need to try to use fire on this next. We'll see if that's better. Because fire normally on this one is pretty good. Good luck, you ended up doing something not on purpose that helped with this fight. Uh, just like an accidental thing that helped. Was it the, like, just to, without giving me any spoilers, was it the possessed eye? Like when you go to the dancer, uh, thing, like the spectral dancer? Easiest boss of the mod so far? Uh, probably the first one. The wolf. But I'm also, I'm also just pretty good at, uh, the great wolf on this, on this game. I think it wouldn't be that for some people, depending on how much they practiced it, but for me that's what it was. Uh, but there's been like a significant progression kind of feel to it, like where it's not like it just gets harder every single time you find something else, but there's a nice like variety of difficulty in the way they staggered it out, and then like it does progressively feel like it's more difficult through the mandatory stuff, with a few things on the side that are just ridiculous, so... It's pretty cool. But the fact you have to beat that H Dragon Rider thing is, is pretty cool. I'm glad they did that. Because some people might not want to play, but I'm glad they kept it for the people that are more like hardcore about the game. Where have you gone? Are you hiding from me? And they also made Osiris like extremely lethal too. Like just immediate death on this thing. You were born a child of dragons. What could you possibly fear? No. No. Show yourself, Ocelot. My dear little Ocelot. Don't transform over there. Not allowed to. Taking the chance there. Yeah, Happy New Year's for anyone that uh, passed the midnight mark. Welcome to Time Travel, featuring you and not me, because it's not midnight yet. Also, extremely flashy blue lanterns and torches that make you blind. Ah, it goes from, like, this, like, where you just can't see, and it's like, where am I? And you're just like, surprise! Ah, too, too bright. Be hilarious if a mod add, added a second phase. Well, he has a second phase normally, but if you add, if they, you're saying if they added another one, is that what you mean? I feel like that would be that'd be a bit crazy because the the conditions of the fight are just a little bit focused on being like really really accurate on that one, right? So that'd be probably the hardest thing so far then. If they, if they made like an extremely difficult part two with the same factors. Aziz, not too much, man. How are you doing? We're trying to see if we can finish this mod today. I'm not sure if we will, but we're, we're through quite a bit of it at this point. We've seen some things, and you're about to see some more. How was your day going? Just past New Year's for you, Liam. Nice, man. Congrats for uh, being in the new year without me being there, too. We're basically bridging the gap of time here. We're, we're So people are watching from 2022, but it's not 2022 here yet. So that means this already happened in the future, so you can tell me what happens, can't you? Is 
that Havel and something else? Is that... That's Velka as well. I mean, Havel and Velka? Why? Wait, I have a, I have an idea, guys. You can probably guess what it is. But I actually have an idea. That was not the idea. It has nothing to do with anything at all, and it's actually going to kill me. Nice. Did I beat Age Dragon Rider Peanuts? I did, yeah. Um, damn it. Well, at least there's a bonfire here. That's good. Yeah, I have, a, I have an idea of how we can get both of them pretty quickly. But I could just... I probably could 1v1 Velka. I don't want that poison, dude. The poison's just so crazy. It's like Rick Hard with the Rapier R2 spam. Just barely missing me. I don't even have a moss for that. Dude, there's another one over there. Who the hell is that? Of course. Of course. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I was like, oh, we can just we could just try to kill uh, Havel and Velka one at a time. Nope. Or is that supposed to be Oswald? I don't even know because he has because it doesn't Oswald have uh, the same helmet. Like Oswald and Velka are from the exact same place, right? if we collected more of these. We have two still. We need to get another one of the Lost Souls. Yeah, rip 100k. We don't want that. I think we already don't have a choice, though. Is that Henri as well? Or uh, Oscar? Yeah, I think it's Oscar. Oh my god. Ash and Estes for this. Wait, did he, how did what? Okay, I'm getting out of here. They came back. No thanks. Not playing that game. Then dude, fuck it. Who? Who let the dogs loose, man? Why is there so many? Oh, there's like multiple. Oh my god. No thank you. I'm fine. <laughs> they just want you to get really poisoned. They're like, if you weren't already poisoned, we're going to add some to yours and make it twice as strong. And then put it around the corner so if you turn the corner and still don't want poison, you got poisoned inside your face while you're dead. And then you respawn still poisoned. And it never stops and there's no way to cure it. Bit of DS trivia. It's implied that Velka and Gwendolyn were enemies for some reason. That's pretty interesting. I didn't know that. Where is that summoning host? I know, right? Cat doesn't care about fireworks. Fool me. That's good. That's, that's definitely good for you. You don't have to worry about having a situation with a cat. Cat freaking out at you. Um. Oh. What's going on here? Wait, I have an idea. Oh, they're, they're, they're too fast. It's fine now. It was a good idea until it wasn't possible. <sighs> you're, hearing, you're hearing me get angry? I'm not angry. I'm not even close. I'll probably get more angry at Gran Turismo, to be honest. Um, hopefully not, though. Hmm. 
Hmm. Esports athlete? Uh, I'm not an esports athlete, no. <laughs> could be a model. I think a lot of people, you know what's actually funny? I think a lot of people could be models. Um, maybe not like currently, but they could do things to like, increase the chances quite a bit. That that's like a interesting thing because there's like a lot of models that I personally don't think look that good, um, or people that do modeling for things, but it's mainly just time and place at that moment and like looking a certain way in that moment for a purpose. Not that you always look good all the time. So I think that the thing with a lot of like models and a lot, especially runway too, like they don't really look that good in my opinion. And they also they also I think there's a compromise for certain types of uh, marketing when it comes to like modeling in general, where you do actually kind of take a loss depending on. Uh, who you are but then of course there's people that like they're they're fantastic with whatever they need to be done but with whatever way they represent themselves in advertising but um i think that it's just a lot of uh a lot of elements that come together to make a package it's not actually like a person is just always gonna be um at that level of appearance for a certain thing right so i think a lot of people could technically do that they just have to put a lot of work into again creating that type of uh um perception in that moment that they need um, and then, and it's, it's interesting too, cause a lot of people that I know that do commercials, do acting, do modeling, all that stuff, they, it's not, there's nothing about them that's like that special other than the fact that they just believe they can do it. And there's a lot of people that think that they, you have to be made to do that where it's not really the case in my opinion. I think you can just really want to do it and like get good at it and like do it. Um, but you have to put yourself out there, right? So it's a, it's a weird, uh. Weird, weird subject, but I've noticed there's a really interesting like pattern with that. that it's just the people that just believe, like they just try it and they just do it. That's it. They don't really think about it too much. Um, pro footballer, uh, definitely don't like football too much. That'd be like one of the last sports I'd play. Uh, no offense, I mean, awesome sport, just not my thing. Um, that's funny though. By far, sportsman the greatest esports industry. Link the fire any day. Make sure I get thanks, man. <laughs> I appreciate it. That's hilarious. I was taking what you said a bit seriously. That's funny, though. If any of you guys want to be footballing esports uh, models, go for it. You can do it, too. Just just believe, man. Just just do the stuff and, and then do it. There's no can be or could be or is because. It's just do it. Shia LaBeouf, man. Formula One. Uh, Drake, what about Formula One? BML's about knowing how to pose quickly and efficiently. Yeah, it's a skill. It's like literally, you don't, you're not born looking a certain way, and then it's like, oh, you could just be a model because there's tons of people that could be one, but they're not, they're not gonna actually have the skill to do it or the mindset, right? So I think that that's a huge, and it's also there's so many different types of things nowadays, and there's so many different uh, audiences and like. Uh, you know, factors to it that you could be a hand model, you could be a foot model, your, your elbow could be in a commercial, you don't even have to have your face shown. So it's like so many different things. I think anybody could probably do that if they really wanted to. For some cause, I don't know if it would be for every single thing applicable, but for maybe for something that works for you, you know? But I think the people that enjoy it are like, are just into like nailing down a lot of opportunities like that are just gonna be successful with it because that's just how they're thinking about it. It's not necessarily the way they look. I think that helps in the moments that they need to look a certain way. Yeah, you could be like you know, a lot of different types of things. Now, no, you're not going to be like an award-winning actor that like actually like is the best, does the best job in a motion picture that wins like the most awards of all time. Like that would take a like a long, possibly a lifetime of practice and training and stuff. And that has that's not going to be everybody, but you could probably be in like an ad of some sort. A ton of people I know that have been. I've never even been in one and been told stuff like you just mentioned, but you know, the people that are doing it just have the desire to do that. It's not necessarily accidental. Goodbye, gun deer. No parries. Get on my level. Where are those parries at? I want a refund. Recommendations is full. Dark Souls and for some reason Garfield Cart. Garfield Cart could be pretty cool. 
I'm already a foot model, I have an OnlyFans. Dude, I should make one and upload the clips of when I play Gran Turismo with no socks. That'd be hilarious, man. Let's just see what happens. Feet models must be making some serious money based on how the internet is turned with COVID. Who knows, dude? You, you, who knows what even, what miscellaneous things make the most revenue these days? I mean, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure you could get paid to sleep. So, I mean, that's like a, not in terms of content, but just like for like scientific reasons for like developing like beds, right? And stuff like that. So if that's a thing, then I mean, what else can can really not be done? It's like anything can be probably done. Coiled sword fragment, nice. So that'll actually get us, um, I think it gets this the titanite slab, doesn't it? Well, fancy that a lost well. What? Okay, she's got the Artorius set still. Interesting. Best. And then it should be the hammer. Yep. Okay, so that stuff's all the same. Uh, this still gives you FP back, though, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> this crystal. I wonder what the point of that is, though, because you're not fighting anything in Firelink, so there must be some sort of magic you can use. Or maybe it's to test different spells so you don't have to keep hitting the bonfire if you want to test different magic. I think that might make more sense. Uh, there's no cinders going on here, too. We're not putting anything on the throne. There's also this thing, too. I have no idea what that does. Oh, yeah, because this, this is the other uh, throne. My bad. Eyes, the firekeeper, still there? Where are they normally? Oh, wait. They're, uh... They're in, like, the under part, right? In this... This area. Um... Uh, Clyde, I'm sorry to hear that, man. Hopefully you, you can join us for this and, and feel a little bit more hyped to be doing something. But honestly, I, I will say, too, sometimes you can you can not celebrate things and still have a great day, so... Depends on how you think about it, but, uh... I'm doing pretty good, thank you for asking, man. How are you doing? Yeah, I mean, I'll tell you this much, man. I don't think I've ever had a celebration for New Year's in my life. I don't- I can't remember anything... Like, me doing something celebratory. I just usually do stuff I just feel like doing on the day of, and it's just a day that's... whatever it's gonna be, right, so... Um, I would think of it more like that. If you were in like interested in doing something that didn't work out, I'm sorry if that happened. But yeah, I think you could still have a good day though. Uh, Polyline, thank you for gifting Clyde a sub as well. That's very nice of you. Very well all right, uh, never celebrate New Year's. It's just not in the culture. I don't know if it's like super common other than just doing the countdown stuff. Like, I know some people have parties and stuff, but yeah, it's like, someone was saying they do dinners though, uh, recently. I thought that was pretty interesting. So five, no, sorry, that's two, three, two. Polyline gift and five subs, dude. Thank you so much, man. That is insane, dude. Um. I hope that everybody just that just got gifted sub enjoys their emotes. Welcome. Um, that's insane, dude. I don't know what to say. I mean, I guess it's going to be like technically helping the charity because we're going to be matching whatever the, the amount raises. So I guess that'll go towards that. But I, I really do appreciate it, man. Um... Speaking of which, I'm just going to double check before I take a break. I'm going to take a break here for a second before we come back and continue this. Um, actually, it might be good to leave it at this point and do a part three. Just so we have enough time for Gran Turismo to set up and everything. Because I was going to do an hour and a half of that too. Today's going to be a bit of a shorter stream, so... hmm. We might actually leave it at this part and then come back. But... Yeah, let me let me just check really quickly though. This campaign. So we have. I'm just gonna reread everybody that contributed uh, to the charity again. So we got anonymous multiple times, multiple anonymous people. We got 
um, Bananarama, Sold Out, Chris, Polyline, Anonymous, El Nombre, Salty Sith, uh, YN2, Noah, Bad RNG, with like a crazy amount of contribution. Um, we have uh, Matthew Shesman, we have 80 user, um, Karate Cody, Giant Dad, um, Snikes, and Fulmy as well. Fulmy, thank you so much for contributing towards the charity today as well, man. Um, and yeah, so that we've raised 1740 across yesterday and today, so that's roughly going to be uh, close to $3,500 in total so far. And we're going to be leaving this going for, like, again, another handful of days. But thank you so much for helping us do that, guys. It's for um, specifically St. Jude Play Live, which is just a children's uh, miracle hospital kind of thing where they try to help sick kids. So it's in the U.S. There's more information here if you want to know. And, uh, yeah, they've actually, like, a lot of people with gaming have raised, uh, I think, millions for them uh, this season, so it's pretty crazy, man. Um, I will, uh, do I not have a limit polyline? Uh, well, okay, so if it gets to the point where I can't afford to actually, like, spend that much money, then, yes, I will have to set a limit. Like, if we're raising, like, you know, $10,000, it might start to get to the point where it's like, okay, that's a little bit too much, because we could still do more charity stuff, like, throughout the, this coming year, and don't we don't have to go crazy, but, um... But I, want, I didn't want to put, like, a limit on it, though. I wasn't thinking of doing that. Crazy in yourself that you can match it? Well, I mean, again, it's I'm just using the revenue from the streams that I've done for the last, like, however long, which is my part of my income. Or I guess you can think of it either way. I could be using all my sponsorships or, like, some of them or using some of each or using investment money. I could be using, like, you know, things from YouTube, like, ad revenue. For, I have a lot of different types of revenue, so... It's not a big deal, but I prepare for that these kinds of things. Um, host GDQ when it's live. I will I will host GDQ when we're done, yeah. Um, but we're not going to be done for another hour and a half, so I'm going to be back in about five minutes or so. Here is the YouTube if you want to know uh, when this is done, when it's uploaded, like what happened in the run if you missed part of it. There's some other modded playthroughs on there too in the modded playlist. Uh, here's the Instagram, definitely follow that. And here is the Twitter if you want to know when we go live. I will be back in a handful of minutes. Here, I'm going to turn this music up too. This is the good soundtrack. The alternate Firelink music.